because you can't be brighter than lava, right? Mm, have you seen you me? Can't be brighter than lava, right? <laughs> mm, have you Sorry, seen me? Toss me, me again. Sorry, can't toss me. I could toss me. I could toss me, and I could toss you right over here. There you go. Perfect. We should have audio now. Okay, so we might have to re redo that because uh, I at least turned my the sound on on my YouTube thing uh, and I was able to hear us and then I suddenly heard us like five different repeating looping times. <laughs> but uh, it should be good now. I'm going to drop this down a little bit because it's peaking. Um, okay, so let's do another pass through to see how everybody's sound is. Uh, Kyle. First. Hello. Uh, on my second time, I still didn't come up with anything clever. <laughs> there you go. Excellent. And now Morgan. Um, that's going to be a big same from me on the clever front. Excellent. Wendy? We've, we've got a pattern going on here, guys. <laughs> okay. And Taylor? Yep. Just going uh, to keep it, keep it on the reel with everybody here. So Everybody gets one syllable. Okay, so uh, let me know if there's sound coming through now, if everybody sounds like they're at a reasonable volume, if the music's not too loud and all that stuff, uh, if there's a delay uh, in anybody talking. Sorry about that. I tried to fix it, and then nobody could hear anybody, so it clearly didn't work. Um, in the meantime... <laughs> uh, oh, for some reason, stuff in the chat is not coming into my stream labs. Okay, yay sound. I've gone deaf on Twitch. Okay, uh, I have all my settings on Mac, so when they figured out my ears might explode. Uh, not even talking. I uh, thought it was my PC, guess not. No sound. Okay, okay, yeah. People are saying that it sounds good now. Thank you very much for that. Uh, and now I'm not even gonna bother looking at stream labs because stream labs, oh, it's because I'm on, it's, I have the chat set to Twitch, not the multi-stream, okay. Now I should be able to see <laughs> all of the chat coming through. Uh, I am an amateur. Sorry about that. Um, Come on, Matt. It's like you're dealing with something complicated here. Yeah. Twenty okay. different systems at once. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now chat is starting to show up. That's awesome. Okay. That would have been bad. Uh, <laughs> that would have been real bad. Um, okay. So now that that's all set up, where we left off at the end of the last game was that y'all had made it uh, to the town of Knotside, uh, where you were directed by one of the uh, leaders of the local militia uh, that the town had undergone a kind of chaotic transformation uh, because of the involvement of a new liquor called uh, Red Claw that seemed to drive its drinkers to a crazed addiction state where they would fight and attack people to get even just another sip. Uh, he sent you on a mission into the Basilisk Spine where you navigated through uh, various lava flows, fought fire elementals, defeated a band of traveling uh, kobolds and possibly a kobold sorcerer who was trying to bring one last trip of Red Claw out to the people of Knotside, uh, and then eventually found your way to the Kobold Cauldron. Uh, you're standing about 100 feet away uh, from... Uh, a about 40 foot long lava flow uh, where the only visible path forward is across a, about a 15 foot wide stone bridge with l very large stone gargoyle statues at the far end of it uh, perched on the uh, walls of the bridge at the end uh, with embered cigars and yellow glowing stones for eyes. Uh, and you can now choose what you'd like to do. Uh, so are we where we are, or are we even further back then? Uh, like... You're farther back than this. This is okay. just as far as the map goes, and then with a little bit of space to put y'all's tokens. Right. And so can we see them, like what we have waiting for us? Or uh, you can't yet? see it super clearly from the distance that you're at, but you can tell that there are kobolds, these tiny reptilian uh, red creatures moving along uh, on the opposite side of the bridge. Okay. All right. Do we want to... Are we trying to be sneaky here? We just want to run in there? What are we thinking? 
Didn't you say you cast 40 feet of light off of you? <laughs> I actually double checked and it dropped after 10 minutes. So oh, okay. that is like, um, <laughs> uh, we can certainly try to stealth. I don't I know. Think... <clears throat> oh. I could the raw head and I could look and have a look. See if, you know, I'll be sneaky and report yeah, back. Yeah, I mean, because we can't see things from where we are, right? So it seems like this is uh, probably not going to be the friendliest place we've ever been. So, I mean, if you can get up there quietly and see what yeah. awaits. Oh, right, I'm going to stealth forward. Okay, so you want to start stealthing forward across the bridge? <laughs> uh, Yes. You got it. Go ahead and roll a stealth check. And I believe, as you just noted, that you get stealth checks at advantage. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, my goal is to... Do I see the, the gargoyles, the big gargoyle things? Uh, as you start to get closer, you're about 100 feet away now, and even from there, you can see them. They're about uh, oh, 10 cool. or 15 feet tall. Ooh. So 30. A cool 30. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, you blend in, effectively, with the stone as you're moving down. You go down into a low uh, crouch crawl and start to navigate across, and... Uh, how far in do you want to go? I was hoping to kind of uh, come up to where the, the gargoyle, one of the gargoyles are, and just kind of like maybe hide, but use it as like a to hide behind and like maybe peek around. And so you want to get look. to about here? Yeah, just like okay, gotcha. Just peek around, and take a look. So as you start crawling and uh, pulling yourself forward, making no sound and completely, you can tell that nothing on the other side is reacting to you whatsoever. Um, as you start to go forward and you approach the gargoyles to hide uh, behind them, you hear oh, as shit. the stone <laughs> begins to activate and their arms spread out and their wings <laughs> extend and they start spinning in a swirling dervish of blades effectively. And I'll need you to go ahead and make a uh, dexterity saving throw for me. Do we notice this? Can we start running over there? Or uh, yeah, y'all would see it. The uh, gargoyles are not quiet. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Could have been better. 14. Okay. Uh, you have evasion, right? Yeah, but I think it's only for area attacks. I think it's anything that lets you make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, uh, if you'll check that for me while I roll uh, some damage for you. Great. Perfect. Love it. Uh, it says when you are subjected to an effect that allows you to make a dex saving throw yeah. to take only half damage. Oh, wait. To take only half damage. You instead take no damage if you succeed on the saving throw and you take half damage if I fail. Okay, so you're going to take half damage on this as the gargoyles spread their arms and wings out and they start swirling their arms. Uh, and you hear the movement, uh, but you're as you're crawling around, you're not able to quickly enough move out of the way, uh, and the arms just start slashing repeatedly at you, and you take uh, 11 points of slashing damage uh, from the spinning gargoyles. Great. Now, do you want to... What would you like to do now that you're there? Oh, I'm gonna... I was gonna run back. You got, you got it. So as you start to run back, you start to hear uh, the reptiles in the area nearby uh, start to... All right, uh, if we are aware of this and I have a 150-foot range on a spell, can I cast it or do I need to wait for initiative order? Uh, you can... I would say that uh, you can start casting it now because these creatures are starting to move up uh, into their watchtowers, and you see running out of the uh, front doors of what looks like a five, six foot tall area on top of one of the stones running out of the door, four more kobolds that have been attracted to the sound, uh, as well as uh, four more off of the eastern side who are starting to uh, come in. <laughs> attracted by the ruckus that uh, their friends are making. How close are we at this point? Since we're running towards... Uh... Uh, you all would be, uh, whatever your movement speed plus an action is closer. So from 100 feet, I think most of you'd be uh, about oh, 40 feet away now. Um, 
and Cinna, who is making a, an attack, would only be whatever her movement speed is forward. Okay, I... I mean, I have a 150-foot range on this spell, so... Um, yeah, so the, it's pretty well within... Regardless. Uh, can I center up, because I'm not great at the little circle tools, um, right in here, okay, because it's a 20-foot radius. So, so 40 right, feet. So, because it's a radius, so this is a 20... Yeah, so that would be the right size, right? Um, Oof. 5, 10, 15, 15 20, 5, 20. 10, 15, 20, yep. Okay, so can I drop right there, um, spike growth, that's second level? Uh, totally. Uh, that's the Barty spell, right? The... Yeah! <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. Well, yeah, we've yeah, seen If I can, before, like, right? tell everybody, like, I'm fucking up the ground over there, basically, be yeah. careful. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so and since y'all have adventured for a very long time together, I think uh, they would be familiar with the, the casting that you're doing uh, and can hear you call out that you're pulling these spikes up from the ground. Uh, so as y'all start to get closer, you see a s series of spikes start to pull out of the ground. And uh, is does that necessitate something happening to something that starts its turn in the area? when a creature moves into or within the area. So I would let you rule on that. Okay, so give me one second. We're gonna get everybody added <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. to uh, cool. the initiative tracker. Oh, I'm there running back, and if, if they're running forward, I'm, I'm they're just gonna see me going like, shit, 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 and I'm gonna <laughs> like, uh, jump and grab onto uh, six as he's running past. You got it. So you're able to use your movement to get back to about here um, with everybody else. And this might be the longest initiative track that I've ever had. Oh, uh, Jesus. <laughs> I am going to roll for all of the NPCs. Uh, and if y'all want to go ahead and roll for your initiative as well. Should we wait until these guys roll? Yeah, I don't... Are we in? Okay, yeah. I think it just won't roll until they all have. So you can, like, queue it up. Oh yeah, okay. maybe I should have. Uh, this is, ooh, one of them rolled a natural twenty. This is just going to be a screen of <laughs> of just d twenties going across. Ooh, one of them also rolled a natural twenty, or is that someone in our group? Oh, that was six. <laughs> oh I man, advantage six. though. So. Oh okay, that's good. I will. There we go. Our magic so items. Fairy in the middle. Okay. Flamethrower. So... <laughs> Hey, you don't know what they are. <laughs> Jesus. Six doesn't, but Kyle knows. <laughs> <laughs> and Kyle's freaking out. Yeah. Uh, Senna, did you roll yet? Oh, you did. Yes. Uh, for some reason, it did I not apply. all the way at the bottom. So you got a five. Good thing you cast that right at the beginning there, huh? Yeah, I'll give you that as a, <laughs> as a surprise Smart. Smart. action. Okay. Uh, I and think so, because the range on that one is a little crazy. So. Yeah, so... Start. So, are the starting still spinning here, just so I know. Uh, yes, they are still spinning. Both of them are spinning, not just the one. Uh, both of them are spinning, yes. Okay. Okay. So, surprisingly, we're actually uh starting with one of the kobolds. I did not see that uh coming. Um, so y'all are <laughs> basically this distance away from them. Let me see. What do we got here? So many. Yeah. yeah. There are, we're, I'm going to try to go through these guys uh, quickly. I just need to check one thing. Um, yeah, so I think that is probably going to be at disadvantage. This is probably a 3120. Yeah, it reminds me of the ballroom. That's what I was thinking. Okay, yeah. So this will be at disadvantage uh, because of the range. It's outside of its normal 30-foot range. Uh, 10. So you see one of them take a leather uh, whip and chuck a rock in your direction, but it bounces harmlessly off of the bridge. And that brings us to uh, Wheezy at the start of the round. Oh, and let me change this to some combat music. Who is just running laps back and forth currently. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. Are you holding on to six? No, I don't think I was yet. Oh, okay. But I am about to. <laughs> Uh, you're probably faster without me. My movement yeah. is to half. Yeah. 
Yeah, but what the hell am I gonna do? <laughs> yeah, but then I can't move as fast. Uh, was that? Yeah, his speeds have. Was that uh the statue, the gargoyle? Was it um? It, was it just? Did it seem like it was just a mechanism while I was there, or did it seem like it was like its own entity? But I wouldn't be able to tell that. Um, it it seems like a trap that was triggered by either proximity or some kind of pressure plate or something like that. Okay. Because it's not moving towards you, and it doesn't seem like it could if it wanted to. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, then I am. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna move forward. <laughs> you got it. You got it. It's about there. I'm gonna bonus action. I can't. I don't, can I just bonus action hide in plain sight? Can I do like that SpongeBob <laughs> meme where I'm just like, you uh, you have to have something to hide behind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hold my action for my crossbow. Uh, what are you holding it for? Um, if anything comes between, uh, gets in range. How? Uh, within your distant range or within your one more normal range. My normal range. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So that'll end your turn. Yes. Uh, that'll bring us to this kobold, who is going to run his movement over here. Uh, and how far away are you? Ooh, you're perfectly within range. Uh, and then it's going to take out a similar leather uh, thing, so you can also make an attack uh, against it. Great. Uh, it's going to make an attack against you uh, at its normal status. Uh, so that's a 20 to hit, which I think does hit you. Uh, not a natural 20. But uh, so you take three points of bludgeoning damage as a smooth rock uh, connects with your head that's just poking <laughs> over uh, the sides of the bridge. Uh, that will end that Cobalt's turn. Uh, I did, it was an 18 to hit. Uh, 18 does hit. And so you did seven, seven points of damage. Okay. Yeah, so we've got... Uh, that, so that was this one. Uh, we have one dead cobalt as you oh! pop over uh, the side of the bridge uh, and manage to connect directly with its skull, and it f- flips backwards and falls down. Still managing Shouldn't to get it. Shouldn't me with a rock. Again. <laughs> That'll teach him. That'll teach him. Uh, okay, so now we're going to this cobalt who is going to run forward to this metallic contraption in front of it uh, and mount up on it and you see there's like these plastic tube plastic transparent tubes uh running down uh from the top of the watchtower to the ground and then into the ground uh and it is going to uh use this to shouldn't move forward cast a flame jet so i'm gonna need uh let me uh mm-hmm. point this in a weird direction Sixty. Um, so let me get rid of this and it's alright guys I'm really good at dodging things oh you are just out of range uh, next person so uh, that is so frustrating okay uh, so Weez go ahead and make a uh, DC 14 dexterity saving throw for me got it yes Ooh, Ooh a natural 20 okay so you're it actually doesn't even matter because you're not going to take any damage from this because of your evasion. Uh, but let's roll just to see what it would have been. Yeah, so you avoided uh, seven points of damage. Uh, so anyway, that will... Uh, you see this massive jet of flame pass out of this cannon-looking thing that this kobold is uh, strapped onto uh, that Weez manages to dodge directly under and out of the way. Uh and that will end that kobold's turn. Is it still there, or does it go away after it? Like, uh, it is still there. Oh, Jesus. So I'm just, like, ducked under this thing of fire? <laughs> uh, so that will bring us to this kobold, who is going to... He's going to make another 
sling attack, but his will be at disadvantage because uh, Wheeze is too far away. Uh, that's still an 18. So I think that hits you. That hits, yeah. Awesome. Did you do the Did you do the rod thing? No, I didn't. He hasn't Man, had an opportunity yeah. to yet. Gotcha. Okay. 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 So you closer, I'm gonna do that. you take six points of bludgeoning damage as another small uh, blunt rock uh, goes crashing into your head throwing rocks at me as you it's dodge great. a flame but pop back up into the path of a rock <laughs> uh okay so that brings us to this creature who is going to spend its oh no i'm still on the templates <laughs> there we go uh so he's gonna take his full turn to get over here they have to take uh they have to pass a perception check to see the uh spiked earth correct correct okay so he's gonna run directly into it um Thinking and he's gonna that take it'll be safe. 2d4 damage because okay. he took like one step. Yeah, roll 2d4 damage. All you gotta damage. do is seven. Yeah, all you have to do is seven. Ah, well, uh, six. Uh, you that, see though. a kobold yes. running forward, <laughs> making a step onto the spiked growth, just falling over immediately as the spikes <laughs> then go to impale the rest of its body. Uh, and you have one more dead kobold. Uh, so that'll end it. Uh, we'll go to this creature's turn. It's starting its turn there. Uh, so any movement... So no initial damage, but if it doesn't realize that it's there, I think it'll take the damage. Yeah, let's go ahead and roll an intelligence check for a kobold. I'm going to give it... If it's over 10 and it just saw its friend step into this area and die, that it's going to see that there's something going on. Let's see. Oh, a oh, natural wow. 20. Oh, smartest the smartest kobold. <laughs> the smartest of all of the kobolds uh, is going to stand in place. Uh, but I don't know that it had... Okay, I guess I can make an attack at disadvantage. Um, so it is also going to uh, grab out its sling and uh, make an attack against Wheeze. Poor Do Wheeze. It. Oh, wait, that was Do a it. normal roll. So... Uh, Sorry about that. Let me roll another one for its disadvantage. Aha! 11. So 11, I don't think, hits. So it's looking around. And uh, it just bounces off of the back of one of the gargoyles. And then it gets launched in a different direction as the gargoyle is spinning. Uh, so that will end its turn. Uh, the flamethrowers don't actually get turns, but they are tokens. Um, they are operated by other creatures. Uh, so this one... I don't think it has. Oh, it can! Man, all of these things are oh just, just within perfect reach of Wheeze. Uh, you love to see it. Uh, thank you for that dexterity saving throw. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and. I didn't realize how far down in the initiative my team was. <laughs> okay. I really should have waited. Uh, oh, wait, so you rolled a 14, so that's successful yeah. with your evasion. Uh, you're not actually going to take any damage, but I'm going to roll it anyway, just because it's fun to see dice going across the screen. <laughs> um, okay, so that will end that kobold's turn. And now we're at six. You go ahead and make Matt, it. To... Can, can I see that flame? Because it's still going, right? So I know not to enter. Oh, I'm sorry. Flame. I thought you were asking if the uh, flamethrower was still there. Or, oh, no, no, no. So the flame is not flame currently is still there. Oh, okay, that's that's what I was. Asking. Yeah, I see okay. what you're saying. I now. thought it was like active. I was no. like, oh, shit. like there's, <laughs> there's just a constant sh- stream. Yeah. No. I was like, oh man. Uh, all right, cool. That's much easier. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, strategizing. Get those on the flamethrower, and I'm going to run. Uh. Can I get here? I mean, I know it's right next to it. I don't know if that's in its space, but um, the uh, you can move there. Okay, I'll probably get hit, but that's fine. I would have I would have told you that. That's fine. Thing. I see it spinning. It's okay. fine. Yeah, uh, yeah. So make a, a dexterity saving throw for me, DC fifteen. Nice. There we go. Twenty one. Okay. Uh. On a failed saving, yeah. So that means uh, you don't take any damage. You get into this position, and you're able to, after seeing uh, Wheeze get thwacked a handful of times by the sharp edges of this stone, able to dodge and nimbly move yourself around and not take uh, any hits. All right, then I am going to take out my hand axe mm-hmm. and 
uh, throw it at uh, this cobalt. Actually, you can man. They're all just gonna man. I'm gonna dash, actually. I'm gonna dash to right here. Or, I guess. Oh, is it because of the walls? Yeah. Here, I can just move you there. Where did you want to go? Uh, right here. Am I able to do that? Like... Uh, yeah, you can get there because these are tall okay. watchtowers. They're about, okay. uh, they're tall by cobalt standards. They maybe go eight, ten feet into the air. Okay. Um, and I'm guessing I can't get up there yet. I still have ten more feet of movement. Uh, you can get about halfway up the ladder. It is difficult terrain because you're a medium creature, right? Yes. These are designed for small creatures, so you're kind of, it's like riding a tiny tricycle trying to get okay. up to the top of this thing. <laughs> but we'll say All that right. you get halfway up. And that's my turn. Um, awesome. Matt, my um, template for spike growth dropped. I'm just oh, making sorry. sure it's not on purpose. Uh, no, it was not on purpose. I uh, Here, if you, uh, can you place another one for me while I run through some of these cobalt? It should be here. Yeah. Yeah, because this one was just like barely in it, so. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so that will end that creature's turn. Uh, there's a uh, the flamethrower. Uh, one of these kobolds over here is going to... Oh, I'm on the templates again. I always do that. Uh, this one's going to make a sling attack this time at our boy Six, the Warforged. Uh, that's at disadvantage, though, I think. Let me check that distance. Yeah, even if he moves forward. Actually, you know what? This one's going to use its movement, uh, drop down uh, to the ground. So that's uh, 10 feet to get down and 5 feet to get here. Yeah, he's got plenty of movement to get more into position to reach you. Yep. So he's going to make a normal attack roll against you with a sling. Uh, that's an 11. I don't think that that's hits you. That's a big miss. Yeah. That's a big miss. Okay, cobalt. so we go to another kobold's turn, who is going to come over here. And let's see what the distance is. Uh, it would literally be stepping onto its dead friend. So I'm gonna say that he can tell that there's something wrong with this ground. Uh, but he's gonna make a disadvantage attack against Wheeze. Uh, eight, that's gonna be a miss. Another kobold. There are so many kobolds here. Uh, this one is also going to take 10 feet to get down, uh, and then 20 feet to get here and make an attack against Wheeze. Let's, or I mean, sorry, not Wheeze, against Six, who is just five feet out of range. Uh, so it's going to get a disadvantage attack. Ooh, miss. 14, yes, yeah, so that's another miss. There are so many kobolds. Y'all really got to start killing these things. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a flamethrower. <laughs> uh, so this one is... He's gonna get to about here. Oh, nope, that was one too far. There we go. Uh, and then is gonna dash, because they can't even see anybody, to here. Uh, that will end its turn to another kobold. All right. Uh, ooh, this one is in range of a flamethrower and therefore is in reach of six. Um, so it's going to send out a uh, stream of flame uh, towards I need to be able to rotate these that's but a hit. that's okay okay rotate this thing what would that be 45 nope I'm just going to place a new one get out of my way here we go. So it is going to catch one of its own cobalt friends in the way. Uh, too oh. unfortunate for him. Actually, I guess from that angle, probably wouldn't be able to. I don't think. Because they're about 10 feet in the air. These are like four foot tall creatures. He's aiming at you at a fair distance. Eh, maybe. I'm going to think about it. So uh, I'm going <laughs> to roll damage for you. I mean, what's one more dead cobalt? Yeah. Which is 14. <laughs> I'm going to let... I'll let it make it save at advantage because it is... Uh, Still going to die for not just really. hit by it. Oh, hey. 
if he if happen. it has a successful save, I'm gonna say it doesn't get burned because Dang it. it's, it's probably it's probably, fair. Oh, it's yeah. probably yeah. not in a position where it would have been hit anyway. I'm being generous. Don't make me go after you, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> you already did. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, so you take uh, 14 points of fire damage as this stream of fire just catches you and starts singeing all of your circuits and gears. Okay. That will end its turn. Flamethrowers don't get turns. Hezia, it is your go. Yay. Okay. <laughs> um, I am going to... Oh, I'm getting crazy over here. Oh. <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry. What a run. Uh, let's see. I have 40 feet of movement. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. There we go. I'm going to change a slightly different music so we're not just listening to the cauldron combat song the whole time music all from d20 music support them on patreon okay i am going to use my movement and then my action to run over next to this guy you got it um and while i'm running i'm going to unsheath my great sword and i'm going to say let's burn baby <laughs> and I'm gonna light on fire and i'm just going to swing it at this guy i'm not going to hit him obviously because i can't but i am going to try and intimidate him awesome uh go ahead and make an intimidation check for me at disadvantage uh because really? these creatures seem to not be particularly concerned about fire. That's fair. They're literally but, in a lava yeah. dungeon. But That's you are fair. still two times its size and running around with a burning I flaming sword. Wow, okay. I, wait, are you, wait, are you within 30? Well, I, I guess, totally I don't know if it matters, but, but if, if you're within 30 <laughs> feet of me, you can reroll a natural one. I still gotta be a nine though at the lowest. Yeah. So, so as you cover 60 feet and you get directly in front of this cold one and you start towering over it and your sword in your hand just goes full Game of Thrones and just ignites in front of it. And, just, uh, and it doesn't seem particularly concerned. Uh, Even though it wasn't like that scary, I would just like to, from number 37 in the initiative order, go, woo! <laughs> <laughs> Hold it for your turn. Yeah, I counted. 37. <laughs> so this one uh, is also. Uh, They're going to light their cart on fire? Uh, the cart is tall. Uh, I'm going to make another intelligence check for this, uh, for this kobold. <laughs> and right. let's just see what happens. I thought it was going to be a natural one for a second there. I was, was so excited for it to be a natural one. Okay. Uh, with a 14, uh, is it smart enough to know? Weighing the odds. I'm going to say that it is aware of the potential danger if it does, uh, what it's thinking about doing. Um, <laughs> for now, if the situation gets more dire, who knows? Um, so it is not actually going to make a flamethrower attack. Uh, it is going to make a sling attack uh, against six at disadvantage because of distance. Uh, eight. Miss. Winds up ba uh, bouncing off across. Uh, it doesn't even make it to the ladder where you are. It just falls completely short about 15 feet forward. Uh, flamethrowers don't get turns, but they are taking up space in my initiative order. Uh, let's see this one. Make another intelligence saving throw. Pro tip for everybody, if you shift click on an ability score, uh, it will roll it normally. Alt for advantage and control for disadvantage. Uh, two, it makes full attempted movement uh, towards its enemies. That's like 8d4, I think. It would be 12d4. 12d4. It is physically not possible for this kobold to survive. It's difficult to trek through this sneakily. Can I roll it anyway? You may roll it anyway. Wait, 12d4? Jesus. <laughs> 26. This kobold uh, is so dead that any children it has had previously probably also took damage because that was so much. Uh, you see another kobold just collapse into the ground in front of you. Uh, 
that will end its turn, bring us to... Oh, this one isn't supposed to be uh, in the initiative order. Uh, that's in a different room. So I'll just remove that one. That one is uh, dead. So now we're back over here. This one's going to make a move. There's so many. Oh my God. I know. <laughs> I know. There are so many. Uh, it would have been a little better if the alarm didn't get set off, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, this one's going to make a sling attack towards Hezia because it doesn't want to get anywhere near her. Uh, 18, does that hit you? It does. Yes! This one cobalt <laughs> throws, and you take five points of bludgeoning damage as a rock connects with uh, the back of your head. Oh, uh, wow. I took I took six, which means I, I must have taken the max amount of damage a throwing <laughs> rock can give me. These great. here are going to go down the steps. It'll get to here, 30 feet. How far away? Ooh, you're just within range. Uh, but I'm going to give you a plus two to your AC because it's going to have to like toss between uh, the different parts and the, the boxes in the way underneath this watchtower. Uh, so it's going to go ahead and also make an attack with its sling. Uh, that's not going to hit you. 13. Uh, even without the AC boost. Um, so this kobold... Hmm. I wonder if this can also reach Wheeze, because then it could have... <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to send it. Uh, send that down there. Uh, <laughs> A yeah. flamethrower charges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A wily flamethrower charges onto the field. Um, yeah, so this one is going to be manning this flamethrower, and it doesn't want to burn its friend. Uh... So it's going to make its flamethrower attack against uh, Weez. It's going to send out another flame. flame oh, I need to s stop setting it to use the, uh, the template. The template always goes the wrong direction. Ooh. <laughs> so let me get rid of this. 16. Oh, so that's successful. Uh, it's a DC 14. So you're not going to take any damage from it anyway because of your evasion. Um, I got to remember that. I got to stop attacking you with that thing. Um, <coughs> Okay, so that'll end your turn. Brings us to another kobold. Yep. Keep uh, it coming. <laughs> let's see if this one is smart enough to not use the uh, the flamethrower. Oh, Natural oh, oh, one. There we go. You there love we go. to see it, <laughs> don't you, people? Okay, so it is going to make the attack against you. It is going to make a flame jet attack. So go ahead and roll uh, the dexterity saving throw for me. Actually, let me make sure that uh, wrong. Damn. You are just. That's all right. I, I, got, I got potions. I got stuff. Yeah. So you are you're within range, um, and it is going to blast you. Uh, so you're going to take twelve does, points of fire damage. Um, does the thing I'm on also start burning? Uh, let me double check if flame jet. Each creature, uh, it does not say that, uh, oh, Jesus, something is spamming in the it kicked me out. Twitch chat. Give me one second. I have to ban something. I don't even know how to do that. Um, we need a mod. Block. Block, maybe? Uh, prevent, does it prevent them from posting in the chat? Filter the message out of chats you don't moderate? What? What does that even mean? <laughs> Why would I want it out of chats that I don't moderate? Report. Back Spam. Again. Spam. It kicks me out when I try to zoom. Spam bot. Oh my god, out. there's like four of them. Really? Oh, That's Jesus. Weird. There's like seven of them, actually. Jeez. Oh, God. Uh, what did I miss? Sorry, anybody in Twitch chat. I don't have the uh, time to go in and make a change there to fix that. Matt, if I log on, do you want to mod me or something? Uh, yeah. If you uh, get into the Twitch chat, I'll mod you. I'll let you know, because it's going to yeah. take a sec to load. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, okay, so uh, this does not say that things not held or carried are ignited. So I'm going to say that it's not ignited. Oh, actually, so these things would be fine. Um, <laughs> uh, 
So this is just burning you. Um, Damn, but it is still so risky. These... Damn, so these super awesome, like, barrels won't blow up? Damn, I was hoping. Uh, not from this. Though, also, okay. I would say that that's pr that would probably be unlikely anyway, due to a height difference, too. But, um... Uh, okay, so, cobalt. This one is within a certain amount of feet and is going to make a... Oh, wait, I forgot. I have this. I should be using this. There we go. Attack. So an attack against Hezia with another uh, sling. That's a 19. That's pretty good. Uh, so let's do another damage roll for that. Uh, you take six points of bludgeoning damage as another rock connects with you. Oh, man. There's so many spam bots in the chat. That's crazy. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm logging in. It's just a little laggy. Okay, uh, so that will end its turn. It's not going to get any closer to you. Uh, this booze servant is going to... Oh, no. It'll make it to about here. Um, and it's also... It'll make an attack at disadvantage against... Oh, these actually have a different thing. Um... Yeah, it'll hurl a bottle at you. <laughs> Matt, I'm also in if you want to. Oh, yeah. Give me one second so I can mod somebody to start uh, <laughs> banning spammers in the Twitch chat for whatever reason that they're there. Oh, shit. There's a bar in here? Uh, so let's the see. Server. <laughs> We're in the distillery, my guy. Oh, true. Inside the cold. I don't see cold anything that I recognize as one of your... <laughs> user accounts in here oh wait i'm marked as offline damn it kyle hey, dog. There you go. we're having we're having a bar room brawl right now a bar room but not in a bar room uh, yeah just just maybe near a bar room uh so that one throws a bottle at you an 11 that's gonna miss um that'll end its turn this kobold is also gonna make an attack at disadvantage with its sling uh, so control, I believe. Yeah, so that's another 11. That one misses. Holy crap, there are so many kobolds <laughs> in this section. DM Dave, who wrote this, is a madman. <laughs> this is too many kobolds. Um, this one has already used its flamethrower. Oh my god. Um, uh, yeah, so it's gonna make a Attack. I think you paused it while jumping back and forth between stuff. Oh, the game? Or? Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Uh, it doesn't stop me from doing anything. Just so you know, it was at the bottom. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, are you in there invisible yet, Kyle? I'm there. I'm just there. I don't see the chat moving, though. I don't know why. That's so weird. Yeah, yeah um, same. I'm in, but it's not like loading stuff for me. It's oh, weird. No chat. Uh, sorry, anybody that's in the. Uh... There, I chatted if you wanna. Oh yeah, let me. There we go. I don't know how to mod somebody. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> mod. Name. There it is. Cool. Yeah, you're a mod now. Mod cool. I'll let you figure that out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, cool, 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 cool. Now, back to running these cobalt. Okay, so this one uh, made a sling attack. That one missed. Boost server. This one... Let's get through this. Let's start throwing some ignited bottles. Yeah. At, uh... Oh, jeez. At disadvantage Love against it. Hezia. Uh, four. <laughs> so that's still gonna Yay! go out. Um, but <laughs> since it misses... Actually, let me double check what they say for an ignited bottle uh if the bottle was ignited hit or miss it fired each creature within five feet of it okay yeah so it still explodes there uh every creature within five feet uh has to make a dexterity saving throw so i'm gonna make a dexterity saving throw for this uh cobalt let's see and hezzy if you'll make one for me too uh, that's I'm an 11. Kind of, that's 
you said? Uh, yeah, dex saving throw. DC 13. Okay. And that, I, that actually, I don't think was the right damn modifier. I did a modifier. 16. Yeah, so it should I be. Did a 16. You did a 16. Because I'm the worst. So it should actually be 2d4. Uh, it rolled for the bludgeoning damage. Uh, five. So we have, yay, one more dead kobold. What? <laughs> uh, as this one throws a, uh, or hurls a, a flaming bottle at you, it misses you, but explodes at, uh, uh, at your feet, and uh, you manage to get out of the way of the flames, but the other kobold nearby uh, does not and falls uh, and is burning. Uh, that'll end that kobold's turn. This one has a turn. Uh, and now That's that great. all of its friends nearby are dead, it's going to use its flamethrower, not using place measure template. Uh, and yeah, you're well within the ability to reach and it won't hit anybody else. Uh, so make a, another dexterity saving throw for me, Hezzy, if you would. Oh, damn. And it's... Oof. So that's a nine. So you take eight points of fire damage as a stream of fire comes from behind and starts coating you. Uh, there we go. And that creature's turn. This one is going to look down, and it's going to try to stab. Or actually, no, that one takes uh, three. It's going to use its sling against uh, six who's trying to climb up. Uh, that's an 18 to hit. And three points of damage to uh, six as he starts climbing up and just starts getting pelted with rocks from one of the kobolds at the top. Another boo server, okay. This one is also going to hurl a f ignited bottle at you. Uh, oh my so, <laughs> Hezzy, if you'll make another uh, dexterity saving throw for me. Uh, it misses with the attack, but the... Oh my god! Wow, that's Ooh, brutal. Uh, that's some good rolls. So that's yeah. another 2d4 uh, fire damage as this bottle explodes at your feet. Uh, that's four points. Okay. Uh, then to another kobold. Where is this one? Even? I'm going to die just because a bunch of bottles hit me. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. Uh, this one is going to make a sling attack at a normal 17. Does that hit, Hezia? Yeah. Wow. They're just hurling rocks. These yeah. kobolds. Crazy. Uh, okay, so that's four points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, Senna, it is your turn. Oh. Um, <laughs> where, where is, from having seen the three of them, the two of them, run through this now, what is the, like, how far past the gargoyles do you have to be before they're, you're not taking damage from them, and where does it start and end? Basically? Uh, roll is a perception just, like, check for me. Gladly. I'm great at that. You are pretty good at that. Uh, <laughs> it looks like they've got, like, a ten foot wingspan. All right, so I am, would I be, uh, let me move forward 30 feet. Is, if I move up to um, here, is that, that'd be within there 10 feet to trigger that? Uh, no, you have to be within 10 feet. That's just out. This would just be out then. Then let me do that. I am gonna just move up to there if that's not gonna trigger it from them. And one other question, with these flamethrowers, do they appear to have anything, whatever is producing the, fra the flame from them, would it be safe to assume it is a flammable liquid? So if fire were applied to it, it would combust unintentionally. Uh, if you were able to get to whatever the liquid is, it does look like it's a metallic structure mm -hmm. uh that it's contained in so it might be hard to get through uh but you never know that's fair that's fair then but it would presumably explode and is flammable then let me just go ahead and cast create bonfire on uh this guy up here who's currently manning this flamethrower you got it So he will need to make a dexterity saving throw. Dex saving throw. Cool, cool, cool. That's a 12. That's a miss. Or a that fail. That is a miss. 
So he is going to take uh, 12 fire damage, and there is now, like, a fire in that space. He it doesn't go out yet, so. Gotcha. Oh, and does that do... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that was a concentration spell. I didn't realize that. I was thinking because it was a cantrip, it's not. Um, can I not do that? I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. Okay, so then he's still alive. I'm going to just use my action to dash over another 30 feet. You got and it. And that will be... Like 15. Make a uh, dexterity saving throw as you uh, move through. So I'm going to get to like right here. Sorry, I'm trying to. There's walls, so it's being away. Well, place markers so that you're not going through a wall. I was, but I thought I was at least, but maybe I'm not. There you okay. go. So dexterity saving throw. Real bad. Four. Wow. Okay. So you are going to take. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh, 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 28 oh, points. I can't help you. 28 you know, points it's... of slashing damage uh, from the spinning gar gargoyles. And because you are ending your turn within 10 feet of them as well, ah. you take it a second time. Uh, for another 21 points of slashing I did a damage. bad job measure because I was having trouble uh, measuring it right, so I just clicked because I didn't actually move my full movement. So that's good. Okay. If you didn't move your full movement, then move your full movement. I have about, I have like 10 feet left. I'll just go like one more if that's okay. Uh, you are still within range. So take your full movement. Okay, that's my full movement. There you go. Okay, so you, I'll say since you still had more movement, you wouldn't, actually stop within the still swirling blades of uh, a gargoyle statue. So only take the first 28 points of damage. All uh, right, sorry. I was having trouble because the walls were in the way. So when I was trying to click, it was being a little difficult. That is still, that is still a lot of damage. Okay. <laughs> I like how we're joking can about I, all these. Can I bonus action um, take a potion? Mm-hmm. Let me mark one down. And 2d4 plus 2. And while you do that, I'm going to go ahead turn. and move through some of these kobolds. Uh, this one is going to make a intelligence check to see if it can... Uh, oh, wait, no, this is only showing its uh, abilities, not its normal checks. There we go. 10. Okay, yeah, so it knows not to move. It's going to just make a sling attack against... Uh, for 11, uh, that's going to be <laughs> finally one misses you. <laughs> Success. You're, you're a really large target, you know. <laughs> I know. Uh, this kobold is going to do the same thing. Another 11. Look at that. Uh, so that one's going to miss as well. It's not going to go down there because it doesn't want to get anywhere near you. Uh, this one is going to move a little closer to six and make uh, the same sling attack against him. For nine, that's also not going to hit. Uh, terrific. At the top of... Oh, wait. No. We're, are we at the top of the round? Yeah, we are. We're back at the top now. Um, that took a really, really long time. <laughs> I didn't take my turn this round. Yeah, you did. This is I the first time you, through yeah, the whole this thing. Is the first round? That was the first round. That yeah. was the first round. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we got it. We got it. You got it. Remember when I, remember when I joked and I, I was like, "What if, what if we finish this?" Round, I'm gonna be honest. I, I thought we would finish this in like 30 minutes. It turns out, um, no, no way. It's not possible. Okay, so this one is also going to make a sling attack. I'm gonna start rolling. Oh, natural one that misses. I'm not gonna bother explaining what happens, just so that we can get through a few more of these faster. Uh, Weez, it's your turn. Great. Uh, let's see. I had all this time to think, and now I'm like... God. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move, and also bonus action dash. You got it. Uh, so as you move through, make a dexterity saving throw for me. I sure will do that for you. I'm trying to remember how to do this. Oh, Just on. control click. Whoa, what just happened? Cool. I'm just going to start with the dex save and then we'll get back. <laughs> okay. There we go. 
Or should it work now? Did it work? That's Ooh, I get to re-roll that, so it's 25. Boy. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, since you re-roll ones, yeah, that'll work. Uh, we'll go with the 25, so you won't take any damage, uh, because Hell it is yeah. a deck saving throw and your evasion. Okay. So that's 25 feet right there, which is my movement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then 5, 10... Uh, can I move here? I don't know how that works with the lava because it it looks like yeah, you can move there. Okay, like three quarters of that square is not lava, so I think that's a a safe place to stand. And then you can hit space bar to go there. What is that? You can hit space uh, to go if that's where you want to end. Yes. Here, I'm gonna move you there. No, I got it. Cool, cool, cool. Totally good. (laughs) <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, and then I'm going to use my action to fire at this guy. You got it. Go okay. ahead and roll your attack for me. Sure. I hope you hit. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I love that it auto. So Natural 20. There you go. All no, right. This is the deadest kobold. That anyone has ever seen. Where is it in my uh, tracking order? Must be down here somewhere. That's the best I can do to try to move out of the way of this freaking. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so we have one more dead kobold out of the initiative order. Good, good, good. I'm gonna start removing uh, the dead just ones. Just side note, I'm rolling a concentration check for everyone. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> I roll those at advantage. Because my thing. So 13. Uh, and it I was 28. 23 points of damage. These are 28 damage. 28. I thought it was 23. Okay. No, so, it's 28. Uh, uh, so you lose concentration on the. Uh, can I get to that underneath the journal entry? Oh, just by like one, right? Because you have go. to roll like half of it. Yeah, yeah uh, she needed a 14 or higher. Uh, so that is gone. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, great. I wish that happened before. I maybe would have moved it. Ah, it's all right. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, so you've got one dead kobold. Uh, that should be the end of your turn. That's movement, action, bonus action. Uh, this kobold is going to also make an attack against six with its sling and miss go to this next one who is uh actually let me roll a d6 to see if the flamethrower comes back it does that's very unfortunate um i just i just realized we we split off didn't uh didn't even mean to do that it's seen hezia kill at least one person uh yeah so it's gonna make its attack in the direction of Hezia. It's only going to be able to hit Hezia. Um, but that's okay. So if you'll make another dexterity saving throw for me. Sure. Wait, this one right here, does that mean he moves? Uh, I'm going to say that the attack that I just made was for this one and the one over here. The one to the right was uh, the one operating oh. the flamethrower just because I forgot that I have to roll for their uh, okay. regeneration ability. Um, but since they come in almost the exact same place, then it should be fine. Uh, yeah, so let me get the flame jet. I'm not going to place a measure template. There we go. And I rolled a 14. Yeah, so that's exactly what you needed. Uh, but you will take half damage. Uh, so you take 11 point, or you take 5 points of fire damage, uh, as the... Nope, get rid of that. Um, okay, so that one is... Uh, spent again. Uh, that ends that one's turn. This kobold. Let's see if he can tell that the thing is gone. <laughs> because it's not able to see it to begin with. So it's not going to know that the spiked ground is gone since it can't actually see it and nothing has moved through the area yet. So it's going to make a sling attack at. Hezia. 
Ooh. 11, so that's another miss. Nice. Do, do, do. Flamethrowers don't actually get turns, so let me remove that. And then this one, so let me roll a d6 to see if this one gets its flamethrower back. Oh my god, it did! <laughs> I think it's on a 5 or a 6, right? Um, it doesn't say it here, but it says it in the journal injury. Jesus, that's awful. Ow. <laughs> Was it loud? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so it does get it back. Um, My it's... bad. It can't hit both of you. Um... But it, it'll make its attack against Hesia. Sorry, Hesia. We make another dexterity saving throw for me. That is okay. Ooh. Oh, no. Damn. Nine. Okay, yeah. So uh, you take six points of fire damage. Not too bad, actually. Um, I mean... It's not grave. <laughs> my health has been halved by just tiny little stones being thrown at me. <laughs> uh, six. Yeah. Very sad. There's um, like 20 of them. Okay, I, I have a question. These, the look of these flamethrowers, how close to the ground could they get? Like, it, how many feet away, like, could they hit, like, right here? Could, like, this one, technically? Um, like, if you were right up next to it, basically, could they still hit you? I would say no. I don't think that they'd be okay. able to angle it down that far. Um, do I lose any of my movement if I let go of the ladder and... Um, with how little you made it up, no, I'll say that you can still have your full okay. movement. Um, then I'm going to say strategizing. You take this tower. I'll take these two, and I'm gonna run up and uh, fifteen attack this guy. You um, got it. With my great sword. That'll hit. <laughs> Both of those will hit. hit. And I believe it's dead. Yeah, it is. 15. Okay, this is uh, 30 movement. And I'm going to attack again. You got it. That one will also hit. hit. And <laughs> I am then going to... I have 10 more feet of movement. I'm going to move right over here. You got it. So you are now in that position. There we go. There's where that last kobold is. And Two more then, kobolds out of the fight. Yes. And if I have any more things I can say, I'm going <laughs> to um, say, Mockery, is that all you have, kobolds? <laughs> they are very mocked. Okay. <laughs> uh, flamethrowers don't get turns, but they are tokens, so it comes up in the order. Uh, this kobold, where are you? Okay, uh, this one is gonna make a sling attack because Hezia is still just outside of its range. Uh, 15, does that hit you? It does not. Thank it you. Misses. All right. Uh, okay, so that will end its turn, uh, bringing us to the next kobold who, I don't even remember what this one was doing. Uh, earlier, but it's going to run forward. It's going to make another sling attack. This time it's Senna. Uh, 14. Does that hit Senna? That is my armor class. Oof. Brutal. You take three points of bludgeoning damage as a small rock oh, wow. flies forward and hits you. Uh, another kobold. Pebble. Let's roll 1d6 to see if it gets its... Oh my god! Oh. Wow. Jesus Christus. Uh, let's see. What? Well, no! All right. Uh, oh, wow. So, Senna, go ahead. Roll a dexterity saving throw for me as another flame jet. Jeez, what are the odds? I guess it's one in three. Natural 20. What are the odds? Crap. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, wait, am I 30 feet within, like, near you? Because you could re-roll that. It wouldn't matter. Uh... You are not within 30 feet, unfortunately. Uh, so you take 14 points of fire damage as a flame jet just uh, 
reaches out uh, from almost its full distance uh, away. Should never have left that you. fucking bridge. <laughs> Uh, that will end its turn. Let me go ahead and remove this from the order. Hezia, your turn! Finally! <laughs> um, I am going to run forward to that guy, and I am going to cut him. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. Um... Nineteen, 19. Hit. yeah, that'll hit, uh, and he's dead. He's, yeah. Don't Question. worry about it. If I run for, oops, I keep doing that. Um, if I run forwards, that's an additional fifteen, so I've used twenty out of my forty feet. Can I climb fully up the tower and make another attack? Uh, so you have twenty feet left over. Yeah, once I get to the tower. Yeah, you can make it all the way up. Okay, so I'm gonna get up here. Oops, I always forget to hit shift. Um, and I'm gonna swing at the guy hitting, like, using the cannon. You got it. Smart move. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, that'll hit. Oh. We've got another dead kobold. And then I'm gonna look at the other two and I'm gonna drink a potion. <laughs> <laughs> Very smart. <laughs> Very intimidatingly, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, just climbs up, kills something, and then just starts drinking a potion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that should be intimidation. So that'll end Hezia's turn. Power, we'll, sure. we'll get to this thing. Let's see what happens if this one also gets oh its flamethrower back. It doesn't! Yay! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> uh, it's going to make a sling attack against uh, Six, who has... Come away pretty much scot free from this fight so far. 20, not oh, natural. Wow. Uh, three points of bludgeoning damage uh, as you uh, reach this watchtower and get clocked in the head. Uh, flamethrowers <laughs> do not get turned. Flamethrowers, again, do not get turned. There we go. This one is going to. It can't see Hezia anymore, so it's going to run over here and it's going to make a sling attack against Wheeze. I didn't need to send that to the chat again. Oh, well. Uh, 13, does that hit you, Wheeze? It does not. All righty. So that one makes a swing, misses. Uh, this one, how far away is six? Ooh, just within range, is going to throw a... It's just going to hurl a bottle at you. Um, six, that's going to miss. Not bad. Uh, this one is gonna get a little panicked looking directly at uh, Hezia, and it's going to take out its dagger, and it's gonna make a stab. Rude. <laughs> it is rude. 23! Wow! What? That's wow! That is so brutal. Uh, so that is three points of piercing damage. Uh, because you have not had an opportunity to rage in this fight. No, I was like, I don't need to yet. <laughs> uh, okay, so I already re-rolled for this one's flamethrower, so it doesn't have one. Uh, so this one's just going to make a sling attack against, uh, we'll say six. Through 19. <laughs> Just hits. Man. That's brutal. I don't get like any cover, no? Not from this <laughs> angle, no. <laughs> Not since it's higher up than you. I'm, I'm gonna I'll reach for anything. That's what yeah, <laughs> no, that's fair. Uh so six points of bludgeoning damage. You know what? I am gonna pull Actually no, that's not what I wanna do. Uh so that'll end his turn. Uh this one gonna come down here and it's also gonna make a sling attack against uh what's his name yeah. wheeze 20 that that'll hit brutal three points of bludgeoning damage as another uh they're gonna run out of rocks eventually they gotta <laughs> uh so this booze server is also pretty close. It's going to throw at disadvantage a broken bottle at six. 
Uh, that hits. Or that wasn't at disadvantage. Sorry about that. I meant to hit disadvantage. So let me roll one more time. We'll take the lower. 22. Ooh. My God. That still hits. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, these guys are good. Uh, so three points of slashing damage. Or four They're really points good at of slashing things. damage. Sorry. Okay. Dang. Man. They can uh, a good aim. So many of these things. Uh, it's going. This one is going to lean over and also make a sling attack. Sending this to the chat over and over. Uh, 13. Yes. Yes. Miss, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> this is taking forever. Uh, this one is also going to make a dagger attack against uh, Hezia. Natural oh, 20. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> nine points. That's on me. I should have. I should have raged. It, I should have. It makes sense. The odds are, they have to roll. They have like a twenty-five percent chance to hit you, and they have all hit you. <laughs> that is so rough. You made a reasonable call. I hope you did not feel bad about it. Um, so anyway, this his boo server. Uh you know what? I'm gonna start getting crazy with it. It's gonna throw an ignited bottle. Oh, snap. Uh, let's see if this hits. Natural one, it doesn't hit, but you still need to make a dexterity saving throw because it's still going to explode uh, in the area. And I'll kill its friends, hopefully. Hopefully. 11. Two points of damage, so it's not gonna be enough to kill them. Um, but uh, let me roll. Just needed one more point of damage and it would have done it. To deck saving throws. Uh, or, nope, not this. I need to roll another deck saving throw for the other kobold near you. Wow, and they both beat their deck saving throws. What the fuck? Right, that so is crazy. Wrong. I'm not even going to bother subtracting their health <laughs> because they're going to be dead whenever anybody hits them anyway. Uh, so that brings us to this kobold who is going to throw a rock at Senna. Let's see what happens. 18. God. Jesus. There's too many of them. <laughs> Does anybody have like a chain lightning or something? <laughs> Does anybody just have a death cloud? That's what we need. <laughs> Uh, I should have fucking maelstromed first thing, but I was like, no, I'm going to be smart because they all have to run at you because they're little lizard creatures. Turns out they all can fucking throw rocks. <laughs> 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 this one is also going to, this other boo server is going to throw another flaming bottle because I want to accidentally kill somebody. So I want to actually, <laughs> is 16, does that hit Hezia? Um, yeah, that's my armor class. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <coughs> true, true. So Why did it uh, minus two from that? That's weird. Minus let, me, two let me check their uh, ignited bottle damage. That can't be right. No, it should be 1d4 plus three. That's weird. Astro must have entered that incorrectly. 1d4 plus three. Four points of budgeting damage and another dexterity saving throw because this one is also going to explode. So let me I'm roll. Sorry, I did not. There you go. God damn it. But it's a 12, so I don't think I made it again. No, you didn't. <laughs> Jesus. This is actually. This and is they actually made a natural cool. 20 wow. and an 11. Man. This is insane. Uh, so it takes. Why, why is that damage set so wrong? Uh, 2d4. Let's see. It's still enough to kill them. Thank <laughs> the lord. An additional six points of damage as well? Uh, yes, you do. You okay. see. <laughs> but everything around you is dead now. So that's kind of a win. Uh, that's kind of a win. Just take the credit. Act like you did it. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Uh... Okay. There we go. Uh, that'll bring us to this kobold. Who is going... Is it... Yeah, he's within range. Going to make a sling attack against Wheeze. Eleven. That can't hit you. Nope. Please tell me that doesn't hit you. There we go. Senna, your go. Hey, back okay. to the bottom. You got something. Come on. All right. This one, right? I'm not fucking like wasting good spell slots on these things. Are you kidding me? The, um, this one? Yeah, they're. <laughs> they're <damaged. laughs> All right. Well, 
Mostly to Hezia. Um, do what yeah. you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to do? <laughs> Got it. Um, I have a... Oh my god, this looks so overkill. Can I just... At the one that's on the flamethrower right next to me, um, can I do guiding bolt on it? Yeah. Oh, I scrolled second. Hold on. I only need first. So, that is gonna be... A big ol' 11 to hit. It does not hit. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, love that. Um, so <laughs> I just want to kind of move up closer, like over to the side of it, because you said they can't flamethrower you if you're right next to it. <laughs> and, fair, 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 fair. Um, bonus action, <clears throat> uh, healing word on Hezia. Uh, you cannot do Healing Word because Guiding Bolt is a leveled spell already. It's not because I have a, um ability that lets me do it without a spell slot. Oh, okay. Ooh, roasted. So, <laughs> you got me. <laughs> quick through, because I'm going to make that a decent one, hopefully. 13. Big ol' 13. A lot of ones. A lot of ones. And end turn, having not managed to kill a fucking 4 HP kobold. They have more than 4 HP. Five. <laughs> five. They have five <laughs> HP. <laughs> okay, this one is going to make a sling attack against uh, Senna with a 12. Miss. Thankfully, Ooh. a miss. Uh, that will bring us to this one, who is going to then go and make a... Sling attack against Wheeze. 18, that'll hit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Normal. Uh, so that's six points of bludgeoning and I damage will, to Wheeze. I'm going to uncanny dodge this one so I can take... <laughs> you got it. So you take three points three. of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, that brings us to the top of the round with another kobold. <laughs> got this, mother. Yeah, y'all got to kill this first kobold. Working on him. I wanted to start with Wheeze. Uh, so he's also going to make a uh, sling attack against mm -hmm. Wheeze. Natural one. Nice. That's a big miss. I catch it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then you drop it in the Run lava. <laughs> Wheeze, your go. All right. So. Okay. All right. All right. All right. What is the range? Home, 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 range. All right. Cool. All right, so I'm going to fire at both of them. It was, it. It, it's going to seem simultaneous, but... Because I'm going to use a bonus action to fire again at the other one. You got it. So I'm going to start with one. Oh, fuck. First one is a miss. <laughs> Then I'm going to bonus action fire again at this one, by the way. This is the one I'm... You got it. Okay. Come on, crossbow. Don't fail me now. 27. Yeah, the 27 will hit. <laughs> yeah. The garbage will do. Uh, okay, there we go. Seven. So that one, uh, we have one more dead kobold. Oh, yeah. Uh, you yep. just blast a couple bolts out. Anything else you want to do movement-wise or anything like that? Mm, no, I'm going to stay where I am right now. Try to hide behind these little barrels. That's fair, fair, fair. Uh, okay, so that will end its turn. This one, let's see if it gets its flamethrower back. Even if it can't use it, it does get it. Uh, can it reach Wheeze from here? It can. <laughs> let's do it. It's okay, you got uncanny dodge. Okay, let's send... I do it in here. Make an uh, make a dexterity saving throw for me. Fourteen. Yes. Twenty-three. Okay, yeah. So you don't take any damage because your un uncanny dodge will uh, dodge you out of the way anyway. Uh, that will end that one's turn. Then this one is going to move here and throw a rock at Senna. Sixteen. <laughs> that hits. Oh my lord. It's like dropping a rock off the edge. Six points of bludgeoning damage as it rolls max damage for its sling. Uh, this one 
it it just saw Senna not kill anyone and Wii's kill someone, so it's gonna move over here and make a <laughs> sorry to burn you. <laughs> but it's gonna make an attack uh, against Wii's yeah. with a twenty one. What in the world is going on? They have a this plus is like my game when I yeah. have you guys play kobolds. It's insane. Four. You take four points of uh uh, bludgeoning damage. Just nickel and diamond me. Yeah, that's what's <laughs> happening. Six, you're go. Yeah. You're go, my friend. All right. I have many questions. <laughs> so and many questions. I get to here where I can get onto the flamethrower, and is it working? Uh, this would be the start of a new round. Let me uh, roll. You need a five or a six for it to be working. I see it is I not thought. working. God damn it. Okay. Since but you can get up there. Okay, since it's not working, um, I'm just gonna kill these fuckers. Fair. Um, and... And great. Cool. Natural one. Okay, and I'm gonna attack again. You got it. 17, that'll hit. Which, um, with great weapon master uh i can if i bring something down i can make a melee attack as my bonus action so i'm gonna attack the other one you got it because we'll say this one goes down that one will and also hit that one goes down. and that one will go down as well how much All movement great. would i have used to uh you'd have used five to get there um 20 to get up because it's difficult terrain so you'd have used 25 feet okay so i still have 15 feet can i jump down and Right over here. You have... Or I have 40 feet. Oh, so. uh, yeah, so you still have 15 feet. Yeah. Okay, so can I run over there? Yeah, you can get over there. And uh, say, exclamation, I'm coming for you next. <laughs> How terrifying. Uh, <laughs> so that will bring us to this kobold who... Uh, We'll move over here and make a sling attack against six. Natural oh, 20. wow. My God. What is wow. happening? This is insane. <laughs> oh, so that should be uh, the die roll should be doubled, actually. So you take six points of bludgeoning damage Ooh. as this kobold critically hits you. Uh, my God. This combat has gone insane. Uh, Hezia, your go. Okay. I thought this um, would go so much differently than it has. Can I see if the flamethrower is working as well? Uh, yeah, let me roll a d6. We want a five or a six on this. Hey. Six, hey. it is working. And okay. it's not that difficult to figure out. Even a, a barbarian can do it. Um, does <laughs> it point any direction? <laughs> Sorry, what was that? Does it point any direction? Uh, yeah, you can point it in any direction. I would say, like, any forward direction. You can't go, f like, um, directly to the right, but... Uh, like that, or, like, it has to be like this? Um, just let me draw out, like, where you couldn't do it. You couldn't okay. do it like this. Not that you would necessarily want to, anyway. But okay, if you wanted to do... Uh, oh, that one wound up moving. If you wanted to do that or something... I think I'm gonna work. hit these guys yeah How yeah so uh let me i'll send that to the chat and uh gotta move back to this so i can send flame jet do not want to measure template use okay so i'm gonna roll a deck saving throw for both of these guys normal normal 15, 17. So they're both These successful, are so resilient. but uh, they will still take damage and they still die. Er, nice. No, they don't. They are almost dead. They take four <laughs> points of damage on a... Uh... While I'm doing it, I'm gonna be like screaming while I'm doing the flame and I'm gonna go into a fucking rage. That's fair. That's fair. Wow. Four, one higher. That's wow. That's brutal. That's Woo! that's really brutal. Uh, so th 
all three elite unit outside like, yeah everything. all three of these guys uh are at one hp so let me just i'm just gonna mark them just for the sake of it why oh this one didn't because i didn't hit enter there we go okay so one hp for all of those guys wow uh okay so you are in a rage that will end your turn uh this creature over here going to make uh it can't get its flame jet over towards its immediate threat so it's just going to focus on throwing a rock at you 10 that's a miss Woo. okay they're getting tired their arms are getting tired <laughs> now where's this one over here this is one of your almost dead ones uh who's gonna make an attack against weave oh lord that hits 18 all right damage four points of bludgeoning damage back on one of these things who is going to throw a we'll say a broken bottle at senna natural one that's a miss there we go that's what i'm talking about Okay, so this one is going to move over here, and it's also going to throw a rock at six. Eighteen. Miss. Thank God for your crazy wow. AC. Uh, so now we've got another kobold over here, also going to make a rock throw. Eleven. That can't hit. Uh, at, at me, I assume? At Wii's? Yeah, at Wii's. Sorry about that. Yeah, no, it doesn't hit. Uh, so we're going to do another broken bottle at Senna. 15. Hits. Seriously? Okay. There you go. A broken bottle comes flying from above you and does four points of uh, slashing damage. Okay, moving through a bunch How are you of looking? dead ones. How are you looking, Senna? I look over here. <laughs> a little under half. Okay, that's not bad. So it it's not can't... horrible with how much damage you've taken. Jeez. It can't quite reach you. Uh, so it's going to use its dash action, and it's just going to get as far as it can. Uh, then this one is going to... That one's not the one in control of the flamethrower. I think I already checked for this flamethrower. Uh, this one, it can't move in that direction. It can't see. I guess it could see six. Uh, but I'm going to give you three quarters cover since there's like a thing here. So plus five for your AC. Uh, but it's still going to make an attack against you. Uh, oh, it actually should be at disadvantage too, but it's also a natural one, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> cool. Uh, so that'll be a miss. I uh, will move to the next Boo server, who is also not going to be able to reach Senna, so it's going to start using its action to get down here into position, as they think that the tide is in their favor, <laughs> despite their... Their number is going Their down. two... Five, six, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. Despite fourteen of them being dead, this is classic cobalt tactics. <laughs> this is how cobalts <laughs> operate. They just throw massive numbers against forces and lose a large number of them. Uh, so this one is going to move a little bit forward, make an attack against Wheeze with a sling. Five. That'll nope. be a miss. All right, Senna, your go. Okay, I have questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's say I want to take this initiative order that has 40 things in it, and I want to add eight snakes. <laughs> so... <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. They all... They no, all I'm kidding. 20 snakes. <laughs> get um, controlled individually. So, I just want oh to confirm... God. Because the description is you summon face spirits that take the form of beasts and appear in unoccupied spaces that you can see within range. Does that mean if I'm summoning eight snakes, I can pick eight spaces? 
Uh, yeah. That sounds awesome. Right. I'm going to go ahead and cast Conjure Animals and call forward uh, eight Constrictor Snakes. So... Okay, give me one second. Okay, weird ass druid. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to conserve spell slots, but clearly this is a thing. So. Okay, give me uh, one second. I'm going to have to connect to uh, PTT assets because I'm going to import <laughs> some constrictor snakes right now live on the scene. For what it's worth, they are large creatures, so when sizing them, that's the thing. Delicious. So we've got Constrictor Snakes. Y'all are gonna get a little bit of a look into doing things in Foundry as I come in. And so three by three for a large creature. Uh, I don't have a token for it, unfortunately, but that's large okay. Large is three by three, right? I thought, they were I thought it was two by two. I could be wrong. I'll do two by two. That sounds probably more right. Maybe it's huge. That's three by three. Uh, okay. So where do you want them? Actually, oh, let me right. uh, just uh, configure I permission, am... give ownership to Senna. And I'm just going to drag a bunch of constrictor snakes out here that you can put wherever you want. Holy shit. You get eight of these, big. right? Damn. It like blacked my screen out. Oh, it's probably be I didn't we give them vision. Because... Oh, because they don't have token vision or something. Yeah, give me one second. There we go. <laughs> Prototype. Vision. Has vision. Uh, what kind of... It doesn't matter what. Uh, if they have dim vision or bright vision, it's super bright in here. Okay. So Can you see just now? So you know, uh, yes. Okay. Just so you know, they are going to um, roll for initiative as a group. But then each one of them gets their own turn. Um, no action required by me to make them follow commands. Cool. Uh, uh, and so... they can stay for up to an hour. Cool. So, so you'll have these for a while. Should, should we follow around by a short rest so we can keep all these Let's drop one here. One here. One Holy crap. here. One here. Well, I you're... can't get one up on the watchtower, can I? Uh, it's too big. You can't or see is it up a there, so it can, like. You can't see up there. Okay, fair. Um, how far is thirty feet? Oh yeah, they can make it over there. Hell yeah. Let's get one here. <laughs> Boy, exactly <laughs> what I wanted. More shit in the initiative order. <laughs> And that's see. 40, but that's okay. They can move on their turn. Let's just send one, because I think this guy's a little out of my range. Yeah, he's, I'm going to, I'm going to be honest. He's got to be closer to me. And, uh. This is absurd. This one's going to go. <laughs> okay, let me just roll their initiative. They get. Do they add their decks to initiative? Uh, I added, uh, I rolled oh, for their initiative, initiative already. Oh, does that mean they still get to go this round? Because there is six now, they're just above me, damn it. You know what? Uh, I'm going to say that they are going to get to go. Yes! I'm ready, uh... <laughs> yeah. Kill them all! Let's, let's roll some... Hey, some those are like six. That's Jesus. cool. That's scary. Oh, I'm about it. Yeah, we... Actually, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, one. that's crazy. So we're gonna roll some bite attacks here. Their uh, bite attacks are plus four to hit for one d six plus. Ooh, what if I roll it as constrict? It's one d eight plus two. So naturally, they're all gonna go for constricting the kobolds. Terrific. So I'm gonna just go ahead and because if it's their turn, then any of them that didn't have movement before. Or have movement now. You're in range, you're in range, you're in range, you're in range. You're gonna move over here. There we go. All snakes available. <laughs> and with snaky token. Okay. He's gonna move 30 feet over here. He's gonna move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 to there. That's, I guess, the best he can do. Okay, so I'm gonna roll. Let's start. Here. I hope all these hit. 
Warning, and it's going to take a minute, y'all. <laughs> That's okay. I can give you a second. Four. <clears throat> Where are you okay. start? Which snake are you starting with? I'm starting up here by the um the ones that are serving uh the flaming bottles. <clears throat> so 19 to hit, and it is gonna be. I'm just reading about constrictor snakes now. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding! I didn't even. Okay, three damage, but it's okay because the one next to him is gonna join in. Which one did you do damage to? Uh, can you see my mouse? The one between. Oh the yeah, two? gotcha. So three points okay. of damage to him. Second one wow. is the natural twenty for the snake, who is going to roll a D eight. And a natural. Plus These two. snakes are putting y'all to shame. <laughs> okay, so middle kobold right here is dead. You got it. You got one dead kobold. Okay, next giant snake. Let's go. Plus four. Dang it. Oh, he did a bad job. He missed. Come on, giant constructor snake. I don't know what you think you're doing. I mean, there are only eight of them. This so. one rolled a 10 to hit. Also not great. Okay. <laughs> Next up is the one who is going to be attacking the one with the turn marker on it currently. Oh, oh my god. Are you kidding me? It's not just us, it's the snakes too. <laughs> right beneath it. Oh, oh my god. This Does one is in range of anybody, because I he was a little too far. And then this last one way over there. Don't fail me now. What are the odds? Bad or hey, what there you go. Oh, 16 hits. Uh, yeah, 16 hits. Which one are you hitting? I'm hit all the way over on the left, and that's my last snake. Gotcha. Okay. So he's going to do... There we go. There it Dead. is. Dead. There we go. Okay. Dead kobold. Two and dead now I have an army of snakes. Yeah, for an hour. <laughs> Does anybody have control lava and we could just... Giant, like, rattles, like rattlesnake, deserty kind of snakes, you know? Yeah, I grabbed, I think it's like a coral or a poison snake or something, because I just wanted to grab a token quickly. But, uh. That looks good. I like yeah, it. Yeah, it looks cool. But it's what I had. Thank you, Forgotten Adventures, for tokens. It's a nice. giant snake. Uh, okay. And they have 13 hit points for what it's worth if anybody cool. attacks them. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so y'all see. They as... have more hit points than the <laughs> As Senna walks forward and just starts raising her arms and these horrifying tan constrictor snakes just start climbing out of different parts of like volcanic rock and you're not sure how or where they're coming from. And the kobold, uh, just roll an, an intimidation check for me uh, at advantage. With my modifier? Uh, yeah, with your modifier because this is your evil spell work. <laughs> because this would be horrifying for a hey. handful of kobolds. <laughs> Natural 20. Okay, so here's what I'm saying. Every single one of them uh, is afraid of your snakes, uh, and attacks against them will be a disadvantage. Yes! Invincible snakes. Even if we all die, the snakes are going to clear out. <laughs> <laughs> this will now be a snake dojo where they will live forever. Um, where they will brew magical alcohol. <laughs> exactly. Very cool. Uh, okay. okay, so and bonus action. I'm gonna take <laughs> a potion. <laughs> smart, 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 smart. Uh, okay, so last two kobolds in the round. Uh, this one is gonna be freaking out, uh, and it's gonna try to stab this constrictor snake right in front of it. Uh, but a disadvantage. It for um, <laughs> what is their AC? It's twelve, it, so mm -hmm. it's a disadvantage. It's so let me roll one more time. Uh, 11. Yes, yeah, so that misses. Uh, then where's this kobold? Over here. This one. Uh, I don't think I've checked if this one got its flamethrower back. Give it, it doesn't. Oh. Good, 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 good. Okay. Um, so it's just going to come forward and... Actually, it wouldn't be able to come forward because that would be going towards the snake. 
Um, so I'm going to say that it is going to make an attack on Wheeze at disadvantage uh, because it's going to try to like jump and like throw it over the wall. Uh, okay. So let me get sling in the chat. Normal. I should set this to be collapsed. Uh, 11, that's nope. going to miss you. So now we're back at the top. Wheeze, it's your go. There are a lot of dead kobolds and a lot of big snakes around. <laughs> They're friendly, don't worry. They're fine. Unless you're a kobold. Unless you're a kobold. <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna see the snakes and go like... What the fuck? And then... I'm going to... <laughs> well, I can't... <laughs> I can't see... I, I don't think... I can't see the one that's up in the tower, right? Technically? Uh, no, you cannot. And actually, while you plan that, I'm gonna ask something to chat. Chat, how heavy do you think a large constrictor snake is? Just wait. Anybody else can uh, posit their thoughts as well, but. Like how large are we talking? Like how heavy is it? It's, uh, I think like large is like 10 feet. Like, is it one that like Britney Spears wore? Like it's that probably bigger. bigger. Yeah, it's probably that? bigger than that. Is it, it takes like the anaconda up like, from the movie Anaconda. <laughs> somewhat like wrapped around, it's taking up like a twenty foot, like Yay. area. That's a pretty. Good or ten, uh, ten foot square, ten foot square. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna peek around the barrel and I'm gonna fire at. Jesus. Soldiers. Okay, uh, the giant anaconda, which is about 17 to 30 feet long, can weigh up to 550 pounds. Okay, yeah, so uh, I am going to need this snake to, uh, where is it? No, it doesn't so even like make a save. Uh, it's going to take 2d6 falling damage as the deck that it is crawling up collapses underneath it that's fair i will that's gonna be snake number one and he yeah. is down five hp so he's down five oh. hp that's actually written into the adventure but i forgot about it because i was not th expecting giant snakes <laughs> <laughs> to be oh, perfectly honest <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah so this uh the steps uh going up this rickety deck just collapse underneath uh and actually uh, these oh, so two come, are two on the steps. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say these two are also on here, so they would take uh, the damage too. And with it being five damage, that is two more dead kobolds, folks. Uh, yeah. What about this guy up here? Good job, Snake. Uh, let me actually let me double check. I think it might say that the entire deck comes down, and if because it does, because I do have two snakes on it, so technically they should both fall. Uh, rickety deck. The deck itself would meant to hold. If more than 200 pounds is placed on the deck, the deck collapses. Yeah, it says the entire, uh, the entire thing. So this one is also going to die, taking that five points of damage as this entire deck collapses, uh, down around. And one of your constrictor snakes out of the dust just kind of, like, looks up. I was like... Mm. <laughs> it looks apologetic for breaking something to you, Senna. Uh, I'm like, okay, it's okay, don't worry. But by it's itself, cool. it killed four kobolds, I think. <laughs> so I'm like, eat it. Just eat them. It's fine. <laughs> Starts consuming them. Uh, so, Weez, I'm sorry, did you make a turn? I had to, That's to okay. fix that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm firing at this guy, and I'm also firing at this guy. You got Basically. it. Roll uh, both of your attack throws. Sure. Or uh, attacks, not attack throws. <laughs> That'll hit. Cool. We've got one more dead kobold. Because it had one HP and left. Bonus action. Start fire again. 15. I don't have to scroll anymore. Yeah, 15 will hit. Uh, so we've got yes. another dead kobold uh, as another... Uh, two bolts just oh, go blasting out. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to scroll the uh, in the combat tracker anymore. <laughs> oh man! And then, then I'm gonna move. Damn! Uh, I'm gonna move. 
see. Would the snake be considered friendly space? Yes, like I can... they are friendly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Though still so remember, a scary. as a halfling, you can move through this space even if they're not. Whoa. True. <laughs> um. Cool. So then I'm going to come here. Hang on. I got this. You no, can I do don't. it. <laughs> All right. Where so do you want to go? I'll move this you is then. where I'm going. A lot of people are playing with their touchpads, and this is a little bit harder on a touchpad. So uh, forgive them. Yeah, it is tough to get that to stay. <laughs> so right there. I yeah, that's fair. I'm going to go right here and just pose next to the snake. Yeah, you you are standing directly in front. <laughs> you blow like a tiny puff of smoke off of your crossbow. It does go like at you, like a little <laughs> tongue. Yeah, its tail just slightly wraps around you. It's nice and warm, but it's pretty hot in here already. Uh, so that'll end Weez's turn. Brings us to our next set of 19 kobolds that have their turn. <laughs> um, this one is going to uh, see if it gets its flamethrower back. It doesn't. That would be a lot of dead snakes. <laughs> or a lot of burnt snakes, at least. Um, so it is going be to... be so mad. That would be awful. Uh, so it can't hit six. So it's going to make an attack against uh, Senna. I thought it was going to be a natural 20 again. Nope, but a 20 to hit. Uh, I'll do normal. It. Full yeah. damage. Six points of bludgeoning damage. Max as it damage. You'll throws love to down. See it. You'll love to see it. Uh, this kobold is going to do the same thing. But Hopefully worse. Roll. 11. Ooh. Miss. All right. That's a miss. I'm on your side here, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's weird. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I don't trust it. Okay. That's... It's funny considering there were 36 things in this room. <laughs> I didn't write this adventure. You can send all of your angry tweets to at DM Dave <laughs> blog, I think is what his DM Twitter. Dave. <laughs> DM Dave, you bastard. Uh, oh, wait, I didn't need to send that to the chat. This one's going to make an attack against Wheeze. Yes. 22. It's my word. Jeez. My word. Six points of bludgeoning damage. Another max damage hit. Uncanny dodge. Fair enough. You take three points of damage then. Six. Sure. Kill me some kobolds. All right, I'm getting up here. You got it. Or however, the least amount of movement. To 15. It'll, or, or it will take you 20 feet to get up the ladder, five feet to get to the ladder. So you have 25 feet. So it's basically the same as last time. Okay. I'm just going to swing. Go with my great sword. <laughs> nice. I'm not even you got say it. Anything. Dead kobold. And then again. Nice. Dead kobold. Cool. And I'm going to drink a uh, potion. You got it. Um, and I'm actually gonna... Hezia, you are up next. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna drink my greater healing potion that we had. 13. Alright. And um, I'm going to jump off again and I did 25 so I have 15 I'm just gonna go as far as I can go you got it Out. Yeah. so you are back on the field Hezia mm -hmm. your go okay I want to see if this flamethrower works again <laughs> okay let's see <laughs> oh didn't mean to double that it does very cool um Can I hit this guy? Uh, yes, you can. Okay, I would like to try and hit him with the flamethrower so we can finally get this tower done. You got it. So let me roll a so deck good. saving throw for them. 20. Let's see what the damage is. God they love it. making their deck saving throws. 13, so dead anyway. Yes! Because oh, no. even halved, that's six it points, which is more than their five HP. It dodged oh. so well, it died. <laughs> um, so 
So even though I used my action, I would still like to jump down. I hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna jump down like right here. You got it. It's not um, a particularly high jump for you. Okay. Will it use like five or ten feet of my movement? Uh, ten feet of your movement. Ten feet. Okay. I'm not gonna like move a ton. I'm just. I would like to. Uh, like. Move. Okay. Thank God the snakes stay up. <laughs> <laughs> oh I yeah, because you did take not. damage. Yeah. Want to like get behind? I'm this terrible guy. with constitution <sighs> saving throws. I'm gonna put a little marker on you. I should have done that earlier, but I didn't. So make it look like a brain because I'm concentrating. I don't think there is a brain icon, actually. I'm gonna make it radioactive. Oh, nice. <laughs> actually, I'm gonna do the big one because that's more visible. There we go. How do you do the big one? Uh, right click. Oh. And I'm sorry. What did you say you were doing, Hesia? Oh, I was just going to move to, like, the back side of this guy um, and oh, just, gotcha. like, get prepared to cut a bitch. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll do it. Okay. Uh, so that'll bring us to this kobold's turn, who is going to uh, chuck something at Reese. Do it. Fifteen. Hits. Of course it does. Four points of bludgeoning damage as yeah. another smooth rock comes I'll flying use away. Spirit shield. Wait, let me see if I'm within range. What is that going to do? It's gonna. It takes away three d six, but I'm not going to roll that. So because it's going to be more than four. It takes away your damage three d six worth. Oh, cool. So I don't, so I don't think. I don't think. Damage. Yeah, it has to be within thirty feet, which you are within twenty five. I think I saw. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 3d6 could be less than 4. He could take 1 point That's of true. damage. That's true. You're right. You're right. Let me roll it. The odds oh, would have to be terribly... 3d6 plus something. It's going to happen. It's definitely going to happen. Yeah, now that you said yeah, it. Yeah, now that you said it for sure, Z. Yo, if, if it's three ones, That's gonna be I'm awesome, signing off for the honestly. night. <laughs> <laughs> did it not roll? And it didn't. Sorry. It didn't. Oh, there you go. Wait, Eight. it was only 2. No, Eight. whatever. Okay, yeah. So you don't okay, take any damage. Enough. Still enough um, that. Matt, just to confirm, because I see my snakes are not on the initiative order. They were a six, right? So they'd go right before me. Oh, I must have accidentally removed them. Here, let me add one back in. Oh, That's cool. crazy that all the snakes go on the same turn. So, like, all of a sudden, when their turn comes, they just all it's get like... alert at the same time and just start, <laughs> like... <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so that'll end that kobold's turn. <laughs> now we've got this kobold's turn. Uh, it can't see Senna. Um, it's going to make an attack at disadvantage against the snake. Uh, so let's get another attack roll in here. 18, that'll hit your snake. Oh, does it have disadvantage? Uh, oh yeah, it does have disadvantage. I keep forgetting to hit. Uh, so let's see. Still hits. <laughs> Rats. All right, okay. so that was down six. Got it. Yeah, are you changing its HP or do you want me to change it? I am. I was just keeping track of them like manually, but um, I'll change I it here. Do that. There we yeah, go. Yeah, I forgot I could do that. Uh, okay, so that will end that one's turn. Uh, it is now all of your snakes' turns. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Let's start with <laughs> this guy. He's gonna go ahead and make an attack against this kobold that is near. I believe this Hesia up here. Sure. So he is gonna roll a d20 plus four. 13, that 13. hits. Okay. And that is a d, nope, not a d10. D8 plus two. Five points. Five damage, what Dead do you Dead know? kobold. Okay, I'm gonna worry about moving him in a minute if there's still kobold. Huh? Let's go to this snake over here to this one, who is going to do his d24. Wow. Oh my god. I want this one to move in over there. Let me real quick measure that. Oh yeah. So then this snake is going to come over here and join in. 
Um, it did just move through a kobold. Did it? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that one is going to make an attack of opportunity with a dagger. Oh, wait. Oh, if I can still get there, that's fine. I have enough snakes. Yeah. <laughs> I have enough snakes. <laughs> uh, let's right. see. Uh, nine. That's not going to hit you. That's not a hit. Nice. So then other snake is going to bite at him, too. Which is going to be... Eight. Oh that God. misses. Eight to hit. Okay, so that kobold gets to live for now. Um, Don't worry, I got it. That was these three. Don't get cocky, kid. Okay. <laughs> this snake is going to move down here. Okay, it kind of got on top of that kobold by accident. That's fine. And attack this one. That'll yes. hit. There we go. There we go. Hey. Go. That's enough okay. to kill it. Dead kobold. Wow. There we go. Good thing, good thing these snakes came. Now, pretty much all the ones left up are, like, on top here. Uh-huh. Your snake can climb up there. It can climb up there. Okay. It's going to... It's not going to climb up the ladder because it wouldn't fit, but it will wrap it itself like, around the tower and climb. Would you say that only one at a time could do that? There's four legs. <laughs> they could all climb up a different one. Let's move one, two... Three. How close can this snake get? Because a snake Could would be imagine... able to do that easily. It can get here. Could you imagine being these three kobolds and all of a sudden you're <laughs> fighting people and then four giant snakes yeah. wrap up the side? It's just snakes <laughs> on, on a watchtower. I'm Sunday tired of these night. motherfucking snakes. <laughs> it's kind of hard to space them just because they're big. Would you say that... Because this one can't get super close. So I think it makes sense to just roll for the three of them and say yeah. that the fourth one can't. Okay. Yeah, because that so, fourth one, they each need their own leg to climb up or their yeah, own, Yeah, he like, can't stand. quite get to one, so... Okay, so that's gonna be... Jesus! Damn. Come on, Snake. That'll hit. Oh, there we go. There we go. And one more to hit. That won't hit. Ugh. Uh, so, so I'm gonna say one by a thread. this cobalt. Okay. One dies. of them is dead. Yeah, this one's nice. gone. And then, uh, that's all the snakes. All right, good snake move. And now it's Sinna's turn. Hmm. Okay. I didn't even think about what I wanted to do. <laughs> then there are three cobalts I left, folks. Go. We're almost yeah, there. Three left. Oh, you know what I want to do? I'm going to take a little scooch backwards off of here. Just a couple of feet. And let me open up the spell on this guy with the um, flamethrower. Are you turning the music up? Uh, no. Uh, it might just be a louder song. It's playing through a playlist. Here, I'll Okay, I don't know. Mine, like, suddenly got... I turned mine down. Yeah, I turned mine down, so it must have just been me. All right, so on the one with the flamethrower, I'm going to do Thorn Whip, which is going to be a 25 to hit, I guess. That'll hit. For eight damage, and he is, like, yanked off the top. Okay, for eight damage, doesn't even matter that he's yanked off. He's dead, but I'll drag his corpse <laughs> down to the ground is... as it... Actually, uh, I'm <clears throat> going to just do that for now, I'm not going to... That's fair. Fair enough. Wheeze, it's your go. All right. I think you have one Great. living nearby. Cobalt. Right. Um. And it's looking at you. And just... <laughs> Speaking in some kind of language you don't understand. Right. Well, it doesn't really matter because I'm just <laughs> going to fire with a uh, tech. Mm -hmm. Do I get a uh, sneak attack? It doesn't really matter. Doesn't no, matter. you're not hitting matter. So, yep, firing. Uh, <laughs> that misses. <laughs> Pat, wait, do I get... No, I don't get advantage if someone is next to it, so it's fine. 
Uh, no, you do get sneak great. attack since an uh, ally is near it, but you don't mm -hmm. get uh, advantage. You don't get advantage. You get well, advantage. I had another hitting. plan, but since it's still standing, I'm gonna crossbow it again. Okay, hey. so you do twenty-two uh, with your sneak attack damage. It's enough for this cobalt to go down. All right, and then I'm one going more to dead cobalt. I'm going to move. We have one remaining cobalt here, and I'm gonna get right next to Senna, and I'm gonna say, "Is all right if I ride one of the snakes?" <laughs> I'm like, ask the snake, not me. What? Can I ride you? <laughs> Would the snake up. let him? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. There we go. It's friendly. Yeah, so it's then I am on. I am on this snake. It goes like full Harry Potter. <laughs> Saya, <Sia. laughs> uh, yeah, so you are on top of a snake. Very uh, insane. Not at all a sentence that I thought I would be saying uh, today. Okay, so that ends Weez's turn. That brings us to the final kobold who is just looking around at all of these snakes right by it. And, just... and it's going to make it. A... draconic. What did it say? You speak draconic? Yeah. It said, this is the day that I got. I die. At least I will go out with glory. <laughs> I have to move your snake to be able to access it. Uh, and it's going to make a stabbing attack against your snake. I hope At it's not 20. Advantage. At disadvantage. Uh, 18. These rolls are insane. Like, they yeah. are they are insane. These rolls are absolutely insane. Five points of damage to this snake uh seven there we go uh man last stand of this cobalt six your go my friend all right can i fucking then Hezia. get here and lob an axe at it is that possible yeah you can lob, lob an axe at it all right i'm going to take my hand axe and throw it oh wait i have to be 20 feet And axe. You got it. Go. You Yay. have killed the final co uh, the final kobold. Combat has ended, and we can finally From change. The snake, I'm like, Woo! Actually, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna like partial tongue at the snake and tell it to just like it's just gonna it's just gonna give you a little ride around. It's just having fun. Status. You have. They are all dead. It took a minute, but yeah. I'm gonna take a help. How are y'all <laughs> looking before yeah. you do that? Oh. I'm deciding how I want to heal you. I'm uh, half too rough. personally. I'm. You're... What? I'm at half health. Half, okay. Same. Twenty-five percent. Same. Dang. Twenty-five down. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, yeah. Um, then. Which is about. I'm thinking. I thought I was uh, going forward, like, you know, I think in combat, don't be afraid to use your healing potions, but I feel like out of it, like, you know, I'll, I, I might be focusing on not letting you guys, like, die rather than keeping you at high health, if you know what I mean. But I will do a um, fourth level healing spirit, which, wait. No, I'm gonna wait on. Oh, fuck. No, I'm gonna just do it because I don't know if. No, actually, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm like having many, many thoughts here. I bet that's a concentration spell, so I'm actually not gonna do that. Are your snakes a concentration off. spell? They are concentration. Cool. I'm going to clear so means... all of the measurements off of the thing. Yeah, healing go. spirit is concentration, and I would rather <laughs> keep my snakes, so... Because <laughs> I have a lot of them. While um, you're doing this, Weeze is just riding around on a snake backwards and forwards. Um, Six will walk up to the snake and Weeze and hand him his greater healing potion. And he will say, Statement, take this! Alright, that was nice. <laughs> So I have a great, great, uh, greater. So 44 plus four. Okay. I think I already have. Oh no, I don't. I have a superior healing potion. 
Hey Matt, is this a dire weasel over here? Uh, it is a dire weasel. It's not oh, a. I love it. They don't yeah, seem aggressive though. Sorry, so what I was that? I can pet it. Yes, you can pet it. I'm gonna go over there and try and pet that dire weasel. You see this whole time that it's been like watching all this going around. It's just like eating out of a feed bag in front of it. And then uh, you walk over and it's like, Urgh! and then it sees that you're not coming over flaming sword out and it's like, okay. <laughs> All right. So friends, just to like let you know what I'm thinking here, I would like to heal you with my wild shape active because then I get the um, bonus to the healing, but it only lasts 10 minutes. So I'm going to try to wait to do that until we're about to go into a next fight. So like maybe we can look forward a little bit because I'll be able to heal you way more if I have that up. Strategizing. So uh, perhaps we should take our potions now and then in combat, you'll be able to heal us. That also would be fine if you would like to do that. I know we have a lot of them and, you know, so. Um, so I roll. Four. I'm good with taking a healing potion to try and save. Hey, I got 14 back from that. Nice. While I'm riding the snake, I'm like. Go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, so I use Just a drunk one. halfling use... chugging potion. <clears throat> wow, that was some fight. Yes. It yeah, was. It was. <laughs> Holy cow. That took, that, that took a crazy turn. One of the most powerful kobolds I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, and don't forget that y'all did each get four potions of healing from uh, Kalias. And then I think we had some from the previous thing yeah, too. Yeah, we had some from yeah. the previous yeah. What's oh. it? I can't find it for some reason when I try and add it. Yeah. I'm on I must have already used it, like, the last time we were playing or something. Cause I, I you gave one to... One the first time we played, though, before we did this. Okay. Yeah, I... yeah, I think I did. You're right. Um, statement. I have one I left think... if anyone needs it. Why is... Oh, I think I'm okay right now. There we go. I just need that. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Um... Good roll. There we go. Hey. Yeah, that's, that's how you do it. That's how you do it, dear. All right. Nice. How did you get that potion to, to work? Why did it not work when I tried to roll it? Um, you got it, it, it like B in the text yeah, box. It's not, it's not like up at the top. Gotcha. Okay. Before we press on, would everybody be cool with taking five? Yes, please. Oh, yeah. You meant in real life. Okay, yeah. yeah. So everybody, we're gonna take a uh, quick- No, uh, I, I need five in game so I can individually like go tell all the snakes to come. Okay. <laughs> uh, as Atropos calls it, we're gonna take a five minute bio break, everybody. We'll be back uh, in just a few minutes. It's nine twelve, so maybe like nine, 18? I don't know. It's not going to be that specific. We'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you all soon. I have a stream intermission thing now. Heck yeah. <laughs> we survived. Yeah.
Now that we're back live, but we've discussed our snacks a little bit, we're back at Clash at the Cobalt Cauldron, where we just killed, I think, 30 kobolds uh, with the assistance of eight appearing giant or large constrictor snakes, uh, all at the beck and call of Senna. Everyone has chugged a bunch of potions and uh, ready to rumble and tumble your way through the rest of this, I think. So, what would everybody like to do now that you've had a moment to breathe? <clears throat> yes, it does. Yes. If they weigh 600, 700 pounds, I think that they, because a snake is a, is just a big muscle, basically. Uh, I think that they, they could probably pick something up that was the same weight as them. Or maybe, like, not move it smoothly, but maybe with uh, difficult terrain, like half their movement. I can have all of them, like, kamikaze themselves to death. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sick. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I there was an audio issue. I just fixed it though. Sorry about that, everybody. They couldn't hear y'all. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, then you should ask what you said again. <laughs> or yeah. Are you basic? So if my snakes can each pick up a barrel of the red claw, can they slowly drag it into another room, and then I can light them on fire and kamikaze them to death? Uh, you could. How much movement does a snake have? 30 feet. Uh, so it would only be able to get 15 feet, but... Uh... It's on the table. It's on the table. I'm just saying, maybe we'll make like one or two snake grenades. Like maybe a couple of them can drive Actually, I guess they could move you know? 30 if they use their movement and their action to move. Mm. And then how you just blow them action, up. Or, um, how many ways in does it look like? Like, we can't get up here, right? <clears throat> but there is... No, you uh, can no longer get up the stairs. That entire deck is destroyed. But there is a path. Uh, pretty much what y'all can see, there's a path over to the left uh, that goes up. Uh... And there, it looks like two paths to the right. If you want, you can roll a uh, perception check and see. Advantage. And which way uh, are you in, are you looking into currently? I'm gonna look through this way first. Gotcha. All right, I'm gonna go check out this uh, giant barrel over here. This. All right. And I'm assuming I walked over here to check out those barrels, so it looks like there's a path down this way. Yeah, so uh, that's the, to the left is the way that Senna is going, uh, that Senna and Six are both going, and mm -hmm. did you say that you have uh, advantage on your perception checks, Six? I do. Okay, yes. cool. Uh, so as you're coming over here, I accidentally overwrote this earlier, uh, so I don't have it, uh, but you... Let me as you're coming over here you approach this cave beyond uh the barrels that starts to slope up at a very hard angle it's like 45 degrees it's gonna and it's also slick with spilled red claw it looks like it's gonna be difficult to navigate up but you see on the left side of the wall there's a rope that runs up it that goes through a series of metal rings that are attached to the wall but with an 18 perception, you notice that uh, they don't look particularly well placed. Um, it looks like they might be uh, easily pulled out if you were to use them. And so we wouldn't be able to use them to climb up, is what you're saying, right? The uh, not someone of y'all's weight. It seems like it worked. It would work well for kobolds, but uh, for people, if they tried, it would get pulled out of the wall. All right. Report. We shouldn't use this way to move. It would be too difficult. 
and then I'll look at the other one as soon as I can. And I'm checking out this giant barrel over here, Matt. Oh, uh, gotcha. Or whatever Sorry, this what? thing is. The cart. Is it oh, a cart? Yeah, it's just yeah. a cart filled with uh, red cloth. Oh. Uh, with a dire weasel at the front of it. So I'll just kind of. Oh, okay. Do I need to make a new perception check, Matt? Or... Uh, for the right side? Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll another perception check for me. Can I also make an animal handling check to see if I can, like, lead the dire weasel? Uh, yeah, roll an animal handling check for me. This way. Okay, so six. On your way over to the right side, you first notice that it looks like there's a set of stairs, but as you go over and you kind of start looking around, this there's a difference between the stairs and the ground. Uh, as you're looking at it, you see like a normal kind of, it looks almost like clay, uh, for the stairs. And that if you were to step on it, uh, that it, uh, probably would not support you. Report this way also is not a good way to go. <laughs> uh, and now we'll look at the other one. Gotcha. Going up that way, uh, it just looks like a wide path. It looks like a place where they would bring carts. It's the only place wide enough for carts to be coming from. Um, report. This looks like a good place to have the snakes go and the cart if we're able to take it. I rolled a 19 animal well, handling. That way, so. uh, it just looks like a wide path. That might path. be how like we take a lot of red claw with us. Bring carts. It's the only place Here's wide enough for Sorry, carts everybody. Give me one second. Well, report, well, we trying to like take good place to have the, the red claw. Go. And the cart, if we're able to I, take it. We were just trying to get ingredients, weren't we? I rolled Probably like to figure out what it was made of, uh, not necessarily it bring it like back. Oh, oh, I was just taking some for your whole kamikaze thing. Oh, yeah, 100% that. Yeah, I'm also thinking that maybe just well, the, the cart we itself, to take you know? The red claw. That's true. That, yeah, that's true. We were just trying to get ingredients, weren't we? So it's all it's on the table. Like, to figure out what it was made of, not necessarily bring it to six. Oh, I was just taking some for This is the only way over here. Statement. I or observation. It does seem that there the other ways seem hazardous to us, and this would be the best way to have the snakes go and do their kamikaze thing. <laughs> all right. Well, sounds good. Let's do it. Okay, sorry, somebody was saying something about audio issues, but it looks like it's good for other people, so never mind. All right, but just just curious. Actually, no, we have, like, torches and stuff, don't we? So, yeah, we have we have fire. We'll be fine. Can I have, like, just maybe three of the snakes grab a barrel and, like, just get over near yeah. this far right path, but not necessarily start going yet? Let me grab... I'll place one. I wish I had the mount up module like, so I could eat the these. barrel, so they'll just get drunk and be on <laughs> A bunch of drunk <laughs> constrictor snakes, just what everybody wants. So you said four of them, right? Uh, just three. Okay, just three of them. Never mind. I will leave this one back there. So you have three Probably snakes. Probably the ones that were already injured. <laughs> okay, smart, smart, smart. Let me find the ones that were injured. This one was injured. Uh, I think one of these was an injured one. Uh, yeah, here's another injured one. Was this I'm one going, injured? I'm, I'm going to hop back on one of the other snakes. Nope, no. Shut nope. down. Evaluation. Yeah. Okay. So all the injured ones have uh, barrels with them now. Evaluation. Uh, these kobolds are small. Uh, and you seem to use a lot of traps. Conclusion, uh, we should look for more traps as we continue on. All right, all right, I get what you're saying. I'm gonna jump back off the snake. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Right, are we proceeding to the right side? Is that our game plan? I think so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, just updating snakes <laughs> to show their HP. Mm -hmm. Always um, four of them were injured. Three were at seven and one was at six. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. HP. There we go. Almost all updated. 
know there are faster ways to do this, but my brain doesn't work all the time, so <laughs> sorry about that, always. HP. There we go. Okay, so I think that's all your snakes with their HP displaying. Cool. Okay, so uh, what is the marching order? Who wants to go where? Oh wait, this one doesn't have its HP showing. Uh, are we taking the cart? Or no? Are we gonna it's kamikaze the weasel too? <laughs> I thought we were just taking barrels. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I was considering bringing the cart too, if it will follow me. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, what did you roll for your animal handling check earlier? 19. Uh, yeah, it'll start to follow you. I might, like, bring up the rear with it so it's easy to kind of ditch and not have it be in the way, but if there's, like, an opportunity for it, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's fair. Or should we have it go ahead of us to make it look like their people are coming? Yeah, also possible, but they probably I don't know want to walk out. Right, let's be honest. Yeah. So it, we probably don't have a huge element of surprise. Yeah. Right, so I know it didn't work so well the last time, but I could try to stealth in a little and... <laughs> Maybe not get so close to Right, well, yeah, that's a good point. I mean, I don't better. have to bring the cart. Like, we already have some snake bombs, so. <laughs> Statement, let's go. Okay, so what's the marching order and who's going where when? Uh, are we Jeez, are you going ahead? Uh, I'm gonna be in the front, and we're, we're going stealthy, right? Yes. Aren't you going ahead a little bit? Yeah, I'm gonna be checking for traps. I'm gonna be stealthy and checking for traps. You got it. So I'm roll gonna... a stealth check at advantage, and uh, roll an investigation check for me as well. Mm -hmm. That's good, because one of those was a natural one. Good thing I reroll ones. <laughs> and mean... then a what? Uh, and then an investigation check. Okay. Oh. Huh. Oops. Well, well, you get to re-roll once, right? There we go. Yeah, but I think I would just take the there other roll I had. Yeah, but you get advantage, so you get. Oh, so should I re-roll again? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can re-roll your uh, re-roll your one. Oh, well. <laughs> another wow. one! All right. Sometimes there, you're man. sometimes you're just supposed to have a one. Okay, so. Uh, you begin uh, sneaking up. So you're sneaking up around uh, up this way, right? Yeah, I still get advantage, though, so that's good. Yeah, so you still have a 20. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I would like to try to be 30 feet behind, or at least 30 feet. You got yeah, it. Yeah, I actually, like, it's slightly <clears throat> counterintuitive, but I want to keep the ones with the barrels. I want to keep those further back so that if there is, like, an immediate attack of some sort, you know, it's not going to blow us up. <laughs> Sure. So uh, those will be um, at the rear, and I'll kind of put another, maybe two of the snakes ahead of me, and then two behind, and then the ones with the barrels. You got it. Okay, so, uh, and you got an 18 for your investigation check. Um, as you're going up this pathway, it doesn't seem like there's any traps here. It looks like it's just uh, a casual pathway. Um, how far up and in here do you want to go? I mean, I would probably just go, I wouldn't like leave the, the mouth of it until everybody caught up with me or in the, like, or I'd go back and tell them I didn't find any traps. Okay, because Six said that he's staying at least 30 feet back from you. So if you want to go back and tell him you can, and then y'all can choose how you want to go forward after that. I'd, I'd stay more like 20, how about? That's probably, that's better. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be following everyone else. Okay. Be 20. Well, I, well, I don't have to go back. I'll just, I'll just kind of wave, a little wave to show that. You got you know, it. So y'all are gonna yeah. keep moving in. Do we also uh, need stealth? Check? I'm gonna stop at the. I'm gonna stop at the mouth if I. 
can until I can get him to come up. If do I see like an opening? I see like a clearing. Yeah, or... you can stop anywhere. You just I just need to know what you want to do. So you want to get to the mouth and then stop. And then what is everybody else doing? Are y'all continuing to move forward or are y'all staying yeah. back? I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm staying right where I am right now. I'm gonna stay close to Wee's twenty feet at least, and um, I'll try to do it silently as well. Okay, uh, then roll a stealth check. Uh, you have plate or something, don't you? No, I don't. I have, so it's not at disadvantage. Uh, medium armor that doesn't give you disadvantage, Ooh. but it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, <laughs> it was not very great. Okay. Um, oh, I was just—I was also trying to move quietly, but I don't know that it matters because I'm next to six. So. <laughs> yeah, you can still roll a stealth check, and uh, we'll just see. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, good. So it's good to know what is where. Um, so, Weez, you're now at the mouth of this thing. Everybody's about 20 feet behind you. What do you want to do? Can I see? How can I see ahead of me? Uh, no. yeah, you can. You can see ahead of you. If you can roll a perception check, if you want to look around. Yeah, yeah. I want, if I can see what I'm what I'm looking at, I will roll a perception check. No, I won't. Oh, wow, my perception sucks. <laughs> oh, but it's okay. Okay. Uh, so 19. I'm going to say, in the case of a match, that would mean that you... You see, as you're starting to round this area, uh, you're so low to the ground and blending in with the stone uh, behind you that you see... Thicker legs than you've seen on on the kobolds before, and it's red and armored, uh, and you see it kind of steady behind the cart. Oh. He'll be back in a moment. <gasps> oh yeah, that thing looks awesome. <laughs> Fucking kill it. <laughs> we will be back. Now. I'll start moving over ah! all my snakes. That was actually impressive. It worked. Sort of. Somewhat partially. There we go. Oh, I don't know what I saw. <laughs> oh, so I am frozen, so give me one second. I'm going to refresh. There we go. Now everything uh, should be back. So, uh, Weez, what you're seeing is you see these this set of like large kind of scaled reptilian legs uh, hiding behind the cart. It doesn't seem like it has noticed you yet. Okay. Hey, Matt. Okay, then I'm... Mm -hmm. oh. The little marker on my snakes wasn't, like, glued to them, and I can't move it. Oh, yeah. So I will move that onto your wounded snakes. There we this go. It's kind of, like, cruel. I'm not going to lie. Okay. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... All right, so uh, so I'm gonna turn back around and look at everybody because they can see me. At least six can, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna hold up like one and and then I'm gonna sneak up behind the cart. Gotcha. Do you want? Are you so you want to go to the left side? Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So you continue to move. I'll move you over here. So when I get when I get booted out. It's every time it's because I'm either zooming in or zooming out from the map. Just FYI. That's why every time it kicks me. Gotcha. Hmm. So now but you are you're behind the map or behind the cart. Is there anything that you want to do once you've gotten back here? Yeah, I'm going to like hide. I'm using hide, hide action. Gotcha. Roll another stealth check for me now that you're back okay. here. Sure. Oh, God. Damn. Hang on. I got to roll it again because it did the... Where did Weez go? He is uh, off to the left behind the cart. Did you want to keep going in with him? Um, I'll move up uh, 10 more feet just to see if I can see him. Gotcha. Yeah. So as six... And with my passive perception, do I see this guy as well then? Uh, yeah, because he had a 19 stealth, okay. so your passive would catch him. But right as you are starting to round uh, the corner and he uh, catches your eye... He wasn't able to see Wheeze coming through, but he can see you, and he's going to pop up and make a uh, attack with his crossbow against you. 
And that's a 17. That misses. Okay, so he pops up. <laughs> blasts a crossbow bolt off at you, uh, but misses. And uh, that pretty much ends his turn. So actually, let me go ahead and add uh, at least the three of you into an initiative order. By the way, my stealth was 18. Okay, gotcha. That is more than enough. It's fine. Ooh, but my initiative was me hot trash. Get all these snakes <laughs> added in here, too. Hezia would probably also start, like, moving forward once she saw someone shoot at him. That is, yeah, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> so I've got all of, I forgot all the snakes don't, uh, they all go on the same initiative. Uh, so I've got yes, six, Wheeze, Hezia, Senna, uh, and this doesn't need to be in here, so I'll remove that. Uh, and Encore is also in there. And let's change that to one of my combat tracks. There we go. Okay. So, as you round the corner and Encore makes an attack uh, against Six, uh, Six, you get your immediate retribution. <laughs> I don't see his... Did he not roll? Or uh, Oh, no, let me... So he roll might for NPCs. And Senna, did you roll? I actually, I rolled for me, but it put it under the snakes. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. They should have a plus two to initiative. Okay, um, so theirs will be a... Uh, here, you can go ahead and, and re-roll for... Or if you want, uh, yeah, I can set that for you, and then you can re-roll for the snakes. That is what I am doing. They are, <laughs> are even worse. Wow, that's wow. impressively bad. All right, I'm gonna run up and say, commentary, you are really bad at shooting. And I'm going to uh, great sword him. Uh, let me see if I wanna do any of my cool stuff. Uh, what kind of weapon does he have in his hand? Just uh, to... He has a heavy crossbow, which is what he just used to uh, take a shot at you with. Does he have anything sheathed, like melee weapons? Or... Uh, yes, he does. Okay, uh, you see I'll... two swords on him. Okay, I'll just do a great sword attack then. Just a normal one. No issue. With 13. Okay, yeah. 13 yep. points of damage. Nice. With 27 to hit. Uh, That will. That definitely hits. <gasps> and I'll do great weapon master on this one. I want to see what he's at. Okay. I'm curious. 25, so, so 20. Much. Yeah, so 20 still hits. Uh, and, and that 22 adds, damage. Yeah, that adds 10 to it. Nice, nice, nice. Man, what a brutal uh, appearance. <laughs> I'll move here because I still have one more movement. You got it. And uh, yeah, that's that's my turn. That's um, Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. Awesome. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, you come forward and you just immediately make two brutal slashes that uh, have already left him kind of bloodied and looking afraid. Uh, and that will... Oh, I didn't ever uh, hit begin combat. So Six had his turn. Uh, Hezia, you are up next. All right. I can move through the state, right? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to move there. Oh, hiya, Wheezy. Um, <laughs> <hiya>. um, <laughs> let's see. Huh. I don't know if hmm, I want to rage because I only have one rage left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna bitch out, and I'm just gonna wait there for a second. I'm not gonna like use my actual. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay there and uh, hold my action um, in case, like any that that guy comes forward. You got it. Okay, so that is going to end uh, your turn. That brings us to his turn. He is going to see that this fight has already gone 
very much not in his direction. He would rather this be a long distance play. Um, and he is going to disengage from sixth and just make a full sprint uh, away. And that will bring us to Wheeze. And y'all can stop and let him run if you'd like, or you can continue to uh, pursue him. Well, can I see what's beyond here? Could I see these guys, I assume? Um, is this walled off? Because uh, I, I assume this is, like, not a... I guess it's not a full height. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I guess you can... I'd say that you can see uh, what's going on in there, if that's how, okay. they, uh, how they mapped it. Cool. Okay. I will... No, oh, I can't say anything. <laughs> um, can I... Like what's there's I see that there's tokens over here. Can I see what's going on over here, or what is this? That there's I'm just three at? dire weasels in there. They huh. don't seem particularly concerned about what's going on. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> All right. Okay. Then I am going to move this way. Oops. My bad. Let me try it the other way. Um Okay. Going to move twenty five feet there. You got it? Alright, would I have seen him run or can I see him now from where I am there? Um I assume that's like a ledge. You can just barely see him. Uh mm -hmm. Oak, since you're so short, you can just barely see him over the uh the wood of okay. the, uh, the pen for the uh, dire weasels. All right, well, I'm going to try for a crossbow shot. You got it. Roll your attack. All right. Do that. <laughs> and... And you're hidden, so you'll get the sneak attack damage. So that's 25 points of damage to him nice. as you pop over, lean over, and just let loose a bolt. Sweet. And I think if I'm hidden, I get advantage, right, on the attack. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. So it doesn't, because it's already hit, so. Uh, no, you get sneak attack. You don't get, or actually, you do get advantage, but you hit anyway. Uh, or that's why you hit with the 21. Sweet. And he's still standing? Yes. Oh, jeez. Okay, then I will bonus action fire again. <laughs> you got it. no longer hidden so not with advantage but a 26 a 26 will still hit uh with seven points of damage yeah so almost immediately six runs up and just provides two huge slashes uh hesia sprints forward as wheeze comes up around the other side and pops forward and just launches two crossbow bolts and as he's making a full sprint away he just topples to the ground uh in front. Now I'm gonna leave it in initiative order uh, for now because I guess Cinna and I guess Cinna is the only one who can't really see uh, from where she is. But Six, Weez, and Hesia can see that there are still creatures on the other side. And now that something has died immediately in their view, they will probably uh, <laughs> be reacting. But we're gonna go through all of like the the remainder of this. Uh, okay round uh so that ends Weeze's turn uh and Senna, it's your in your snake's turn all right popping into the action a little on the late side <laughs> uh that's 20 all right that's moving and you're referring to like beyond there so uh if i come forward a little bit here it appears that there's a path off to the right side right uh, that's just like a little cave inlet where dire weasels uh, are resting. Might want to go in there. That sounds like fun. <laughs> uh, I am going to just kind of come over off to the side here for now. Then I'll take my uh, action to continue moving. You got it. And you then I am dash. going to scooch all of my snacks forward. That'll take me a minute, so if you want to carry on without me, go ahead, because I'm just moving them. Yeah, sure. So you go ahead and move your snakes, and then I'll move the uh, barrels along with it uh, when they're ready. Uh, I'll let you know. Cool, cool, cool. And so six, that brings you to the top 
Okay, they're not going yet. We still have another round. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and add them into the initiative order. And... The snakes are just rolling up. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to remove Angkor because he's dead. Uh, and let's go ahead and roll all NPCs. Oh, wow. They actually got pretty good initiatives. Some of them. Oh, I'm getting carried away. Okay. So many dice. So, let me just double check one thing. Dang. Dang, they do well. Yeah. Do -do. Okay, cool. That makes sense. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so, seeing uh, somebody just run into their work area and die immediately. <laughs> Uh, has two crossbow bolts catch him in the back of the head and down. Uh, this... So actually, let me... If I bring this back... Yeah, there we go. I can get it back to them uh, at the top. Uh, how, how do they roll so well? That's I don't insane. know. It's been kind of kind of crazy. Um, one of these is going to... Because Wheeze isn't hidden anymore. Uh, it's going to move a couple feet forward um and i believe these have bottles oh sorry uh okay there we go um ooh, that is risky uh but it's going to hurl a bottle at wheeze's head with a four. <laughs> so I don't think that hits. Uh, that'll end its turn. This other one is gonna kinda come up. Actually, nope. It's gonna come probably to about here. And let's see. Yeah, that's within range too. And it's going to uh, hurl a, uh, oh wait, actually this is for a melee. So let's do another hurl bottle. Didn't necessarily need to send that. That's okay. 19 to hit. That hits. Uh, that is, oh, it because it keeps not using the math that's on the thing, which is 1d4 plus 3. Okay. 1d4 plus 3. So 7 points of uh, bludgeoning damage as a whole glass bottle connects uh, with your noggin. Who's that for? Me? Uh, yes, that's for you, Wheeze. Sure. Okay, Seven. and this other one is going to be like, eh? what's going on? I'm going to uncanny dodge that seven. And come over here. Is that fine? Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, so it'll be, what, three? Yes. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. And can it reach you, too? Oh, I put that one on top of Tezia. <laughs> We're just going to healing. So this one's also going <laughs> to hurl a bottle at you. Uh, eight, oh, that's not going to hit. Uh, so six, it's uh, now your turn again. You are now right. surrounded by snakes. <laughs> All right. Uh, their barrels onto them. Observation. There's a lot of exploding material in there. Don't use fire. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to... Oh, wait, let me just... Um... Or only use fire. True. If you don't go mm -hmm. in there, <laughs> is this like difficult terrain over this like thing, or is that just flavor or whatever? Uh, you can so. get over a barrel easily enough. It okay. doesn't take up the whole space. Okay, so that's twenty-two feet. I don't know why I did it like that. Um, or can I not get through here? Um, oh, wait, it's it might wall, be seeing so... the wall for the pen. Okay, so it would be 20 to get it might through be there. A okay. Yeah, because it's set up as a train so, wall. I can move yeah. you there. Thank you. Okay, so tw uh, 20 to get over, and I'm going to attack. You got it. Uh, and with my great sword. I already said stuff so that's 14 or yeah. 20 to hit 14 
And then the next one that I assumed the other one died. Yes, then 15 it did. to hit for 14. Gotcha. So this other and one right next to it also dead. With Great Weapon Master, I get my bonus action to attack. Yes, you do. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to attack with a, again. The next one. Another 15. 15 with another 14 yes. damage. You have killed all three of the kobolds that just got to take their turn. <laughs> okay, and I got... I used 25, so I have 15 more feet of movement. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. To get to 40. Okay. And I'm going to move over here. And... Is this it? Is this it? looks like it could be it uh <laughs> i'm going eh, nah that's not it uh yeah that's the end of my turn you got it that'll end your turn that'll bring us to another cast caller's turn who's gonna see you run in stab three of <laughs> its friends to death um <laughs> and it's going to chuck a bottle at you because it doesn't want to get close to you because you just again murdered all three of its friends uh that's a 12 that's not gonna hit it just curses at you in infernal uh, and Hezia, your go. Okie dokie. Um, I guess I have, like, really no choice but to just... <laughs> well, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so that was 15. I'm gonna do that. Um, that's 40... Sorry, I didn't leave anything for you. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to... I guess use my action to try and get over to this guy. Oh, you got it. To dash over there? Yeah. Sure. Um, yeah, I guess that's what I'll do. I'll go over there and I will, um, just chill there. Um, I'm going to pull out my sword again and light it on fire. <laughs> you got it. So bonus action. One of those guys. Uh, crazy sword fire. <laughs> Ooh, these guys have names. The, the big guys. Let me check something. This might be too much, too dangerous. No, that's too risky. That'd be a dumb thing to do. Um, okay, yeah, so this one, uh, taking its turn, is going to run over towards you uh, and unsheathe a long sword and make an attack at you with it. 21, so that'll hit. Yeah. Normal nine points of slashing damage as this dragonborn runs forward and just cuts across uh, your front. Okay. And uh, actually, I think they might get multi-attack. Yeah, they do. Uh, so two long swords attack. So one more long sword. 14. Does that hit? No, it doesn't. Okay. So it makes one successful strike and then it comes down for the follow through, but uh, you're able to dodge out of the way. And that will end its turn, and that'll bring us to Wheeze. <laughs> Who is in a uh, dire weasel pen, where it is somewhat putrid and does not smell good at all, by the way. It's fine. It's not worse. <laughs> and you are very close to the ground, and so the scent is even stronger. <laughs> I assume this is a ledge right here. Oh, yes? is what a ledge? Uh, that's like a, a pin wall. Oh, okay. Oh, I got you. I got you. I was picturing that differently. So am I able to hop over this wall? Yeah, roll an acrobatics check for me. Uh, sure. And if it's over 10, uh, you can make it without it being difficult terrain. It's not that difficult for a rogue to get over. I have a plus 12. Yeah, uh, 29. You <laughs> do a McTwist over this thing and land on the other side. Uh, five feet. Oh, I probably have to move you out because it's a wall. There you go. Okay, cool. <laughs> All 
All right, so then I'm going to move. Let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to move here, and I am going to peek over the barrel and fire a crossbow shot at the big guy I see next to Hesia. <laughs> you got it. Roll an attack roll. You got it. Don't fail me now. 20, oh, no. yeah, 20 hits, and so you get your sneak attack damage because you have an ally nearby, so 25 points of damage. Nice. As a bolt just zooms past uh, Hesia's shoulder and lodges itself in the upper chest of this dragon march. Cool, and then I'm gonna bonus action hide behind these, in these like, in this like array of barrels. You got yeah. it. Uh, so uh, roll so a stealth check for me. Yes. Ooh. Natural one. You get advantage. I get advantage though. So. Oh yeah, so, uh, so 21, that's actually pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna roll a quick Perception check for these two. Technically, I would re-roll the one. Should I? Yeah, you can also re-roll it. Uh, they didn't see you, so actually, don't don't worry about it. Okay, uh, it's fine. So that'll end that thing's turn. This thing is gonna. This kobold is gonna run over and kind of lean out behind. Ah. Uh, behind the other dragonborn. Actually, does it not have anything to throw? Oh, it does, but... Uh, nah. No, so it's actually gonna... be very brave and run up to <laughs> six. And it, it does Stay have pack goodbye. tactics, so it will get advantage. Um... All right, all right, I'm ready. And it's gonna make an attack at uh, 22. It's gonna 22 run up and it's hits. gonna be like, <laughs> and stabs you in the knee. <laughs> uh, and you are going to take some of my wood splinters. Yeah, your wood splinters. It's whittling you effectively. Uh, <laughs> so you take four points of piercing damage uh, as a little bit of tree sap comes out of your leg. I don't think Commentary, a... you were brave. <laughs> that Darth Vader comic you will die braver than most then <laughs> uh, okay so that ends its turn and that brings us to Senna and her snake friends love it <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get around this car I probably can't like climb over it can I uh, roll an athletics check for me and uh, you might be able to get over it I actually have a decent athletics <laughs> hey. that's unexpected Hey, good rolls. 23, 23. Yeah, I'll say it's not even uh, difficult terrain for you to get over. Awesome. So I'm going to get here. Wow, what an athletic Ten. terrain. Yeah. Uh, that's behind Weezer, right? Not like on him. I don't want to step on him. I know he's tiny. No, that's right behind. You don't even know I'm there. That's true. Okay. I'm going to get up to here. And then... Which of these would be better? Let's take this guy. If I thorn whip pull somebody out of 6T's range, does he get an attack of opportunity? No, it has to be of their own volition, unfortunately. Okay, then I will. Could still hurt. I'm gonna <laughs> thorn. If you don't mind, I'm gonna just measure one other thing. That's 25. I'm I should be able to do it. I'm going to thorn whip this, not the little guy, the bigger guy. You got it. Is that an attack roll or a saving throw for them? I believe it is a, it's a spell attack. Okay, cool. Noise, 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 noise. Noise. Dang. 25. 25 to hit. A big seven damage. Nice. But he is going to get pulled 10 feet closer to me. Okay, so he's gonna get pulled kind of like through that guy's space over there towards you. Cause you can't that get works. pulled through uh, Six's space. That's fair. Well, see, he gets and... like dragged over his uh, cobalt friend. 
All right. And then just um, for funsies, I'm definitely going to shillelagh just in case any of them get too close to me. So I'm like, you got it. And now it's all glowing. Is shillelagh a concentration spell? It is not. I did double check that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So your staff just big glow. Uh, so that will end your turn and bring it to all of your snakes. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. I thought I was Big off of the first. I don't snake. think they're going to get to do too much because they only have 30 feet of movement, and I'm not sure if they can even, like, get over this stuff. Um, I mean, I'd say as a snake, they'd be able to, like, pretty easily crawl over uh, or slither over. Okay, it's being a little picky about me moving it. Oh, yeah, it's, it's not going to want you to let it go through the wall. Um, I'll move it can 30 I feet in that direction. Put it here? <laughs> yeah. Give me one second. There we go. I'll say you can get it there. And uh, I am going to use that one to make a grappling attack. What is it called? Constrict, because it's a constrictor snake, against the one, the bigger one there. You got it. It's plus four. Come on, don't fail me now, Snick. <clears throat> yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, that'll hit. So that is going to be 28 plus two bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Ooh, three. And um, Big damage. the target is grapple. Okay, got it. Nice. Cool, cool, nice. cool. So the and then the rest of them... I'm going to have the ones with the barrels hang back a little bit because there's like a big fiery thing over there and I'm a little concerned about that. Um, the rest of them, I am going to just scooch forward here. That's good enough for that one. Can this one, like some of these, can they go straight through the weasel pen since it's like low or no? Um, I'll say no because the weasels are starting to hide in that area now. Uh and then they I wouldn't be able to crawl able... over everything. Um, this one, I will, like, dash with it if possible, just to get it over to here. Yeah, I'll s that will be... Uh, so he was here. So that will be half movement, because it has to climb over you and... Yeah, um, there's a lot of stuff in their way. Um, so I'll say he can get to, like, here. Like, over near the barrels, that would be great. The rest of them, I'm just going to move up a little closer, but they're not going to be doing anything else, and I'm not going to move them, like, too close, because it's just invested. You got it. Okay, so that will end your turn. Uh, that will bring us to Ronk, who is grappled and can't move, uh, <laughs> and is Our going Dawa. to make an attack against the thing holding him. I think that makes sense. So he's going to get out his sword uh, make two long sword attacks against it. And that's a 23 and a 15. I think both of those will hit your snake. Yeah, 12. Okay. okay. Uh, so let me roll two damage. A four. And... Okay. An eight, so twelve points of damage. Wow, it oh, is still one HP. <laughs> still nice. standing as this dragonborn is just slashing and hacking at different pieces of it. Uh wow, that is impressive and unfortunate. And for he Ron. did not try to break the grapple, right? So he's still no. restrained. No, he's still grappled. He doesn't mind being grappled, but he does want this giant snake to be dead. Wait, is he restrained or grappled? Seven more. He's grappled. Okay. So he can still make attacks, his movement is just zero. Okay. Uh, all those. Oh wait, actually, Matt. It says until the target is grappled, until this grapple ends, the creature is restrained. Uh, a grappled creature's speed becomes zero, and or, or let me find the constrictor snake thing. Uh, yeah. Until this grapple, the creature is restrained. Oh, I figured it would still be grappled. A restrained creature's speed becomes zero. Uh, attack rolls against the creature have advantage and the creature attacks have disadvantage. Okay, so uh, I'm going to roll two more attacks. The first one will be the disadvantage for the first attack. Okay. Uh, so 15, that one would still hit. Still hits. This is for the second one. Uh, 10, that one will miss. So it will nice. get, what was that second damage roll? Uh, it was eight. like... I think it was eight. Yeah. Yeah, so it will get back eight HP uh, and it's feeling much better. 
Still not great. It does have a giant sword <laughs> inside of it, but it's better. <laughs> it's better than one <laughs> HP. Uh, okay, yeah, so that's uh, retconned, fixed. Um, cool. Six, your go. All right. Uh, a statement. I like these snakes, and I'm going to attack the small cobble first. It's an 18 to hit. 18 will hit. Okay. And 14 damage. That is one more dead cast calling uh, kobold. All right. And I'm just going to move right over there. Smart, smart, smart. And I get advantage on this guy, correct? Yes, you do. Okay. And. A kind of snake. <laughs> so has he a. Uh, wait, Weeze goes next. Okay, I won't actually do that to that guy. Because then Weeze won't be able to hit. Yeah, I'm just going to attack Ronk or whatever his name is. You got it. Um, Bonk Ronk. With Great Weapon Master at advantage. Classic. Uh, hello. There we go. Uh, so 24 damage, or, I believe. 18 yeah, 24. Yeah, because uh, 18 is. 23 hits. Yeah. Yeah, because his armor uh, class is 18. Yeah, so that'll hit. Cool. Uh, so that's and 24 points. Bonus action, gonna hit again with Great Weapon Master. Right, because you killed somebody already. Mm -hmm. So 22 minus 5, though. Uh, so, so 17, so that second attack does not hit. Okay, and I'm going to... Uh, frustrated, I'm gonna do my action surge, and I'm going to keep nice. attacking. Um, Very so nice. And one moment. Yeah, I'm going to actually I'm gonna attack Manx once uh, without Great Weapon Master, but I'm going to use um, the menacing attack. So he has to make a Wisdom saving throw if I hit. So let me okay. do that. Uh, 19 to hit for yeah, 14 19 damage. will hit, 14 damage. Okay, so he needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. There we go. Natural 20, unfortunately. Okay, so he is fine. And since Ronk is... I'll actually make yeah. it public again. He's, he's There's zero on. wisdom. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, hit zero wisdom. <laughs> uh again with another... Uh, with the same thing. You got it. Another menacing hit? Yeah, well, let me see if I can do a menacing, actually. Uh, yeah, I can do one each attack. So, yeah, another menacing hit. Awesome. Yeah, so 28, uh, that'll hit, and 13 points of damage. So he needs to make another wisdom saving throw, Another right? wisdom save, yes. Cool. Uh, 13. Okay, so he is frightened, and as long as he can see me, he has disadvantage on all his attacks until my next turn. Okay, gotcha. Uh, he does and also have wonder. disadvantage because he is restrained. No, uh, I'm, I was attacking this guy. Uh, oh, you were attacking Manx. Oh, so uh, yeah. he does not take 13 damage, so I'll give him 13 back. Yeah. And, and the for both attacks, I was attacking my action surges. Oh, so, okay, so let me yeah. give him back his 14 health, too and take this guy down. Uh, so I already took him down the 13, so now I have to take him down the 14. Sorry about that. Uh, there we go. Uh, right. Yeah, so he is afraid of you at disadvantage. Are all, are all of his attacks or just attacks against you? No, all attacks because he sees me. The frightened, uh, I, he's afraid, and I believe gotcha. the frightened is all attacks if they see you. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, 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 that's right. Uh, so Six's turn is done. That'll bring us to this cast caller, who is frighteningly close to two extremely <laughs> deadly people. Uh, but <laughs> its two bosses are also right next to it, so it is going to take out its little dagger, and it's going to try to stab Hezia. <laughs> 17. Fuck, that probably that Of course it does. Uh, five points of piercing damage as this kobold just <laughs> manages to find a way... Uh, to connect with your leg. Uh, that'll end its turn, because it's not going to run away from you. And Hezzy, it's your turn now. 
Uh, right. Manx in front of you looks very, uh, very wounded. Okay. Um, I'm going to hit the kobold first. Cool. Um, <clears throat> um, so 25 to hit. Yeah, 25 will hit. And, <laughs> and that is 23 damage. <laughs> yes, let me double check one thing. Do. Ah, that was very zoomed out. That was more than I intended. Uh, I mean resistance. I have resistance, but not immunity. So that 10 is going to get reduced to 5. Or wait, no, this is against the kobold. Uh, the kobold is dead. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I shouldn't have even bothered with the math. But yeah, okay. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to hit the guy in front of me. You got it. And that, um, it's actually, these hit at advantage, so it would be 25 to hit. Why are they at advantage? It has a little A next to my sword. That means that it's, um, an attuned oh, weapon. Oh, I'm sorry. Just kidding, then. I'm lying. You could, you could move right over here, and then you'd get advantage, but it might be too late for that. Yeah, I already struck out, so it's okay. Uh, okay, yeah, so you make a... So Slide, but you still have the kobold somewhat stuck on your sword as you uh, try to make the other hit, and you just wind up thwacking the corpse of uh, the cast collar into Manx, uh, which is pretty rude, if I'm going to be honest about it. A uh, great weapon master as well, what I've been using. You have great weapon master, right? Um, I have great weapon master attack. Oh, okay. Not as a feat or anything? No, okay. Yeah. Okay, so, so that like brings us to Manx, and he is going to make uh, a longsword attack at disadvantage against uh, I guess six is the one that uh, did this to him, so he's pretty mad at you. And I will sentinel him as well. Nice. Uh, so he misses. You go to sentinel so you can make another attack. And I'm going, if he doesn't go down, I'm going to attack him as well because he missed me with an attack. Jesus. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay, so you do 15 points of slashing damage. Uh, My so, sword is also on fire. Does that count? Yes, yeah, so, so we would take an additional two points of damage, but the 15 was enough to, uh, to take him. So you manage to get the kobold off the ed edge of your sword <laughs> and just make a final strike, and you connect down through uh, his upper shoulder, uh, breaking through the plate and than just kicking him uh, down off your sword and onto the ground, and Manx is gone. He's dead. Uh, and Six, uh, would your ha would your reaction have had to have been used on Manx, or are you allowed to just make an attack no, against it, it anyone? No, it to be on the person who okay. attacked me and misses. Gotcha. So he's dead, so you can't do that, uh, but that does bring us to Wheeze. Alright, so I'm a peek up and I see just the one left over there so I'm gonna pop 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 <laughs> <laughs> pop pop all right you should take advantage too uh I I do have advantage because it's because it's hidden and I get sneak attack so yeah so you do yeah. 19 points of damage as Could another bolt just connects with his throne <laughs> Still standing, so I'm gonna uh, bonus action fire again. Okay, so another six points of damage because a 24 does hit. Uh, he is he is in final throws. He is uh, very badly hurt. All right. Can somebody finish <laughs> this? I'm gonna. Can I? Um... Can I? like run on top of these barrels here next to me and get like over here and they run to over here bye uh since it's going through both the space of the snake and the barrels i'll say if you make an acrobatics check over 15 you can do it that should be doable for you uh watch me roll i'll say board. you can do it with uh with half movement hey yeah, 16. okay so you can use half your movement or you it'll be like difficult terrain so mm -hmm. So you can go 15 feet if you want. I 
think that's enough. Like, if I'm trying to get here, like, right on the other side of these barrels. Like, I guess, like, here. You can yeah. go one less square. or Because you have 30 feet of movement, right? Or do you have 40? I have 25. Oh, so you can... You can go basically like 10 feet uh, with half movement. Oh, okay. So then I can't even, I can't go. You know what? I'm just going to hang out. I'm going to stay right where I am. I'm going to hang out. That's totally cool. Uh, so that will end your turn and bring us to Senna and her snakes. I, so to move to here, I have 30 feet of movement. I need to move through kind of half through Wii's and then sort of over a dead thing. Can I do that with 30 feet if that's only 20? Um... Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, yeah, you can get there. Alright. <laughs> You're just gonna shillelagh I'm gonna go, bitch. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna shillelagh the fuck out of him at you got advantage. It. Oof. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you make... Still a 14 to hit. You wind up just thwacking across both sides of his armor and your shillelagh just clunk, 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 and he's just he's being constricted by a snake and still just annoyed by All right. it. Well, I'm gonna, my snake is gonna bite it and I'm gonna keep hitting it while he bites it so that I look like I kind of did it. <laughs> That's <laughs> fair. Go ahead and roll an attack for your snake at advantage too. Okay, That'll I only hit. rolled one. I'll roll another to see if it's 20, but... Uh, nope, so we'll right, keep that... Hit. So that's gonna be... He's gonna squeeze him a little harder, maybe bite him a little bit. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Three. He is so close. He, <laughs> you hear, like, <laughs> the yeah. rattling death breeze. <laughs> Oh my god, should as we just stop? As he's being crushed to death by the constrictor snake and his arms are just... I have a snake here. He'd have to move over dead stuff and over barrels and... Since over technically another... this thing is constricting him, he would be within like the space of your snake. I will let... You can move your snake to like here and, and make an attack against... Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Since it being constricted okay, would okay. pull it into the space of the snake. Okay. Come on. Don't fail me. But it is at advantage because he's still being constricted. Right. Thank you. 19. That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> now roll your damage for me. Heck yeah. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> As your other snake just... just bites down. Even though it's dead, I am going to hit it like one more time with staff so it looks like I did. You got it. You connect with the skull right as the bite hits and he he clearly clutches at his side but as his head topples over you flip your hair, some sand goes <laughs> flying out and you look very proud of yourself. It was still you that did it in a way. Uh, I mean. And so I believe that is dead everything in here other than you all commentary this fight was much easier than the last fight <laughs> yes it was <laughs> a good observation bye so it looks Six. like over to the left here there's a little a little offshoot does this seem to connect back to that first main room uh the uh tunnel to the left or are you talking about the stairs leading downwards both uh the tunnel to the left it doesn't seem like it's leading in the same direction the stairway down might you when you were in that main courtyard you didn't see um a pathway up that way though it might just be an offshoot room uh and not a full pathway to get back to the courtyard okay uh hmm. yes yeah, so recitation now yeah Oh, go, go ahead. I was just going to say, uh, so now that you're out of combat, you are free to kind of like uh, do as you wish. Recitation. Mm -hmm. uh, Callias told us to find the ingredients. This might be a good place to find them. Well, I was just thinking that. 
I'm gonna go. Um, let me see. I'm more of a perception person than an investigation yeah, I'm not person. An investigation. Guy. <laughs> right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna go look in some of these bales over here, and I'm gonna look at uh, this uh, this giant contraption. <laughs> but yeah, what roll was, a what... uh, a uh, it's a, dis- a distillery. Uh, so mm. you can go ahead roll an investigation check for me. How'd I do, guys? A ten. Garbage. <laughs> Oof. Uh, yeah, with a 10, you're looking around. This all looks, uh, if, like, if it's not finished, that it's in kind of the final stages of production. So this isn't where ingredients are being mashed and mixed or anything like that. Mm. But there so are a like lot barrel of barrels stuff. in here. <laughs> yeah. Um, do, looking at these, are any of them open or are they all closed? Uh, any of the barrels? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, a handful of the barrels are open. And looking in them, is it um, Red Claw or is it anything different? Uh, it, it the the stench of this place is is very much a more powerful scent of Red Claw. All right. Now that y'all have smelled the uh, exploded remains of it from the lava earlier and things like that, y'all are aware of what it smells and what it looks like. Well, there's another little offshoot to the right over here, right? Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Whatever's off to the left here might be at least aware that we're here. Um, If there's anything in there, I don't know. But that seems to go deeper in. The one to the left seems more towards the front, I guess is my thought, you know? Mm-hmm. Recitation. We should go deeper in and not back towards where we. Yeah, can but if there's any, if there's anything to the left, it can come up behind us. Uh. Uh. Buh, buh, buh. Evaluation. <laughs> I am quite good at killing <laughs> these things. Uh, I am uh, not worried if they come from behind. I will stab them. <laughs> or cleave them in half. Actually, is more <laughs> apt because I have a great sword. <laughs> Alright, Six, you do that. <laughs> uh, Good deal. Uh, statement. Uh, or query. Do you think we should uh, blow up this place once we're done with all these barrels? Probably couldn't hit. Yeah, I yeah. mean, probably couldn't hit. For sure. We should probably make sure that this is and, like, has been a cobalt thing. Because they did say that it was, like, monks that were selling it. We should make sure that there's not somebody who has had this place taken from them or is, like, corrupted by some influence here. We should probably make sure that this is genuinely, like, a kobold and et cetera operation, you know? Well, there, well, there is some dragonborn here, so, you know, that's got to mean something. Did Calais tell us anything about the monks? Like, uh, He told you that... Uh... They normally were fully, they wore wraps on their hands and arms, uh, that they wore masks, that they did look, uh, that the mask did look dragon-esque, and that he did think that, uh, it looked like they might be dragonborn. Some of them, at least, not all of them. They could have been in disguise. Yeah, because there were the monks there were that were kind of, like, guiding the cart, and then there were other guards, uh, that were kind of, like, beefier around all right i'm gonna scout ahead i'm this... gonna stay 20 feet away. gotcha so uh if you want you can roll a perception check for me as you're scouting me yeah okay check for traps checking for traps <laughs> hey uh so if you're oh so you're also checking for traps um so roll an investigation check for me too now, do you, I, because obviously I would be being stealthy, do you want me to roll a stealth as well? Uh, yeah, roll a stealth check for me, too. Everything you're doing. Damn, three-part roll. Yeah, dang. It's complex shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. 20 right. plus for everything. You get an awful lot of information uh, mm-hmm. as you approach this hallway. So, first off, as you come over to the right, there is a extremely intense heat 
that is radiating out from this hallway and it looks like it's about 40 foot long and at the far end it looks like or you think that you can hear uh or i'm sorry uh at the far end you think you can see machinery and barrels uh potentially another distillery uh and you also see long shadows uh from the fire moving around that look similar to like elongated versions of the kobolds that you've seen so far um and it sounds like with a with a high investigation like that uh it sounds like they're whispering and shushing each other while trying to hide and with that investigation as you're looking through you would also see that it looks like at this hallway at the near end and the far end there's a uh iron door that looks like it can drop okay all right all right i run back and i i relay the information to the team any sources of fire in the room it's there's some heat yeah could be fire yeah and you do see that there's like these kind of alcoves uh in the hallway it looks like there's three of them and there's a a fire in there um and and it feels like just as you're approaching and getting in there uh that it's like 150 degrees probably and and just going into it you felt yourself tire out a little bit it is not the least bit of a like stealthy approach. They will 100% know that we are here to fuck shit up. But I can send one of my snake bombs and tell it to seek out fire close to whoever's in there and just jive into it. I'm, a, I'm gonna be honest. I think they already know we are here. So it sounds like that's not a bad idea. Query, can we prevent them from shutting this gate? Is there a way to stop to do this? Looking around on your side, you don't see any mechanism to drop the door. And the the, the door above you also, it doesn't have handles or anything. It looks like it, uh, God, you rolled a 25 investigation. It looks like it would be a remote operated door probably for both ends or, or some kind of thing that they can activate. We'd have to find to find the person who's going to be closing the door on us, I think. Conclusion. The snake will have to be very stealthy or very quick in order to do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just... Sneaky snake. I'm a snake. Do y'all remember that YouTube video? Mm-hmm. I'm a snake. It needs to be a I'm a super yeah, sneaky earlier. snake. <laughs> it needs to be a sneaky snake. <laughs> Classic <laughs> internet. So what's it going to be? Sneaky snake or a quickie snake? Or... I mean, he can get up as close as he can to the door, and then with a movement and a dash, it can go 60 feet inside. Because it doesn't need an action to detonate a barrel, it just needs to fling itself into fire. It's it's like a ethereal snake, it won't mind. Carrying the barrel does make it half movement, though, so it is a max of 30 feet. Statement. So 30 feet. I am very quick, and I can run very fast and get in before they close the door, perhaps. So are Kill you saying, all. like, you'll... <laughs> <laughs> all right, you sounds good. Like, be ready if it starts dropping, and then you'll charge through? Uh, or answer, you want to just, yes. like, go in? Okay. Uh, well, answer, I will just rush in and uh, kill the person oh, no. with the, the mechanism. Six, you, said, you know what I love about you? You have just, you have the most, just, uh, your your aura is just this, like, beautiful, confident orange color, and I just think that's, that's fantastic. I love that about you. <laughs> like fire. <laughs> Has X's on Commentary. Uh, it might be the orange from the lava that you are detecting. <laughs> mm, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, you said that these little, like, alcoves that are in the up the pathway here Mm -hmm. you said it's like really hot in there is that what you said what you were saying yeah it's like a it feels like it's 150 plus degrees in there okay where is the door uh the door is 
just above where Weeze is standing, and then another one at the end of the hallway. Oh, I can, I can make that. Um, query, shall I go? What's your plan if you get in there? Answer, kill. <laughs> well, simple plans. Okay, how about the? <laughs> oh, how about this? So. I'll hop on your back. I am slower when you are on my back. Yeah. Well, not right away, just when we're closer. I'm going to rush. Or statement, <laughs> I'm going to rush. <laughs> All right, you know what? I'll just, I'll just try to keep up. I won't. <laughs> All right. I'm going to attempt to rush with all my movement plus a dash. So what is the plan? Who is doing what? I don't know. (laughs) I don't know if we have a plan. I guess Kyle is rushing. I know. Six is rushing. (laughs) Six is rushing in, and I'm following. I don't think this is a good plan, but no one's stopping Six. All right, I'll, if you're going to start rushing in, I'll, like, hang back a little bit from you, but I will send maybe, like, two snakes to just full speed ahead with you guys. Yeah, send one of the sneaky snakes. Not fire, not bomb snakes, just regular snakes, because if you're going in, I don't want you to blow up. All right, so I'm following while Six runs ahead. Yeah, I'm just going to rush ahead. So uh, you said the doors are here, right? So I can rush here without my dash yet. Uh, yeah. Okay, then I'm going to attempt to do that. So once, uh, just so I can understand, six is running and Weeze is going immediately after him. Yes. And are snakes going as well? Two snakes. <laughs> okay, so the marching order. Let's get. In Not bomb snakes, order. just regular snakes. Uh, so Senna and Hesia are staying back. It's going six, wheeze, two non-bomb snakes. Is this an acceptable yes. positioning? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so y'all are all timing your movements to go at the same time. Yeah. I mean, okay. essentially, but I don't and think I'll- I can keep up. I'll dash in just to um, make sure that they can so the door, so I'm not blocking them from the door, so Mm -hmm. I can't really see, but um, I would go maybe here, whatever is around here, just out of the way of the hallway. Okay, so as you start to rush through the hallway, when you start to get to about the middle portion of the hallway, you hear a can't reach that far to hit a noise, a sound and a and the iron doors crash behind you. And Did the... I not check for traps? <laughs> no, just the doors. That's what you got. Uh, uh, yeah, right. and I told you, the, the doors are there and there's a lot of heat and it's extremely hot. Uh, and as the doors crash down, you see uh, the fire nearby oh, ignites shit. into brighter forms. Uh, <laughs> and all of you need to go into an initiative order. There we go. I have evasion if this is going to be... <laughs> uh, no, this is not an evasion. This is a combat. Uh, oh, so in the three alcoves, you suddenly see the, the small points of fire that were resting and heating up the area are suddenly fully formed Shit. fire elementals uh, in this room with you. Um, and actually, let me check. I have to move this snake to be able to get access to this again. Uh, is it on the top of the turn or when? Well, six, it was nice knowing you. Uh, 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 statement. It's nice knowing you too. I look forward to our next adventure after we kill all these things. Okay, yeah. If the door just shuts behind them, I'll just turn to Hezzy and be like, so do we each take one of their rooms in our keep? Like, we can make that <laughs> here, right? Okay, so I'm going to roll for all of the NPCs. Um, uh, and also oh the God. Constrictor Snakes. Uh, so the Constrictor Snake gets to go first. Um, <laughs> what does uh, Senna want the Constrictor Snake to be doing? Uh, I told them attack anything aggressive, basically. So um, I guess I'll start with this one that has one sort of like in reach. 
and one further back, and I know it's fire, but shit, I'll try to grapple it. I'll try to constrict <laughs> it, because that at least makes somebody else be able to hit it better, you know? Yeah, um, I do believe... I'm sure they'll have, like, some kind of touch damage, but... Yeah, so it will take uh, 1d10 fire damage. Oh, wait, actually, I have a uh, macro for that. Uh, so it takes Ooh. nine points of damage. Well, let me uh, make sure it hits first. Because otherwise, you know, it won't. So. Okay, first one misses. So. Okay. That was the one further back. Um, this one that's uh, a little further forward, is it? it's kind of diagonal to it. Is it able to grapple it since it like it's in its space to do that? Uh, I'm sorry, what was the question? Is this one further forward able to reach this one to grapple it? Um, let me move it out of the way so I can see. Ah, uh, oh, the positioning on that is so weird. Um, I'd say yeah, that's like a diagonal attack. It should be able to reach that. All right, then that one. Yeah. Twenty-two to hit. That's better. Okay. Yeah. So that will hit. Um, he will take uh, fire damage for hitting. Uh, so it'll take three points of fire damage. So minus All right, three. and he did 11 damage to that first one. Did 11 damage. And it is restrained. Minus 11. Okay, and it's restrained. Let me, I'm gonna change something. Aren't you guys glad I didn't send in the exploding ones? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most definitely. I, I thought I got past the door, too. I didn't realize that... I no, they the had a ready to action it. for when the party uh, got halfway through. Wow, the... I think I might have stopped right before when I was walking forward at first. Oh, yeah. right they might before. not have seen you, though. Well, and they yeah. were waiting for uh, the whole... or as much of the party as they could. This is everything that fits into this hallway now. <laughs> Give me one second. Right. Just changing how... Uh, HP is displayed, so I can change HP the way that I like to. There we go. Okay, now that's... Uh... You know I, I had treated that like both Constrictor Snakes were on the same initiative order. I see now that you rolled for them separately. Um, does that matter for this round, or is that okay? Uh, no, they'll all go on the same round, because they're all supposed to, uh, to begin with. Yeah. There we go. So I removed the second one from... Uh... We, we, we are in trouble, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. We'll be fine. We'll, we'll be all right. Okay, cool. Yep. Okay, so that all makes sense. Uh, this is some. So that was the Constrictor Snakes uh, making their attack. And that will bring us to the Fire Elemental, who uh, I believe with his fire form, uh, the first time it enters a creature's space on a turn. Oh yeah, because they can just enter creature spaces. It's going to enter the space of the Constrictor Snake. Uh, deal 1d10 damage to it. That's oh, nine there's one, there's behind us? points oh of damage. Uh, that is a dead Constrictor yeah. Snake. Uh, and that was just moving into the space. Um, so it's going to make its two touch attacks against this snake then. normal so that's a 23 that's gonna hit uh oh, no. <laughs> it will probably also kill it it's taking hits for you guys that's that's good that's true. so minus seven uh okay so it's going to use its second oh i shouldn't have sent that to the chat again but that's fine uh 18 yeah that'll also hit damage Ooh. 15 wow. points so that's 15 points of damage that is another dead constrictor snake uh, Whoops! Oh at least God. it got its turn early. <laughs> so that would mean that that creature is no longer restrained. Correct. No, that. Yeah. Oh yeah, true. Uh, so that will end its turn. Um, uh, or actually, so that brings us to Wheezy, or Wheeze. You see immediately behind you, immediately to your left, and immediately to your right, a large flaming creature somewhat in the shape of a person uh, that is just suddenly ignited nearby. Crap. Okay. Uh... <laughs> huh. 
We got okay, it. Is, we got it. <laughs> is there um I mean I assume this hallway is so small that one of the elementals is five feet from uh six. Yeah. But it's also one... immediately next to you. Uh, but you don't get disadvantage because of your expertise. Right. So is it the one or to the left I'm looking at right here? This one I probably... uh, They are both within oh, uh, striking distance of. Awesome. Uh, which one do I remember? Which one did uh, the constrictor hit already? Uh, the one behind you. Oh, the one all the way behind us. Okay. I thought the constrictor hit this one. Was it? Uh, I think it was. Oh yeah, it was the one to your right. Sorry about that. It was okay. the fire elemental that hit the one behind you, or the. All right, one so the one to my way. right, if it is within a sneak attack range, I will fire. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'll fire a crossbow because I don't get disadvantage, and I'm gonna do it. Damn. 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 Where's my? I'm going to do it with a magic arrow, by the way. You got it. So we'll have to plus one on to the attack. So 24 to hit. Yeah, 24 hits. Uh, and, then and that's 21, 21. points uh, because yeah. of the magic damage. Yeah. So minus 21. Got it. And then bonus action. Uh, nope. Nope. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to move. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not doing great. <laughs> no, no. This, this could be it. Okay, I'm... <laughs> I'm going to disengage. Bonus action disengage. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can zoom out without it kicking me out of the thing. Okay, I'm gonna bonus action disengage and move closer to the door. Can I move here, or is that gonna be in? Uh, there's not any space left. Shoot. I think I made the drawings visible to y'all. Can y'all see the red blocks? Yeah, we can see them. Okay, yeah, that's where the iron doors are. Well, then I'm not gonna bonus action disengage because I can't see anything. So I'm going to, or because I can't move really, so I'm just going to fire again at that same, at the same one. You got it. I know, I mean, I'm not in a mission of order, but I would like to take an action at some point, so let me know. Your robot voice. robot voice is there. Uh, so it was a 23 to hit for the yeah, second so that'll shot. hit, so another nine piercing nine. damage. Yes. Okay. There you go. I'm just going to look at six and go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if we can hear you now. Yeah, still. I heard it. Uh, okay, so that will end your turn. That will bring us to the fire elemental. Um, How about that now? Yeah, we can... See if you can change to your webcam audio. Um, here. While you're doing that, I'm gonna... Okay, yeah, so this thing is gonna move on top of six. Uh, six is gonna take 1d10 fire damage, so you take four points of fire damage. Um, and then it's going to make two touch attacks against you. Uh, 12, that's gonna miss. Uh, and then another 18. Miss. Miss, okay, yeah, so it is literally on top of you and consuming you, but it cannot seem to find a way to also hit you while... Uh, Am I on fire? Uh, yes, you are on fire. Cool. Still bad. Yeah. Yeah. Still bad. Uh, where's a fire? Still. Yep, yep. Yeah, still, still there. there. Uh, you do have to refresh between those changes or else it's not going to take effect. Um, okay, so that will end that fire elemental's turn. Uh, sorry, y'all. We're doing a little bit of troubleshooting at the same time that we're running combat. Uh, six, your turn. Uh, uh, you're on fire, fire, so you take fire damage at the top. I think that's Oof. another D10. Just a little, eight. just a little. Yeah, so another four points of fire damage. Yeah, uh, another D10 fire damage. All right. Demand! Hesia! 
lift up the fucking door. And uh, then uh, Six is going to start swinging at the one that's hurt. Okay, has he a roll a perception check at massive disadvantage? Well, okay, I was going to ask if I could look and see if there was any, um, like, mechanisms on our side anyway at some point. Oh, um, I'm going to give uh, each of y'all outside of the chamber uh, an opportunity to do something at the end of each combat round. Okay. Still nope, no, no, no. no and um, Buck could... Uh, Hesia may not have been able to hear me, but could... Um, did you say perception check, Matt? Or... Yes. Okay. At disadvantage. Well, I have a big plus zero to my perception, <laughs> so let's see. Well, you'll get two nat 20s, oh, you never know. Yeah. Two 20s. Could Senna hear me just because she uh, has a good perception? Yeah, but there is also an iron door oh. between you, so her rolls will be at disadvantage too. 15. So 15 from Senna. Oh, wow. There we and, go. Uh, okay. 19 from Hesia. Still not quite enough to hear on the other side of an Almost iron door. Almost two Damn. natural 20s. <laughs> uh, right. Especially with like 20, 30 feet of empty space between you. Um, uh, but I did some decent damage. Okay, yeah. Uh, so your attacks were... Uh, those all hit. So 17, 15. Um, is that against the one that's on top of you or the one that we No, the one like? that was attacking or the one that we's hit. Okay, cool. So that is a... Minus 17 and then minus 15. There we go. Uh, okay, will that end your turn? That ends my... Uh... Um, yeah, I actually, can I make that last one a menacing attack? Uh, no, you've already hit. Uh, oh, yeah, it's when you hit with a weapon attack, you can expend. Yeah, but that was like, uh, all right, yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Uh, so it needs to make a wisdom saving throw, right? Yes, and it also takes, I forgot last time, it also takes five extra points of damage. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Let's see, ooh, cool. That shortcuts work there too so it's a 14 is that successful uh no it needs 17 so it okay. is afraid cool so this one is afraid i'm gonna make it that icon there we go the screaming kid from uh, home alone uh that will bring us to <laughs> this fire elemental who is going to subsume wheeze uh who will then take 1d10 of burning damage Sure. Eight points of burning damage. Great. Uh, or fire damage. Uh, mm -hmm. Gonna make two touch attacks. Eight points. Okay. At disadvantage because it is seeing me. Oh yeah. Okay. So uh, natural one for the disadvantage on the first attack. Nice. Uh, so let me do another one. Disadvantage. Uh, thirteen. Does thirteen hit you? No. Awesome. So two uh, fiery hands both try to wrap around you, but you're able to quickly dodge out of the way. Uh, now that we are at the bottom of the round, Hesia and Senna and all of the snakes can, or all of the snakes not present inside uh, can well, do something if died. they want. So is it a solid wall? Or does it have like bars? Uh, it is a solid, solid iron door. Okay. Does it appear to be locked or is it just that it's heavy? Like, is there some kind of mechanism that's holding it down? Uh, roll a perception check for me. Gladly. 19. Not great. Uh, no, 19 is, uh, perfectly fine. Uh... Well, I rolled a 10. <laughs> yeah. There is no, uh, lock. It's a heavy iron door, though. Can I just try and lift it? Uh, yes, you can. Roll a strength check for me. Well, before you do that, I'm. Would knock make it easier to open? Uh, what does Ooh. knock do? Choose an object you can see within. Ra Wait, I can just send it, right? Choose there an you. object that you can see within range. The object can be a door, a box, etc. Or another object contains a mundane. So that mundane. is stuck or barred. Target that is held shut by a mundane lock or that is stuck or barred becomes a lock. That's right. Um, I can't tell you if it will do anything. Uh, it doesn't look like it's locked. 
your perception okay. check did show you that. It's probably not going to help that much then. I feel like unless it's stuck and it's probably just that it's a heavy door. Um, can I help Hezia try to lift it? Uh, yeah, you can give her advantage. Okay. So you can make a DC 20 strength check. Nice. Ooh, 21. Uh, and actually, I'm sorry, I should have said, uh, you'll need to make a constitution saving throw as you go to touch the door. Oh, okay. Might have to change something. Uh, 22, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Current temperatures DC. Yeah, okay, Ooh. yeah. So you're well within. Uh, so the advantage still works. So 21, yeah. So you are able to pull the door up above your head. And as you do, you see a huge swath of flame and heat expels outward. Uh, towards you. Can I send one snake that's nearby, like, straight in? Uh, I don't sure. know if it can, like, get in and where it can go, but... Uh, there's not actually room to get in, but I'll move it here. Uh, but it would be getting in the way of anyone trying to get in, because it is a very large creature. Yeah, okay. It can't make it in. You know, it's too big to get into that little alcove. Um... I don't know if I want to go in though, personally. <laughs> okay, I won't send it in just yet then because okay. so I'll Hezia move it back might want to run it. Uh, and so, um, can I see either uh, Weez or Six? Um, through both of the fire elementals, no. All right, then I don't think I have anything else I can really do. Uh, so Hezia is opening up the door, uh, mm -hmm. holding it open uh, with her action for now. Uh, that is a good thing because as the heat is able to start expelling out, um, it does not continue to build inside of this chamber. Uh, so that's good. Nice. Oh, uh, so that brings us to a fire elemental who okay. uh, are actually in Hesia. I'm sorry, the snake wouldn't have been able to get there anyway because Hesia is standing there holding the door. Oh, okay. Um, so this fire elemental is going to see the door open and see one of its main advantages uh, going away. And it's not going to stand underneath the door because it doesn't want to get crushed by it, but it is going to make two touch attacks against... Uh, has he, uh, uh, 21, oh. that'll hit. And a 10, so that one won't. Uh, so let's see right. what happens. The damage this bitch does. Six, oh. so only six points of damage are uh, done to you. Um, go ahead and make another constitution saving throw for me though, as you concentrate on holding up this door. <laughs> 14. The door uh, remains in your hands despite the flame uh, of this creature burning you. Um, so that will end its turn. Wheeze, your go. Uh, you take uh, burning damage. Yeah. 1d10 yep. at the top of your round. Oof. 10 oh, points man. of burning damage. Not good. Okay. Uh... <sighs> Okay, so I still get sneak attack. Yes, right. because of proximity. So the one that's in my area, I'm going to... I know that I don't get disadvantage, but since it's like... Since it's like literally in my area, if I shoot with a crossbow, <laughs> I still don't get disadvantage, right? Uh, not with your, uh, with your crossbow expertise. So magic crossbow arrow. I still have some of those left. So be eighteen. Yeah, eighteen. Uh, that hits. Yeah, that hits. Um, and then so twenty points of damage total. Uh, so you manage. You kind of just point straight up and fire a crossbow bolt directly up, and you see it splitting uh, through. But the thing is still standing, but it does seem very weak. 
Got to get us out of here. So bonus action fire again. You got it. Fifteen. That still hits. Uh, so five points of piercing damage. Ah, oh oh, man. Uh, this it's <laughs> on its last leg. It's still standing, though. Uh, you feel the heat kind of dying down, though, which is also a good thing. Um, so that will bring right. us to the fire elemental on top of uh, six, who is going to make his two touch attacks. That's a 13, that's a miss. Uh, an 11, that's another miss. Uh, so this thing just keeps trying to reach into itself to grab you and burn you, but uh, it can't seem to do it. Actually, let me check one thing about its fire form. Might have a, does it have advantage because uh, they're, those two are flanking me, technically? I don't know that it being on top of you, like it, you're inside of it effectively. I don't know that that counts as flanking. Um. Hey, your call. Hey, yeah, <laughs> you don't want to flank me. I'm, I'm good with that. I just don't think it physically counts as flanking. Right. It's weird. It, it's a complex thing. I'm not going to think about it too much. <laughs> uh, and actually, you've hit um, the elemental twice before, right, Six? Uh, not the one attacking me. But you've hit any but, of them. Yes. Yeah. Uh, do you remember how many times? Uh, twice. I would. Uh, yeah, I hit twice. Okay. Oh right, I get damage. You take uh twelve points of burning damage as your sword continues to heat up in your hand as you slash through it. Uh, this thing misses you though, so that was the end of its turn. Uh, and now it is your turn. Fire damage, me. Yeah. So I have one more roll of fire damage. One. That's pretty good. Well, that's one. nice. All right. I'm that's what going. You want to attack this one that's still standing. You got it. Uh, 20, that hits. 20 to hit. Uh, so All the right. one that is on Wheeze, right? Yes. Okay, so that one uh, goes down. It's dead, uh, but you do take another set of burning damage from attacking it. Eight more points of fire damage. All right. And I'm going to attack to off twice again since I have my bonus action attack now. Yeah. Um, I want to deal more damage than heal, so yeah. 21 and that hits. Uh, 15 with another one. Um, so 31 go. points Ooh. total. Oh, does uh, 14 hit? 14 does hit. Oh, shit. Nice. And I'm 13 going AC. To... Hell yeah. I'm going <laughs> to say admission. This was a really bad idea. <laughs> 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 okay ending six turns with a cognizant realization uh, at the bottom of the round I'll say that Hezia, Senna and the Snakes uh, which is my favorite band by the way <laughs> what did you say? I'm sorry Senna can you do anything? I'm racking my spell list here um, so Snakes can't pass Hezia right? Uh, no, because there's not enough space for them to get anywhere afterwards. Okay. I'm going to turn to one of the snakes and say, look for a back entrance. Okay. And so you're sending out gonna... an investigative snake. Yes. <laughs> You'd love to see it. <laughs> yeah, that it's got a little, like, it's got, like, a Sherlock, <laughs> Sherlock hat. Yeah. It's it's gonna... okay, so you pick the has... smartest snake and you start sending it out. <laughs> to do some investigative work. <laughs> this might go terribly, because if it meets anything else, I don't I don't know what's going to happen, because I don't have communication with the snake. But it's going to come to here. And it's just, it's going to just check shit out. So as cool. for me, I am between two things. Between a snake and I a can, hard place. I can... Um, <laughs> Let me just check the range on this one and make sure that it's even like a thing and that it's not concentration because I also don't want concentration. Fuck it is. Okay, if that's concentration, then that was my only real idea. So I, can I shoot a guiding bolt past Hezia? Yeah. Okay, then I'll go for the one right in front of us here. 
Classic. Let me mark one of those off. Almost out of guiding bolts, y'all. That's a good spell. <laughs> well, Matt, I didn't take damage for my hits for the last two there. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Four and one. So five nice. more points of burning damage. Not too bad. 20 hits. Okay, 20 to hit, 17 radiant damage to the one right in front of us. And now the already glowing and fiery red, because they, they glow brighter and uh, and they get advantage on the next attack against them, right? Correct. With radiant ball. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you see just a blast of sand come towards this thing and just immolate into a glowing ball within it, making it burn even brighter, more visibly, and more easy to hit, despite being possibly the brightest thing that you've ever seen. Yeah, it would technically, if it got hit with a bunch of sand, it would turn into glass around it. So it's actually like sparkling and it looks really pretty. Well, it'd be glass if it wasn't still super heated and immolated because glass That's at fair. high heats is just effectively molten. <gasps> That's fair. So it's a bunch that of spinning is... molten glass. You just got science, yo. Oh, science. I've done glass blowing. I only even know what's in glass because of Minecraft. So my like <laughs> scientific ex ex understanding of it is like way low. You are about um, as smart as your okay. snakes. Senna is, probably that fair. is, not you as a person. I can't cure anybody if I can't see them and there's a giant elemental in the way. So I think that's all I got. That sounds good. So that brings us back to the top of the round with uh, Hezia still holding the door open. There's not enough there's not enough heat trapped in here for the uh, for the uh, chamber to increase in temperature and become more problematic, which is a good thing. Um, this creature is going to make its two uh, touch attacks against Hezia. Uh, normal. A 12, that's going to miss. And an 11, that's going to miss. You are wow. so goddamn lucky. <laughs> I'm just like really impressed that I'm still holding this door. Yeah, like, oh, you're just wow. standing there, your hands burning uh, as this iron door is still growing in temperature. Um, so this is like, because all those kobolds earlier were just doing some serious damage. Now we get to miss all these attacks. A little <laughs> bit of luck. So now Weez, it is your turn. All right. How are how are you looking, Six? I'm bloodied. I'm about halfway. I'm mm -hmm. getting close to half. So not too bad. <laughs> as All right, well, far as bad goes. We need, yeah. to, we need to. We need to get the fuck out, out of this here. Group. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm, All right. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna crossbow at the one that would give me advantage. You got it. The, the one closest to Hezia. Yeah, they actually, uh, you would have advantage. Er, oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so it's uh, with the guiding bolt. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Good thing you have advantage. Or actually, no, the 13 would have hit too. Uh, so, uh, so 20 total, total. 20 points of damage. Nice as this bolt comes through and it goes through the elemental catches in the wall i could have gone straight through and then hit hezia since it's not actually a corporeal thing uh but it catches uh in the wall and it looks like it did damage to the fire elemental uh you still have your bonus action movement <laughs> well i'm not leaving I'm not leaving six. You could. Or actually, so. I guess you could because you have halfling movement. But Yeah, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to bonus action fire again at the one uh, next to Hesia. You got it. All right. I, did I not click it? I guess I did not. This one, not advantage, but... <sighs> uh, so 11, that misses, unfortunately. Uh, so that will end your turn. Uh, bring us to the fire elemental. I'm gonna. Oh, I was gonna move too. Uh, okay, you can move. Uh, it will make an attack of opportunity against you yep. with a touch attack. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what we get. Natural one. Nice. So nice. lucky you. <laughs> uh, now it is also uh, going to continue to attempt to consume uh, six and make two uh, touch attacks against him. 
An 18 and a 17. <laughs> um, those both miss. All right, this thing, I don't think has gotten a single hit on you. No, um, it's just, uh, it's just the other fire damage. Yeah, it's just all of the other fire damage. Oh, was uh, I supposed to? I don't think I took fire damage at the big top of my turn. Was I supposed to? Uh, <laughs> no, because uh, it, uh, one, you're making ranged attacks. Uh, it's only melee attacks that take damage when they hit. Okay. Um, and you didn't have anything uh, on top of you, so you were good. Sweet. Or actually, you're still on fire, so you would uh, be taking burning damage. Okay. That's a good point. Uh, so three points of burning damage to you. Sweet. Uh, six at the top of your round. You are on fire, so... Fire. Two points cool. uh, of burning damage to you. Cool. Uh, do I want a great weapon and a skill. I could kill him like way faster. Nah, nah. Regular. <laughs> Which is good. I did. Yeah. Um, so thirteen hits. Yep. And a regular hit again. Fourteen points of damage. Um, Ooh. Eighteen nice. hits and another. And fourteen. Minus fourteen, and you take two mm-hmm. rolls of burning damage for your melee attacks. Uh, so seven points of burning damage as your sword okay. is starting to grow red hot in your hands. Um, Okay, and I'm going to do second wind, which is uh, 1d10 plus 10 as my bonus action of healing. So I heal for 8. Nice, Nice. that's pretty good. Yeah, Yeah, really good. Okay, so we're back at the bottom of the round with Hezia and Senna. Oh, gosh. I didn't even think about it too much. Um... (laughs) I am concerned about running in because that doesn't seem like the best idea for me. Um, if for I use like thorn whip at it or something like that, where it would pull it, it can't really get any closer, can it? Uh, these can uh, pass through uh, and stop in other uh, creature spaces. Now that one of them is gone, you can see down at the end of the hallway that one of them is just in the same position as uh, Six. If if I move back, can I thorn whip it, drag it ten feet through Hezia and out of the hallway? Uh, maybe. I don't want it to get stuck on her. <laughs> um. Gosh, but it would make it easier. Fuck. Hezia, how do you look? Are you, like, messed up? <laughs> I'm, like, a little over half. Okay, I need to heal y'all after this anyway. We have to survive it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this one's focused on us, but you're gonna drop the door if it keeps attacking you, and you're taking hits anyway, so then at least it would be, like, out of range, I guess. Okay, I'm you gonna try know. it if you don't mind. You um, know. I don't know that it's gonna work, but I'm, I'm gonna try to thorn with it. Okay. Oof. Yeah, so a 19 hits. Uh, Couldn't and hit that, that natural does 20. I know. Nine mm. points of damage. Uh, and it drags it 10 feet towards me, maybe. <laughs> and it does. So it goes 10 feet towards you, which leaves it positioned on top of Hezia because it is a large creature. Uh, and even if it didn't, just entering her position, you take 10 points oh, of burning sorry. damage. Uh, I mean, Hezia could open the door again, right? Like, I, yeah. I can yell at her, like, drop it and, like, jump back. We can take this I'm one. I'm going to. Yeah. Uh, and you will also need to make a uh, constitution saving throw as you take that fire damage. And you are also now on fire. So let me... 13. Add that to your thing. 13, yeah, that's good enough. Um, and I am, can I drop the door and step back and make an attack at this thing? Uh, sure. Okay. Since Here, I'll move you since this thing is on top of you. There we go. Um, let's see. And a 19 to hit. Yeah, 19 hits, uh, does 12 points of slashing damage, and your sword is still on fire, but I think it's immune to fire damage. That makes sense. Yeah, immune to fire damage. (laughs) So it takes 10 points of slashing damage as the door slams shut behind you. And then my second attack is only on 11 to hit. 
Uh, 11 does not hit him. Oh, and you know what? I'll pull a snake up in here. <laughs> Fair. Snake time. <laughs> snake time, don't uh, bother me. I'll get it up here. And it should be able to attack, right? Uh, yeah, it can make an attack. Hell yeah. As your other snake goes to investigate, this one goes to Ooh, I need a... itself. Oh, also, I... uh, Hesia takes two sets of fire damage. Uh, for Or actually, only one set, because she only hit once. Uh, so when she gets back, somebody tell her that she needs to take three points of fire damage. Okay, ten to hit from the snake, so no. Uh, no, so the snake misses. Okay, I'm going to move another snake forward forward so that if that one dies there's another one ready and then my Classic snake in, moves. my investigator snake yeah keep going here that mm -hmm. he has discovered a door snakes can't open doors can they let me see uh it has a one intelligence it cannot open doors as a matter of fact <laughs> <laughs> The smartest snake has the <laughs> intelligence. Okay, I told it. What a nightmare this has turned into. Oh, God, into. I told it to go, and there's enemies ahead here, so I don't know if it would try to fight those ones or not. Um, yeah, let's say that the snake fights these guys. Okay, so this snake uh, goes as far forward as it can. Um, this might yeah. have been a terrible call. I'm sorry. It's your snake. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, All right, it's. So I. Was this is actually the first time I've ever needed actually, to set up a second combat. Okay. Encounter. Does it? Can I actually only do movement and not do dash on it and just hold off on that for right now? Can I undo twenty feet of movement? Sure. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna just hang out here for now, um, if you don't mind. That is fine. Because it's mind. probably like checking out the door and it's figuring out if it can do that. Yeah, it's a real curious snake. It's got a lot to look Using around. Using its intelligence. Yeah, yeah it's, it's gonna, negative it's five like and modifier. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm actually going to go back and then end this second combat encounter that I was starting. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, so that ends the bottom round options. That brings us back to this fire elemental who is going to make another two touch attacks against Hezia, who's not here. Uh. And in fact, can I turn to one of my other snakes and say like, you know what, can you go help? Or is that kind of like metagaming? Cause I don't know what the other snake is looking at. Ooh. Oh uh, my God. So that's one 24 and one natural 20. Uh, so let's roll the strong. damage for the first one. Um, four points and then critical hit for the other one. 21, 28, Shit. plus the two points from earlier. So, Hezia, you take 30 points of burning damage. 30? Yes. 3-0? Okay. Yes, 3-0. Three three zero. Um, and also, or you're not holding the door up anymore, so you don't have to make a constitution saving throw. Um, great. Yep, yeah, you're already on fire, so it can't do any more by stepping on you. Uh, so, Wheeze, your go. Or actually, uh, I forgot. Now that the door is closed, there's only one in there, so it only increases by 50 degrees. So it is now 200 uh, degrees in here. Um, so at the top of your turn, uh, make a constitution saving throw for me. Not my strong suit. <laughs> it's a pretty easy check right now. Yep. Uh, so you are fine. Uh, and you can make your turn, uh, as usual. All right. <clears throat> okay. All right. Uh... Okay. I'm going to look at six and I'm going to say, hey, just like the good old days on, huh? then I'm going to fire. <laughs> All those days <laughs> spent in ovens. Getting burnt alive <laughs> with sex. Bring back memories, fond memories. Ah, oh, goddamn. Yeah, you're not hidden, so you don't get advantage. Uh, that first attack misses, unfortunately. Yep, firing again because we need to get this thing out of here. Second blast. Fifteen does hit, and you uh, get sneak attack damage. So for a total of thirty damage. Nice. Uh, this thing is looking very, very badly hurt. 
uh, but still standing. Um, oh, and Weave, at the top of your round, you take mm-hmm. eight points of burning damage. All right. Oof. Oof. God. Okay. Uh, well, that <laughs> is, is looking. Weeze is looking. He's looking real wheezy. <laughs> Okay, so that'll end your turn. That'll bring us to the Fire Elemental, who is once again going to see if it can ever get a hit on uh, <laughs> on six. We'll do two attacks. Nope. A 16, that's going to be another miss. And a 15, <laughs> another miss. Each time it's like one lower than what the first one was, yeah. too. It was like an 18 yeah. and a 17 last time, too. All right. Uh, nothing I can do about it. Uh, so burning damage at the top of your round. That's and nine points of burning damage and a constitution saving throw. Save. Okay. You need to beat a five. Oh my God. Currently. Well, if I get a natural one, that's the only way. Yep. Okay, okay so you're good. Cool. You can make your uh, attack as usual. Um, And I will answer, Wheeze, and I will go, recitation. I don't recall when we were ever on fire, <laughs> uh, but it is nice to fight alone. And... Uh... That's hurtful. I thought we were friends. Okay, so as you make your first slashing attack, this elemental uh, does go down as you make a a sweeping attack, and the heat in the chamber is now dying down as the... uh... Now, you're, you're the DM, so probably not, but can I move over here past Wheeze and I still have, I still had a action, and now I guess I, it, no, I probably can't open it. Your action, like you can do attack, attack, but you don't have two yeah, actions, no, right? Right, right, yeah. Okay, correct. So, yeah. No, uh, so you are staying there. Um, can I put myself out, or is that an action to put myself out? Uh, it's an action to attempt to put okay. the flames out, unfortunately. Um, so at the bottom of the round, that brings us back to Hesia and Senna. Can my snack go first? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> and I also need to take damage from hitting it, Matt. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, only hit it one okay, time, Okay, well, though. it oh, missed, points. but I... Can I move it, like, over into this little zone, or is that, like, on top of Hezia? Uh, that's on top of Hezia. Okay, then that's not gonna work. And I probably can't, like, move it and then bring another snake in. That doesn't seem reasonable. No. Um... I mean, you so, can make it move, and then another snake could come in, but um, that snake would get an attack of opportunity on it. Yeah. All right. It's just going to chill for now. We'll keep trying. You got it. Um, I am... <laughs> so also, I can't, um, I can't click on my other snake because I brought it too far away. Wait, no, there it is. I can see it a little bit. But I only told it to find another entrance, and per that spell, it follows specific instructions, but it doesn't take offensive action of its own accord. Okay. So I don't think it would engage. Um, okay. It would probably come back if it doesn't see a way through. Okie dokie. So that snake is going to come back. It'll take a little bit, but it'll come back eventually. <laughs> and... Oh, God. I'm so useless in close quarters. <laughs> Hezzy, if you know what you're doing, go ahead, because I'm, like, fine with this. Oh, I'm just going to swing on it twice more. You got it. 26 with 20. a big old 6 damage, because I rolled a nice one. That's brutal. Uh, so yep. you hit the first and time. And then... Oh, my gosh. Uh, an 11 Damn. miss, but you take, uh, from the first attack, 6 points of burning damage as your sword begins to heat up in your hand, even more so than it already was because it was on fire. Um, <laughs> this thing's gotta be barely standing out there. Okay, so that ends uh, y'all's turn at the bottom. All right, you don't, I didn't actually do anything yet. You oh, don't okay. um, take fire damage if you're just next to it, right? It's like if you attack it or do you, or is it if it puts you on fire? <laughs> um, if it enters your space, you're lit on fire. If you uh, attack it, you take burning damage, but it doesn't necessarily light you on fire. Okay, I'm just gonna do just a first level cure wounds on Hezia. Okay. And at the top, this oh, uh, God creature <laughs> is going to... Thank you, friend. 
Oh Why God. do I bother? <laughs> get to make uh, two touch attacks against Hezia. 13 no, and a 22. <laughs> so the 22 hits. Uh, normal. Uh, so seven points of burning damage to Hezia. Um, Wheeze, it's your go. Okay, well, first I'm going to use an action to put myself out. You got so, it. You are do I still able take to... fire damage, though, at the top of the round? Uh... Uh... At the start of each of its turns, yeah. So you would still take the burning damage. Uh, yeah, so seven points of burning damage. High roll. But you are out now. Great, because I am looking real worse for wear. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to... Can I... Mm, no. I'm going to get closer to the door over here and, like, examine the area around or see if there's... or. It's no, just an iron door. You can't really see anything beyond it. You said there wasn't anything there. Crap. It's designed uh, for trapping in heat. Gotcha. I'm just gonna move closer, and that's gonna that's gonna end my turn. I'm gonna be like. You can ready actions if you want to. <laughs> okay. He did his action. Right? Yeah, I did. Oh yeah, you did your action. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you can't hold a bonus action, so that'll end your turn. Uh, that fire elemental is dead, so I'm going to go ahead and remove him. Uh, so, six, it is your turn. All right, I'm just going to lift up the door. You got to so make a strength check for me. All right. Uh, just strength? Yes, just strength. Actually, let me validate. Oof. Eight. That it is just strength. I guess it doesn't really matter. You're... <sighs> My athletics would give Couldn't me a bonus, the door, but... damn it. What does your athletics get you? My athletics would bring me up by four, so it'd give still me not enough. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, so you spend uh, an action trying to heave the door, but it's too heavy. And uh, I need fire damage as well. Yes, fire damage. So many fire damages. Uh, three points of fire damage. Uh, Lovely. Now back at the bottom, we've got Hezia, Senna, and Snakes. Okay, Snakes. <laughs> Let's see. Get it, Snakes. No. Did not, in fact, get it. No, the I Snake not does not get it. get it. All right, Hezia, you want to beat it up? <sighs> yeah. I'm going <laughs> to die here in a second, y'all. <laughs> Oh my god. So 24 does hit uh, for 14 nice. points of slashing damage. Um, at the top of your round, you take 4 damage. And then uh, for your attack, you also take 1 more damage, so 5 points of burning damage. And then... Okay, you got its damage in. So is it still is this still up after taking... 20, yeah, it's still 29? up. Ah... Uh... <laughs> I oh wait, will, so oh um, you did two attacks. Uh both of those hit uh so uh fifteen is the other one. Mm -hmm. Let me put that in. Yes, yeah, still standing. Okay. Bonus action, Shillelagh. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> and I will thwack it. Make a thwack. Twenty-two. Twenty-two 20 to hit for twelve damage. Yeah, let me double check one thing. Uh, yeah, and it's a magical weapon, so that does hit. Uh, <laughs> it had 11. Nice. Ooh, you have a God. dead fire elemental as uh, it finally goes down, and the heat in the room suddenly drops 50 degrees. I was going to like pat herself out and drag herself to the wall, just like, <laughs> <Yeah>. breathing heavily. <laughs> You hear, you hear pounding on the iron metal behind the yeah, and door. Six, not knowing if the fighting is over, is going to try to open it again before he puts himself out. So I probably it. take more damage. Though I'll say, um, Weeze goes before you. Weeze, you can spend your action trying to put 
Uh, yeah, I'll put, I'll put it picked out. Mm -hmm. Cool. So when it gets back to Six's round, uh, you're not still on fire, um, and you can... Cool. We'll say you're able to eventually open the door, um, and the two of you come back out. Uh, we'll go out of combat, uh, and go to... Do I have any sad, peaceful music? <laughs> There we Admission. Go. That was a really bad idea. I apologize. <laughs> Six, I almost died trying to save you. Uh, observation. <laughs> Weez and I both almost died too. <laughs> <sighs> two, two of the snakes did die. I well... don't care about the snakes. To be <laughs> quite honest. <laughs> yeah, you snakes didn't make it. So I hope you didn't name them or anything. <laughs> Uh, it's fine. I, I won't miss Chester and Harry too much. It's fine. It'll be okay. Rude. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys an option here, basically, because I feel like the the snacks are mostly useful if we are in a combat situation where there are a lot of tiny opponents. Now, we don't know if we're gonna come up on one of those again. We're not sure. But I can heal you all for quite a bit if I drop the snakes. So yeah, I would probably I'm at eight hit points out of a hundred and five. So You're at how many? Eight. Oh, shit. Which is why I keep saying I almost died because I'm at the fucking hit points. That's impressive. Kyle and Weezy over here. For a barbarian, <laughs> that's impressive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I'm really like on the fence between like you guys and the snakes, and then I see the one that I sent off come back, and I'm like, well, you're fucking useless. <laughs> so, you um, see the snake looking, you should. No, no, I didn't really mean it. You're not useless. I understand. I wasn't clear enough in my direction. It just like <laughs> slithers its tongue, and it kind of is just okay. bashfully wrapping around barrels and. Okay. Commentary <sighs> in close combat, uh, we would be quite well against many many creatures uh yeah, so but dropping the snakes would probably be the best but have you seen them they have these little like fey tongues they're like <laughs> <sighs> i'm gonna One go around you. and individually hug all of the snakes um and i'm playing my other character right now i'm playing fucking callista who hugs everything she needs <laughs> so this is an issue Senna does I care about her snakes <laughs> So I will Sneak drop them nice. like individually as I like pet them a little bit and tell them they did a good job. You got um, that doesn't mean we don't have bomb snakes anymore. <laughs> That's fine. So totally good idea. Sentence. Never, <laughs> never came to fruition. Next time. Um, uh, six and Weez, are you guys pretty fucked up too? Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> Probably like the I best said, thing I could idea. do. I'm at would 11. Be... Okay, I'm going to get rid of all these so snakes. Four <laughs> these... All right. I Where am going to use a fifth level healing spirit. Ooh. So it is going to heal 4d6 six times. So, oh, but before I do that, I want to. I'm going to. Oh, should I do my wild shape? No, you guys are fucked up. Okay. So Where? I'm going to. What? Uh, you can take a second. I'm going to take a rest here. Uh, they might not attack us. They seem cowardly. Do you guys have hit dice still? Like, is it worth it? Because I, I don't four. get. I have yeah, I, I have all of my hit dice. And you get your wild shape back, right? If we short rest. Mm -mm. No. Okay. no. I don't I've, get any. I have all of sure. my hit dice I can use. Oh no, I do get wild shape on a short rest. You're right. So we could do that. We could try, we can try. To do that. Then, so you can heal us, and you we can try to do a short rest. Why don't we do a short rest before I heal you? Because I don't get any well, spells. We definitely on a short need rest. to get Hesia healed because she doesn't have hit die. And um, right, if we do get attacked, if we can't short rest, then we're, then we're we're screwed. Okay, so I guess what's the difference? Um, Okay, because then if we can get through a short rest, I don't get any spells back, but I would get my wild shape back, which would be nice. If yeah. we don't get through it, I just don't have wild shape and for I, the rest of the day. Yeah, and if but, we short rest, I don't have to get healed as much, so you can focus on Senya and... Or not Senya, uh, Hesia, excuse me, and we. <laughs> you, like, combined us there. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
All right, because I guess if I'm like better at healing right now, then if I get you guys up to full, it would be better than having to do it later anyway. Or like more. Um, Matt, what would actually be your take on this? Because... Oh god. I'm echoing. Okay. So, with my starry form, if I do the Chalice Constellation, it's described as when you cast a spell that restores hit points, you or a creature within 30 feet regains 1d8 plus 5. With Healing Spirit, would you take that to mean upon casting so it only happens once? It only happens once. Then I'm not going to Wild Shape. That's not worth it. Because it might not come uh, back. Let me make sure the Spirit can heal. And then... Yeah, but it's still only one spell. And so what yeah. does the Chalice Shape say? When you cast a spell that restores hit points, you or a creature within 30 feet regains extra. No, I think that's only when you cast the spell. All right, that's what it sounds like. I just want to make sure. Then, just in case we don't get through a short rest, I probably won't bother with Wild Shape because it's only going to be an extra 1d8 hit points. Okay. So yeah. that's not really worth it. Um, but I will do Healing Spirit at 5th level. So... Um, there's going to be a lot of place here. Let me do four, so 46, six times. So I'm going to give two to Wheeze. So he's going to heal 8d6. 8d6. Okay, Wheeze, you heal 25. Nice. Cool. Do the rest um, ahead, Zia. Uh, I you have still have enough points. hit. And I'm like, at 47 you, out of 105, so let's well, get that's the better than eight. Up. Yeah, let's get the barbarian up. So then eight, so that's 16d6. Whew. That's then a 62. Wow. I, I have a bunch, if we're taking a short rest, I have a, I have a bunch of hit die. Uh, yeah, like we just short. don't know if we'll be able to. Yeah, to so. Rest. We don't know if they'll come after us. Gotcha. After you heal me, I'm gonna get up and be like, "I'm sorry, I yelled at you guys. It was an accident." <laughs> it's okay. You were you were like on fire. It's okay. <laughs> Observation: You get angry a lot. It's okay to get angry at us too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with the healing spirit of a large, not nearly as large as the constrictor snakes that were wandering around, but a large iguana uh, of a fey persuasion, kind of moving between you and curling up and healing each one of you uh, and kind of licking your wounds literally and figuratively uh, to get you back up uh, health-wise. You find yourselves exhausted, burnt, and spent uh, and debating where and if to take a short rest. And I think we're going to come back to that uh, next week. This was going to be the finishing round, but... D&D always takes longer than you expect. Uh, and so we will come back for at least one more game next Sunday. Uh, if all of y'all are still good for next Sunday. Um, yes. Then uh, we will keep trying to uh, get through this and we'll see what happens. Um, get through. Th <laughs> thanks everybody that was uh, watching. There was a handful of questions that came up during it. Uh, y'all are uh, like... Kyle, Morgan, Wendy, and Taylor, completely free to go because I know y'all have to get up in the morning uh, and everything like that. I'm going to go through a few questions that came up um, in the chat. You can stick around if you want or you fe feel free totally to exit out because I think they were all kind of technical questions. Uh, so I don't think anything for the players. Uh, I'm not sure, well, but you I can mean, also Matt, stick around. I mean, I have been like learning how to use boundaries, so like <laughs> you might need my help answering them. Yeah, and <laughs> and uh, Kyle is also a, a DM and uses Foundry and everything, so he's welcome to stay along. But I don't want y'all to have to stay. Yeah, especially no, I'll, if you... I'll stay for a little bit. Okay, so yeah, let me... if it's just uh, if it's just technical <laughs> questions, I'm probably gonna. That's yeah. smart. <laughs> Good game, y'all. I'm going to stay because I'm nosy. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, so, good night, Taylor. Uh, good game, everybody. Uh, that yeah. went uh, differently than I expected, but enjoyable all the same. Right. <laughs> there was quite a bit of enemies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it was awesome. All right, yeah. well, then uh, I will see you guys next week. We will yes, see sir. you next week. Uh, bye. 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 <laughs>
Okay, so let me scroll through back up here. Uh, yeah, for anybody wondering what the modules uh, being used are, uh, we're using the Beyond 20 module for player rolling. Uh, I'm using the custom CSS module and I actually wrote a, oh, my screen froze, give me one second. There I we can go. just make up some modules. <laughs> I should be unfrozen. We're now. using the giant snake module. Yeah, the, the investigator snake module too. Uh, it's a companion <laughs> module. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, man, I sure did manage eight snake tokens for like two hours <laughs> for them to do very little. <laughs> I they was really excited for, for them to blow time. something up. <laughs> yeah, I was too. But you gotta heal people. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, so beyond 20 for player rolling to roll from D&D Beyond. I'm using the custom CSS module. I added some rules to change the way the uh, webcams uh, show up so that they are bigger um, and they don't have that kind of like kind of ugly uh, border that shows the player names since I'm using the uh, um, some name plates on, uh, on Streamlabs. Oh, I should hide Weezes because he's not here anymore. There we go. Fancy. Um, okay, after that, uh, not using Dungeon Draft Importer, because it's not a Dungeon Draft map, it's a Jepeku map. Uh, we're using Dice Tray, which is providing uh, all of the dice at the bottom of the uh, chat window for easier rolling. Uh, I have GM Scene Background installed, but I'm not using it, but that module's sweet. It lets you have a different uh, map up for the GM uh, compared to what the players see, so you can keep uh, rooms numbered, so you can quickly see like, oh, that's room seven, I need to refer to my notes for room seven, whatever like that. Uh, we're using uh, Jitsi Web RTC client uh, for the uh, audio visual stuff uh, that's self hosted on a digital ocean droplet. And I've got a video on it if you want to watch it. Uh, it's very boring <laughs> though. Um, token action HUD, which uh, if you notice when we were uh, fighting the kobolds and everything else, it applies this uh, black series of boxes up here. Uh, where you can quickly toggle visibility, combat state, uh, state, do a bunch of checks, saves. You can roll their skills, their read their features, or make attacks with anything in their inventory or spells. Um, turn marker is what we're using to provide the glowing uh, border around whoever's turn it is currently. Uh, the VTTA uh, D&D Beyond integration is what I used to quickly pull in those constrictor snakes and then use Forgotten Adventures tokens to give it a... Uh, a token real fast um, and then with that there's also VTTA's iconizer module which when you import something will check the attacks the inventory and stuff like that against a list of icons they've already got so if it's a long sword it'll automatically apply a long sword icon to it and it's super dope uh, I don't have tokenizer installed uh, but that is uh, something that I use and makes it so you can apply cool like border tokens to uh, any art that you've pulled in and is especially useful if you're importing stuff from D&D Beyond because you'll get those kind of like ugly or not ugly they're really nice looking character art pieces but they look weird inside of uh, VTT uh, so just do that and you get a cool uh, border just like we've got with all of these kind of uh, I think paper forge it's or it's paper mini I can't remember what the token artist is that made all the tokens for this uh, but that's all the modules so that covers that question I mean, uh, somebody is enthusiastically calling for a TPK <laughs> uh, <laughs> during the closer. yeah during the initial uh, during the initial fight. It's not um, off the table. Let's be real. Yeah, it could still happen. This is a hard module. Uh, this is not like player failure or anything. Uh, it says in the module your players definitely might die doing this. Um, ah, great. So it can't happen. We're getting uh, there. <laughs> Just there. so you guys know, if I do die, I'm gonna go out with a blaze of glory by snapping my staff over my knee so it explodes. So, <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Be warned. Uh, yeah, for people asking for a player view, um, I might do that. I've been keeping on the DM side just as an educational thing, but if in the future people would prefer a player view, uh, I can definitely look at that. Or maybe I can have um, uh, six stream. Uh, as well, and then y'all can pick which one y'all want to watch. Um, and yeah, that is a big encounter. Hi, uh, person from Melbourne. Uh, they said hi, everyone from Melbourne. So Melbourne, <laughs> Melbourne represent in the chat. 
Uh, I got a module. Da, 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 da. Oh, yep, this is all normal stuff. I know Matt keeps an eye on this during play, but doesn't respond to keep flow going in game. But I wonder if any of the players in the game are keeping a sneaky eye on the live feed. Also, are any of y'all watching the live feed in the chat while we're playing? I was only watching to make sure there weren't any more peeps. I was not looking oh, at yeah. the video. Yeah, no, thankfully I everybody's actually... commenting in YouTube. <laughs> Yeah. The first time we streamed, to be perfectly honest, I did open it once or twice, but it um, slowed down my uh, video so bad that I didn't bother this time. Lol. So. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, somebody uh, gave a super chat. Matt Mori, thank you. I'm rooting for the Cobalts. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I love it. <laughs> at, after a while, I was at first, but then it kept going so badly. I was like, I can't root for these these things anymore. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you, Matt Mori. Uh, spike growth. Uh, oh, somebody uh, posting what spike growth is in chat. Uh, can't find in Furnace how to switch to player screen. Don't want to interrupt stream for you unless it's a quick answer. Uh, no, sorry. I don't know off the top of my head. I'll look at it and try to post a comment afterwards, though. Um Somebody else donating to the poor kobolds. They're a proud people. Well, maybe not proud, but a thriving community. So lots of people uh, excited yeah. to see y'all go down. That's fair enough. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, we are yeah. basically like trespassing on a private kobold enterprise and oh, just yeah. destroying it. So like, it's not cool what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. libertarians or, or kobolds are libertarians, I think. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, reflected by their reason to actually be there. For <laughs> sure, as a group. But, I mean, they are like doing some pretty bad things to people, but you that's know. fair. Capitalism. That's fair. <laughs> uh, I mean, you have a but. Uh, that's purple. Can share link. Oh, that was a question to somebody else. Um, can't really help with trigger happy triggers. Uh, there's the 40 different people who were asking if I wanted to buy followers. Uh, Do you? No. <laughs> the only time I've ever bought things for anything was a meme. Uh, and that was a joke. And I didn't buy followers. I bought likes for a tweet so that it would have an absurd amount. To force a podcast to review the movie Cats. Yeah, and in my defense, <laughs> I- It's my favorite story, honestly. It's my favorite story. Yeah, so the Carpool Critics podcast, which y'all should definitely go and watch, it's hosted by some of the people from Linus Tech Tips. Uh, they told me if I, my tweet got 250 likes that they would watch the movie Cats. And so I bought 250 likes for it. And uh, I told them about it, but they didn't say that they had to be legitimate. They just said I had to get them. From Twitter, man. <laughs> <laughs> and so I posted the receipt to them, and they were like, "Fuck, what do we do now?" And they wound up watching it. It was awesome. It was a funny review. Uh, could do with more silly kobolds wandering into the spike growth. Yeah, they weren't stupid. Well, they were stupid, but they rolled very well. One of them was stupid enough to just completely shrek himself. Um, you know what was really offensive about that is that there was a time in our main campaign that Matt was playing a druid oh NPC my. that was with us and the oh. druid NPC used the spike growth and we all ran through it so many times. He wouldn't so, drop it. And he wouldn't drop it. We had to yell at him. He wouldn't drop it. So like, really what occurred to me midway through this is that our entire party was dumber than the kobold. Because yeah. We like impaled ourselves on it. <laughs> to be fair, it was in a very inopportune place. Yeah. yeah, and there was only one monster there that later we found out could just teleport, so it didn't yeah. even yeah. need to. <laughs> and again, and remember, it. It was... yeah, Matt is it. controlling the NPC who cast. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, and Barty didn't know. Did you Barty didn't you know. could drop it. Yeah, I did actually. <laughs> Uh, in the same way that in your game, I forgot that short rest exists, and so I just pumped all my lay on hands into oh, right. right before. That was a dumb move. Very dumb move. <laughs> okay. 
These kobolds need a new master. I am the sorcerer king, will take them under my wing and train them and then attack the city and crush it. Disturbing. <laughs> uh... I think they're mostly just interested in alcoholism. Like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, your vids were convinced of great content will present a tropos. I think a tropos does owe me a fruit basket. I wouldn't eat it because I don't like fruit, but my wife would like it. Uh... No, I am. Not, I do not work for Foundry. If anybody uh, is wondering that, I am just a big fan. Um, I found Foundry. Yep. I'm glad that I convinced you to buy Dungeon Draft. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, I have to say, after playing around with Dungeon Draft for the last couple of days, because I'm prepping to DM my first game here. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dungeon Draft is shockingly easy to use. Like, especially considering it's in beta, right? I was yeah. expecting it to be clunkier. It's really enjoyable. Yeah, now just my videos are clunky. They're so old now. Uh, they look terrible. Um, Sin is getting bored of Encounter and wants to end it all. End with all them snakes. Oh, wants <laughs> to end it with all them snakes. Yup. Yeah. That's pretty much what happened after two rounds of me making an idiot of myself was, well, fuck you guys. I'm just going to summon some snakes. I loved it. It was very good. It was fun. Sanitary Sanchez. That's a funny name. See, Matt, doesn't that make you want to play a druid in our game, though? Because you can just pull weird shit out of nowhere. Uh, sort of. It seems like a lot of snakes <laughs> to keep in mind. <laughs> <laughs> he could have had octopi. He could have birds. Do you really want to be the DM that has to pull eight <laughs> snakes out like he did, though? Honestly, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for it. I wish I could have used one of my snake bombs. That I would have liked that. Somebody that had to run into the hallway that I was offering <laughs> to send the snake bombs in. Stop into. me. <laughs> no one said no. I did think that that was insane. But, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, sling I bullets. So too, but I wanted, I wanted to have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sling bullets do hit uh, or do deal bludgeoning damage because they throw smooth rocks. Uh, uh, how are you making the animated dice roll? That's uh, the Dice So Nice module, which is awesome. The people behind that, Simone, and I can't, I'm sorry, I cannot remember the name of the other person who worked on it so much, uh, is amazing. And we each got to pick our own dice color. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you use Combat Utility Belt. I don't use Combat Utility Belt, utility belt because these players actually uh, hate rolling virtual dice. They're only doing it for this uh now at least three shot uh they normally roll physical dice so i can't actually make any use of any of the fun automation stuff that uh foundry has so blame them for me not using combat utility belt but it is awesome that it has uh prompts for concentration checks that would save me an awful lot of grief forgetting that i never asked for concentration checks uh i was hoping the snakes would clear the floor but they rolling really bad yeah they were rolling yeah. real bad but they still took out like five in their first round, so. Yeah, and they they took a, a lot of attacks and stuff. Mm -hmm. The rest of the kobolds, out of desperation and fear, run into the lava, bringing the combat to a close. <laughs> yeah. I was really trying to find a way to position myself where I could just thorn whip the kobolds into the lava. Yeah. I was really hoping for that, but I couldn't do it without being in range of the gargoyles. Yeah. Um... So, speaking a language you don't understand, there's a module for that. There is, by the fabulous Kakaroto. It's called the Polyglot module, I think. Uh, where oh, well, if yeah. you're doing text conversations, uh, if your players don't speak the language uh, that you set it to, uh, it will come out in gobbledygook. It's super cool. Oh, uh, that's cool. There's a module for writing snakes, too. There actually is, if you use the mount-up module. Uh, if I had that set up, I could have used that. It's not exclusively for writing snakes, but it is for <laughs> attaching tokens to other tokens. Uh, first time tuning in. Uh, thank you for showing up, Kira. Don't gotta thank me. I'm just hanging out on the internet. Uh, is there a way to erase a drawing without clearing the whole screen? Yes, there is. Uh, you can actually do this with anything if you... Oh, let me just draw something real quick. Uh, if you just come over to the thing uh, with the select tool, highlight it, uh, you can hit delete and get rid of just that thing. I kept using the trash can because uh, I kept forgetting that there were things that I didn't want to delete and wound up deleting them. <laughs> uh, not a bad transition to the B-Rip X screen. Yeah, I like that B-Rip X screen. Uh, all right. Uh, yep, that's all good. That's all good. 
Uh, somebody, uh, Cow in the Headlight said, I love your group. Nice mix of RP and mechanics talk. That's very nice. Thank you, Cow. Thank I feel like that's a nice. rude thing to call a person. Thank you, Cow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it uh, sincerely and, in, and endearingly. Uh, I definitely, like, forget how to RP this character because my main character is so, like, happy and upbeat and, like, goofy that this... I get thrown off by this and just start being nice to everybody. <laughs> Me yelling at you guys is definitely a big Azabel move. <laughs> it's also a big Hezia move, though, so... But, like, usually Hezia is just, like, sensitive and just <laughs> doesn't like when her feelings are hurt. Nah, Azabel would have awkwardly hit on a village tanner and then left forever, so... What really Azabel I didn't that hit on that tanner at all. I was trying to buy him a drink because he almost died, and I was trying to be nice. And, he and then you said, life. do you live alone? I was trying to make sure he didn't have a concussion. It was a very serious thing. Let me just play the tape from that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for shops in your campaign, how do you decide what it sells and how much stock? Do you let players request gear? How do you decide its price? Uh, Dungeon Master's Guide, probably the best place for that. Random rollable tables, um, that kind of thing. Uh, though I don't think y'all have ever actually gotten to a place that had a store. Uh, We've been at BFE for six levels. For my yeah campaign i do a lot of um uh random like shops online uh mm -hmm. they don't always you know i have to look at some of the items there to make sure that it is okay because some things like a magic shop would have ridiculously like high level stuff that i yeah. don't think the players should have not that they ever looked for it but uh <laughs> it was there in towns <laughs> that they never I think you just wrecked me. I didn't think they'd have anything. We were in like podunk towns. Yeah, no, there was a few places that had some stuff. Man, I didn't try to buy anything anyway, so. Because I have no money because I keep giving it away. Yeah, which is good. You're a very good character. I don't care about money because I'm a tabaxi. The greatest tabaxi. Um... I would probably let players request gear, but that doesn't mean it would show up. Um, can, I can I request yeah. uh, <laughs> gear then? <laughs> yeah, you can request something. I might give you the opposite of it, just oh, no. as a troll move. But you know, you know how Olmac already has a ridiculous AC and it will only get better. Uh -huh. uh, uh, can I get a uh, armor that is plus stuff and you want some plus three? Plus stuff? <laughs> yeah, plus three armor would be really cool. Yeah, we need to get you to at least a twenty-eight AC. I think. There we go. Yeah, we'll do yeah. that. I think the only thing Callista would want would be a shirt that she didn't get secondhand from a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair request. I'll consider yeah. it. I'll consider it. <laughs> the next city you go to is only going to have secondhand goblin shops. Uh, <laughs> Somebody asked, how long have you been playing D&D &D and why D&D? &D? Uh, like 10 years off for like a not insignificant portion of that. Um, and at the, like when we started playing, it w there was 3.5 and there, I guess yeah. there was other stuff out there, but not there nearly. There was four, but we didn't. Yeah. We heard 3.5 was better. So we. I mean, Pathfinder's been around for quite a while too, but. Yeah. yeah, Pathfinder came out as a result of four, uh, mm -hmm. and and I don't. Uh, we played a little bit of like others. We played like All Flesh Must Be Eaten a little bit, so like a zombie thing. Uh, but I always come back to D and D because I get the rule set and I really like the aesthetic and the environment and I like like the fantasy setting and I'm familiar. Yeah, with high it. fantasy is life. So <laughs> a lot of familiarity. So how long have y'all been playing D and D? I started playing about 10 years ago. I was, yeah, I would have been a freshman in high school. I played a couple really terrible games with a couple people who didn't really know what they were doing. I played a rogue in every single game until the one we started last year. So <laughs> <laughs> I like to have a high dex. <laughs> so. <clears throat> so like 10 years. Long time. 
Hezia is somewhat new, though. Oh, yeah. I'm a baby. I've only been playing for, like, a year. But it's super fun. But I was also a theater kid growing up, so this is kind of my bag, you know? All of us were except uh, Wendy, who was a band geek. Yeah. Wendy and a kid at heart. You yeah. know. I am a theater nerd at heart. I'm just yeah. too nervous to do it. I was a band geek and a uh, culinary arts kid, so. She will <laughs> set your table so good you wouldn't even believe it. I literally <laughs> did competitive fine dining, like, waiting. It was weird. Is, like, Such a loser. <laughs> and, then, and then you would do so. I don't even something that is, I love that. Such a loser. <laughs> anyway. Not a theater kid, though. Y'all are the real nerds. <laughs> ah. I just found one of my old scripts. Uh, oh, God. How were... What? How was the script? Oh, it was Charlie Brown, so it was great. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I thought you oh. meant, like, something you wrote. And I was like, oh, no. No, all of that is long gone. <laughs> 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 Nobody needs to see that. Um, how are you getting on with the capture card? Which one? Do... I went with the uh, El Elgato 4K uh, 60 Mark II. Uh, but I'm actually not using it right now because trying to use it in Foundry, uh, for some reason it squashed it or it squished it instead of just cropping it. Um, I don't know why. It's something that I've been meaning to look into, but I have not. So I'm just using my uh, Logitech C920 right now. But I also have um, a Aperture 120D lighting me, uh, which makes the webcam look infinitely better than it ever should. Um, I've been having a hell of a time keeping information from players. The cub module keeps them out of the combat tracker, but the attacker's names appear in the chat window when they cast. Uh, so changing over to private GM role is a good solution for that. And then also changing or also adding the module actually private roles, uh, which should completely hide them uh, when you send a message to the chat. That should uh, cover that. How was your weekend, Ben? Pretty good. Uh, mm. Not great, actually, <laughs> when you really consider everything. Not great. But other than that, it's going as well as it possibly could be. <laughs> How about y'all? <laughs> Good one. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I live with you, so my weekends pretty much go how your weekends go. Yeah. I would say playing D&D &D is always the highlight of my week. For sure. Yeah, I'm I'm prepping out my first campaign here so that I can have, uh, you know, even more waking hours every day dedicated to D and D. And I was really um, both astonished and pleased by the fact that while I understood it would be a lot of work, I'm trying to write out a simple like, how would this character answer this question they're going to ask? And then I'm twelve wiki articles deep into the <laughs> houses that make up Eberron, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's so, good it's shit. It's fun. I'm, I'm about it. I'm, I'm here for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Has... My life is D and D right now. It's just mm -hmm. tw uh, I'm in four games, and I'm DMing one. Yeah. You're of them. getting ready for one for me, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm. This one will end, and then yours will. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. Yours will start. So. And this yeah. is our third time this week playing because we played last sunday then tuesday and now tonight too so you ready for tuesday matt <laughs> not really <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna work on it more tomorrow <laughs> we'll see what happens uh we can't hear it oh yep that conveyor of snakes carrying them out that certainly uh was a possibility <laughs> at the time uh good now it's out for a minute um Yep, I did. So I did change HP to show for the snakes for y'all. Uh, can we post the question from now to the end of stream Q&A? Yeah. I'm sorry that I didn't answer that at the time. <laughs> uh, what are your favorite map making tools for each world, town, and battle dungeon map? World, incarnate, town, and town, probably also incarnate, uh, dungeon draft for battle maps and dungeon maps, a lot of people like Wonder Draft better, uh, but it doesn't have as many assets as Incarnate does. So I kind of What did like you show me that you were using to like procedurally generate the city you were using? <laughs> well, that was cool. Oh yeah. Um, for a city generation, uh, I like to use Watab Watabau. It's W-A-T-O-B-A-U. It's a procedural generator that you can give it a bunch of like settings and stuff. And it will like 
design a city and then I drag that uh, I use a, a tool called replica on top to like sticky the picture above uh, my incarnate window and then I make the incarnate w or the 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 replica on top window semi-transparent so I can like draw in exactly where things were in the procedural generated one uh, because the procedural generated one looks pretty ugly. Um, it's very simple, but like where it placed everything was really cool. You know, it had really good divisions yeah. up for like different districts and stuff that when you try to do it by hand, it looks so procedural. Like, yeah, so. and it's hard just to be like, what the hell shape is this city going to be? Where is <laughs> Where are all of the buildings going to be? It starts to get really overwhelming to me at least uh so that's awesome um and those are the tools i like what about you kyle um i use uh basically just dungeon draft for battle maps uh incarnate for world um town i haven't really made too many maps for that um i might draw out like okay this is where this is but that's more by hand i don't like do anything too crazy. I might use what Matt was saying for a city because, you know, cities are huge and yeah. need that sort of thing. But for towns, I, you know, you generally know where the players are going to go. I mean, you know, I, I'm not one of those DMs that will try to anticipate everything that they're doing. <laughs> and it's fine if you are, but, um, I, you know, I'll, have some things that I think they'll do and <laughs> some things that they might surprise me on. And I think I know my party very well and they <laughs> haven't surprised me so far. So, Rude. Sorry. <laughs> I would like to stab. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest thing you surprised me on was uh, going to the... Uh, the biggest Oh, that thing meetup, right? Was the meetup. Yeah, yeah, that was the biggest thing. Even though I knew it was coming, but I didn't think you would attack them. That was the biggest Well, thing. they were and clearly they turning on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You rolled some bad rolls. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to disguise yourself when you're a tabaxi. Yeah. <laughs> when you're trying to look like a human and you don't have any disguising magic. <laughs> so, so it doesn't really go well all the time. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh... Yes, I am aware that I was on private GM role. I don't always display everything, um, but sometimes I will. Uh, saves going. Yeah, that module is super useful. Token hotbar. Um, that token. Community jokes. When did we make a community joke? I don't remember. It's very possible, but yeah. The first two seasons of that show are so good. Uh, creatures and... Oh, oh yeah, I deleted that. Uh, snakes moving up while deciding what to do. Yep. Description says finishing. Yep, not happening. <laughs> we will maybe finish next week. Yeah, you originally told us it was going to be three sessions, and then you were like, nah, it'll be like one. So, it was three. You never know. Sometimes, if that <laughs> fight at the beginning had gone differently, we'd have had another hour to yeah. get through other stuff. Um, Kakaroto just saying destroy them, <laughs> but gently. <laughs> He's a monster. People talking about bomb snakes like it's normal. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I'm, you really need to find a way to make that work. <laughs> <laughs> Can, How about this? I'll use my last fifth level slot to call not eight bomb snakes forward, but like sixteen. Ooh. You can do that. Very but also, nice. if you would come a little closer, because that far away, it's a little hard to hear. Yeah. Can fire Which... elementals be grappled? Uh, I checked the fire form. It didn't say anything about them not being able to be grappled. So I was like, eh, sure, why not? Uh, but I could see ruling in a different way, since they are not fully corporeal. What do you think, Kyle? Do you think that's dumb, being able to, to grapple a fire elemental? Yeah, I think that's very dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair i wouldn't allow it that's fair uh as a dm i would uh because how are you grappling fire normally they list stuff that can't be grappled though that's true that's kind of why i went with it Did i tend to default as not being able to be grappled no i went through the uh the fire form uh for yeah. it and uh it didn't mention it anywhere i figured because you knew that snake was gonna die after a round like yeah, I figured. Also, y'all were in a real tight spot, so. Yeah. Yeah. 
And and the thing is, <clears throat> man, Wee's told us everything. He got so much. He knew all of it, and we could have avoided that. I could but... not believe you went in, to be honest with you. Just imagine if I had just sent in bomb snakes. Yeah. Just, they, they probably wouldn't have taken fire damage, so it wouldn't have really mattered, but, like, might have blown the doors down. Would yeah. Least, uh, well, like, do we need to take the, that part out? Because now we have to go, you should get your snakes, get the bombs, I'll open the door, and they'll slither in, and I'll close it quickly, and blow them up. We'll be great. I, mean, I don't have snakes anymore, so... And I'll yeah, blow you said you are going to summon, like, 16 snakes, weren't you? <laughs> I mean, it's not off the table. <laughs> so many snakes. Um, can you still put everyone's AC on combat tracker? You can! Uh, this is actually a bug in the present version of Foundry, I think. I think. I was looking at that earlier today because I was trying to find out how to do it again last night because it was not appearing where I thought that it would be. Um, but yeah, I think that's a bug right now. I think it's going to be fixed in point seven. Uh, makes glass in Minecraft. I'm something of a scientist myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next time she should summon raptors. They're clever girls. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I could have opened the door. Good luck for the <laughs> remainder of the encounter. I'm off. Thanks, Greg. Snack Holmes is best snack. I agree. <laughs> uh, we have to get up in the morning, too. Yeah, sorry for keeping y'all awake. Oh, for Shinogo, it's only 141. Uh, final room, tales and ledges are fun. Yeah, new to Foundry. Does a module allow your players to roll 2d20 and damage all in one click? Or is it a macro or something else? That's from the Beyond 20 module. So that's rolling from uh, D&D Beyond. So in a question, first time DMing. Homebrew adventure or pre-written? Mm, a little bit of both. Um, I am, after looking into a little bit, I was like, I'm not going to bother like creating a whole world. That seems like a lot. And realistically, I don't have time for that. <laughs> so I um, decided to go for an Eberron campaign setting. And then after looking through some level one modules, I picked one called The Forgotten Forge which is intended to be a level one through like maybe three. It's pretty short, but I am adding some additional stuff to the plot and just other, it's, it seems very linear because it's a short adventure, but I figure the nice thing about being set in a city, because it does take place in Sharn, is that there should be, it should be such a rich environment and there should be so many different things. So I'm shelling out what else is going on in the city more and providing it with a little less linearity. Uh, after that, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I am gonna decide either if I wanna kinda keep doing that with like taking pre-written modules and then expanding them a little bit, or if, depending on the backstories that people will come up with, if it's, um, something that I feel that we have something like really go towards on, then I would be super open to throwing it. But I think that starting with something pre-written seems to be a really good jumping off point while you get to know the characters and they get to know each other too. So it's very wise for a first time, I think, to do pre-written, at least for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, our game that we, like our personal game, wasn't your first time DMing, but we started with the Lost Minds of Fandelver. Yeah. And I think that that just makes a lot of sense because writing a initial story that's going to be meaningful for your characters when you don't know them and they don't know each other is it's a problem a little bit. So you might as well put them into something together, not stress about it too much, and then put your creativity into what comes next. I think. Mm -hmm. But that's from somebody who's never DMed. So <laughs> <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> so we'll see if the train crashes. Oh yeah, it's on the table. This might be the most awkward couple hours of you guys' life, so. <laughs> no, I live with you. That's okay. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Uh, nothing is worse than when you are DMing and someone pulls a random summoning spell out without forewarning. <laughs> I agree. Thank you for feeling my pain. Uh, wish I could watch on Sundays. I'm running Curse of Strahd on Sunday nights too, and I'm in New York, New Jersey, same time zone. That's awesome. Curse of Strahd is sick. That's one of the many games that Kyle is playing in. That's true. Yeah, it's super fun. The uh, Strahd is crazy. Like, it's so dark. I get so depressed after those <laughs> games. I get so sad. I'm a player in it, and yeah, it just gets so sad. Yeah, I, I remember the first time you were playing, you were like, a pool of blood fell on us. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah. 
it was it was scary there's a lot of bad in that game <laughs> but good bad but yeah. curse of straw looks sick i'm actually going to be buying it on roll 20 uh to test the roll 20 exporter and converter uh and to make a video on it and then maybe kyle will run curse of straw for us when he's done maybe. with his campaign <laughs> yeah, i might have to take a break from that place yeah. uh my roommates actually uh wanted me to uh run a game for them and let me check real quick um they wanted me to run a game and i was like okay i'll do a module so what did i get i got um let me look at my cart because it's let me see what other i got ghost of salt marsh which looks mm. pretty cool Oh, that one has like the boat rules too, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, like pirate stuff. So yeah. they, they love pirates. So you know. I like that. <laughs> I'll see how that works. I got the D and D. I'm looking at getting the D and D Beyond version, and I'm th uh, I'm gonna see if I can port it over to Foundry. And since it's in person, I'll use a screen to have it on Foundry. Nice. But then they can, you know, see it in person. And if you're doing that, try out the Foundry Hot Seat Observer module, which will make it a little bit easier if you want everybody to share, like, control of one mouse or something. Uh, doo -doo -doo, where was I? Uh, Wonder Draft seemed awesome for regional world maps, but the assets for towns like houses and stuff are really lacking in the incarnate. Yeah, I agree with that 100%. Uh, thanks a lot for the answer. I think you helped me make up my mind on getting Incarnate and Dungeon Draft. Nice. I think you'll definitely like Dungeon Draft. The one issue with Incarnate is that since it is subscription-based, it, it's only like 25 bucks a year, but that is 25 bucks a year, so... Uh, I think I saw it in the sheet with damage resistance and stuff. I'm not... I can't remember what that was talking about. Oh, it was maybe talking about the Fire Elemental stuff? I'm not sure. Um, team is so... Honestly, even if it couldn't grapple, it like, didn't help that fight, so... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine with letting a little something something slide like that. Um, team is so scared and so distrusting in Curse of Strahd. <laughs> yeah, and they should be. <laughs> Re really terrible things are going to happen to them. Um, and actually, I think the... <laughs> I think the Curse of Strahd subreddit um, is doing a playthrough called Twice Bitten or something. Uh, I don't... I don't know if it's going through all of Curse of Strahd or if it's a modified thing just taking place in Barovia, uh, but they were doing it yesterday and it looked uh, pretty cool the little bit that I got to watch of it. Uh, so be sure to check that out. Um, let me drag out an elemental. I'm going to see if it says immune to grapple. Oh, condition immunities. It does say immune to grapple. Nice. I thought that it was going to be in the fire form section. I sh should have thought about uh, checking the attributes though. You are a smarter person than me, Kuro. I'm gonna say I was being nice. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't really have anything. Instead of stupid. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> you said it yourself. Right. I didn't actually think that. Did I say that? You, you said you were uh, not as smart as. Uh, yeah, the but Kuro could be a genius. <laughs> yeah, true. Probably Kuro's is. Like Probably genius. beautiful too. Yeah. <laughs> but I heard beautiful genius. I'm just gonna get super complimentary on it. Uh, yeah, that is the main reason I was leaning over to Wonder Draft, but I just like Incarnate Assets a lot more, so I don't know, 25 years isn't that... Yeah, it's not too bad, and uh, you will also... They do have a battle map style now. Um, it doesn't... It's not great. Um, it's decent, though. They have a lot of really cool assets in it, and they're improving it. They're working on some new... Uh, some new features that should make it easier like more easily building walls and stuff which is currently a nightmare um but the assets look sick for it uh and you can make a lot of different you can make world all the way down to battle maps which is pretty cool um uh not just sticklier for little details not smarter you're selling yourself short that's what i think but uh, it's 1221. I actually still have to submit the hours that I worked last week before 1am. <laughs> so I'm going to call that quits for now. Uh, we'll see you guys uh, and gals next week for the continuing, the continually inaccurately named one shot adventure. Uh, 
Clash of the Cobalt Cauldron. Uh, thanks for coming to watch. I hope y'all had a good time. Uh, more videos coming out. More of this happening, hopefully. All right, what's your favorite little-known feature of Foundry VTT? So last question. Uh, what's your favorite little-known feature of Foundry VTT? Oh, I made a video about every feature in Foundry. <laughs> Do any of them qualify as unknown anymore? Um, I guess some of them are still not super well known. Um, if you drag out a token, but you hold alt while you do it, um, they'll come out as invisible or their, their, their visibility will be toggled off. Did I, I just blow your mind? You, I need to use that. That's amazing. <laughs> I usually anticipate and have things invisible Same. just in case. But... Yeah. So holding alt and doing that is pretty cool. Um, I don't know that it counts as a little known feature because I don't think I know any of those, <laughs> but a, uh, I don't have a great teacher. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> a feature that I have enjoyed using. <laughs> well, Matt dies. He's fine. Um, that again, because what I'm prepping takes place first in Sharn. And so Sharn is all towers and all of that. I've been, I was struggling with some of these situations where they're out on city streets to communicate both that there are towers all the way around them but also that it's a very like open airy city so when i was putting up walls around towers and all of that i was like this is it looks like you're in a dungeon everything is all shut off like it's a little oppressive and so again not really a little known feature but i took some roof assets and dropped them in as tiles so that if, um, when they're entering specific buildings, I can just take the roof off of it. And then it still keeps the like full vista of what's going on around them available. It also lets you have stuff in like multiple towers and it's fully covered, you know? So I think that there's some really creative ways that you can use um, tiles. Again, not really a little known feature, but something that I was like feeling clever for figuring out. So. <laughs> and that is it for us thank y'all uh for coming to watch uh i hope y'all had fun it was a good time for us y'all have a good rest of the night um is it sunday yet can i steal that from matt mercer no do you think people are so eagerly awaiting us in the same way no uh, but that's 